starting oh yeah okay we're live now hello (laughs) okay so i think okay first if i like okay so my power goes out really easily and it's raining here so like if i I disappear my power probably went out same but i'll (laughs) try to like still come back and like continue to live stream like whenever i get a chance to and um, did you want to do like any reading sprints or anything like that? I'm down with whatever. Um, I have to go to a party in like an hour, so I'm down with whatever. Okay, because I want to see if you want to do one before. So I was thinking like maybe oh, really? like in 30 minutes we can do a um a reading sprint. My brain. Okay, that's I'm good with that. Hi, Monty. Hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna like. Tweet the link. It's storming so bad here. So if you, if I go on mute like really suddenly, I just don't want you guys to hear like all of the thunder and stuff. Yeah, honestly, same. It's it's thundering here too. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't know what's gonna happen with this party. Yeah, my power had went out for like two seconds. Oh, I guess maybe her power went out. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. I think it's starting already. I literally was like, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, Miss Dash Dash. Oh my gosh, everything is. So, what do you have plans for your 24 hour readathon? Are you going to be like talking most of the time or? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Because I remember you saying in a live stream once that, what did you say? You said that you don't like like all the reading in the reading sprints, you like to talk more. So Mm -hmm. I figured this would be like mostly talking. Yeah, it'll be mostly talking. And then I was, I have an art to Vespertine and I was reading it, but then Mm -hmm. I found out there wasn't any romance. Yeah. And I hadn't, I haven't read a book for the week. So I do want to try to do some reading sprints, not like too many, but Mm -hmm. like a few reading sprints. And then my sister, she's reading Ninth House and I want her to finish. Right. So... Um, we'll probably do a, not too many, but we'll probably do like a few, but I like to talk. So it'll mostly just be, it'll mostly just be talk. Okay. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi Dylan. Um, we are going to do some reading sprints, but not like a lot. Honestly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm going to start um, Atlas 6 soon. I still haven't finished playing back Heroes. But what are you currently reading? I'm currently reading um, like so many books right now. I just started Ivan by Sophie Lark last night. That's mm-hmm. like an underground, underworld romance type of thing with like a mafia and a hit woman. And then also I'm reading this book called Black Iris. And that's like a sapphic, it's so good so far. It's like a sapphic romance and it's really good. And then also I'm reading this book called Cruel and Careless. That's an MM romance and it's like a toxic, did you see my lights flicker? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there, that's like a MM romance with, um, it's like a toxic relationship. Oh, her, I think her power might still went out. But, um, hi Kenya. Okay, so if you want book, oh my gosh, Alyssa's here too. Okay, her. Okay, what are your choices? Um. Okay, I picked the name Emma from Jane Austen's Emma. Yeah, the power is yeah. And if you're looking for book recommendations, what genres are you looking for? And then if you can give me like two or three books in that genre that you like, that you like gave five stars. I just, sometimes I need to know like what people's preferences are to give like actual good recommendations. Okay, so what is your name? Because I will call you Emma this entire live stream. I'm not gonna lie. So. Okay, 
like this is a this is a these are a lot of choices here. Um, I was thinking like three books. You just gave me a whole TBR. Um, I really liked. Um, I've read People We Meet on Vacation, The Taking of Jake Livingston, and Ace of Spades, and I liked all of those. I think I gave all of them four or five stars. Um. So. I, I think you should read Ace of Space. It's sapphic. It's a good YA thriller. Like, five stars. Right. No, her name was like, no, her name, her name was like Annabelle from, I think it was like from a Edgar Allan Poe poem. Um, And we kept calling her Annabelle and she changed her name to Gabriella on YouTube because she was tired of us calling her Annabelle. I <clears throat> I will not be doing that because it's okay. You can join like you know um, if the party's still going on. You can join after the party, like whenever you're whenever you're ready. It's fine. I'm gonna be here all day, so it's fine. Um, I don't really like doing dedicated videos anymore. I don't know why. I I do have some I need to do. I have this really good idea that I actually need to hurry up. I have two good ideas that I need to hurry up and do. Especially those books and Lala did one similar. And so I feel like somebody could easily get inspired by that video and do something like similar. And um, I have one that's similar to Chelsea Dolan Reads. Okay, that's fine. But um, yeah, so, and then I was gonna do, I don't know what it is. I guess like, cause I have all of my videos planned out until December, until January, really. Um, like these are all my, these are, I have a list for this month and the upcoming month. So like, um, have all my videos planned out and there are some videos that like, I don't wanna do. I'm so excited for my fall videos though. And I still have to film, I'm going to be doing the, you know, the why paranormal, why the paranormal genre failed. I didn't want to do it at first. Like, I started the, I started the, the series, and at first I didn't want to do it because the first video didn't get as many views as I thought I would, so I kind of was let down by it, but I know a lot of people are really excited for it, and I already planned out the video. I have everything listed. I have, I literally have everything for the video. Like, literally all I have to do is sit down and film the video because everything is already ready for it i guess i just didn't want to film it because the first one didn't get the views i wanted like i, I guess i expected it to blow up and it did good like it didn't do bad oh my gosh hi shayla me and jenna were talking about you last night and like how much we love you in my live stream oh the update is i haven't read it okay but yeah i have everything planned out for the video i just have to film it which i will be filming it i feel i have to film two more videos i have my video for next week it's already going up it's already edited um so i have to film two more videos for the week i'm on vacation and then the week i get home from vacation and then i'll be set for the rest of august but anyways what was the comment saying Okay, dystopian books, I, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read a dystopian book in a minute. I hear Legends by Marie Lu is pretty good. I don't really, dystopians isn't really a genre anymore. So I'm going to get back to you and think about some books that are similar to those dystopians but aren't dystopians. Yeah, I, I read indie romances, so, I mean, I guess. The second one is coming out? I don't think I've seen that one. There are some, I'm so behind on, like, Horror movies that aren't slashers, oh my gosh. Like, you would think I was only into slashers, 
But I really do need to see um, Don't Breathe. I do not read any middle grade books. Oh, Psy, that's so good, Kenya. Well, I haven't read that, but I'm saying it's so good. Um, yeah, we were just saying how, like, we love you in, like, my live streams. And she said, Jenna said something last night, but I forgot what she said. Huh? No. I'm waiting for this to be rescued. Oh, that was just as... Yeah. I don't have a pencil sharpener, but I do have a eyebrow pencil sharpener. Yeah, that's fine. That's the same thing. You, you don't care that much. Well, you don't. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, does it? I think. Okay, so my laptop is really stupid, and whenever, like, it's, my laptop has to be plugged in for it to be on, and I accidentally hit the charger when okay, I was, so. ah, I accidentally hit the charger when, um, when I was putting my makeup bag back, so. But oh my gosh, hi, Alex, I didn't know that you were... I didn't know that you were in the chat.
Okay. Um, I don't really know how to increase your comprehension. Uh, I don't know. My part is really. Yeah, I haven't read a physical book since my last. Okay, I can't say my last power outage. I think it was my first power outage in July, early July. Um, and that's because I had no choice but to read physically because it was dark and I had a flashlight. But. Oh, my mom's home. Okay, so hold on, my mom's home, so. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to do a try your chapter today. So here are my choices. Um, we have The Iron King, which I just figured out the same author wrote, The Shadow of the Fox, which I also own somewhere. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I have The Iron King. And, you know, it's Faye. And I this is like the one of the Faye books I haven't read. Hello? Just doing the live stream. <laughs> you're funny and i have curse of the specter queen i've seen this at target and i was really intrigued by the cover and like it's not talked about on booktube and it says it's a mix of Dude, this. I'm being nosy. It said it was like a. Oh, okay. It says it's like a um like an Indiana Jones, and a adventure mystery set in the 1920s. Um, and then we have In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife, which I am really intrigued by this book the most because um, I like the title. And it's about college. It's a psychological thriller, and it's about college kids. Well, they were college friends, and then they're meeting together for, like, a reunion, and somebody dies, and it's a mystery. You know, typical psychological thriller. Monty, please. Um, what is that? Yeah, yeah. I don't play Sims anymore because my laptop, I have a MacBook. So, you know, MacBooks and Sims don't go good together. I do plan to buy a laptop so that, like, me and my siblings can all, like, play Sims. And, like, so Daniel can have a laptop to play games on and stuff like that. Um, just, like, a little like, 200 one, you know, something's not too expensive or anything like that. Because I miss playing the Sims. Like, y'all, I miss my mafia family so much. I worked so hard on that storyline. Like, I don't think you understand. I had a whole world. Like, okay, I had families. I had friends. I had I had families, like, becoming, like, I had the kids becoming friends with the kids. Like, I had them living next door. Like, I had things planned. I had things planned. And I couldn't play no more. Oh, my gosh. Don't even get me started on the content. The, the CCs. I was searching for those, okay? I would spend nights. If I wasn't playing The Sims, I was searching for CCs. I can't build a house to save my life. So I would just steal people's houses. So I spent most of my time building Sims, looking for CCs, actually playing or stealing someone's house. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. A whole mafia. Like, I had, like, these 
brothers. They were in a mafia, right? And then I had, so they was running stuff. I had like the gang, the gang CC. And then I had, um, and then I had a family and the dad was in the, was in the mafia, but the, you know, they lived good in the next door neighbor. And then, okay, so the family who was in the mafia, I had this, I had, okay, so their family was in the mafia here, right? And in the same city, I had a guy and a girl who were roommates. Like, they were just roommates. Like, the guy put up the ad, and she was like, yeah, let me check this out. Like, you know, and then roommates. And I was trying to get them to fall in love. Like, I was trying to get them to have roommate roommates, right? Why did the mafia's wife get with the roommates? So I didn't even get the, and all my all my people are black or people of color. So, okay, I, do, I did, the mafia had to be white men. Sorry. But everybody else was black people of color, right? I don't create white women. Sorry. Um. So, I kept getting confused with the characters at first until I realized, I was like, this is not the roommate this man is with. Sick. Sick. No, because they are just so, they make, they make, they make. I, I miss, I miss the Sims so much. You remake your entire neighborhood. That is so fun. I don't know. I don't know anyone in my neighborhood. Oh my gosh! Not us having the same storyline. <laughs> Where did I put my phone? Um, well, I don't read them all at once, so I just, I just read, like, um, when I, I mostly listen to audiobooks, so I listen to them at work, and, like, that keeps my focus, because I'm just folding clothes all day, and, like, if I get caught up to the register, I'll just put on some music when I get to the register, instead of listening to the audiobook, because I actually have to interact with people, but then when I come back, I, like, put my audiobook back on, and, like, it depends on who I'm working with. Like, if I'm working with my coworker besties, I'm not reading that day. Like, that's just not happening. It depends. Well, it depends on who's closing. Like, who's the leader? Who's the lead that night? Because if it's one person, I'm not like I can read because me and my coworker bestie aren't going to be around each other. But if it's other people, then I'm not going to read. And then, um, yes, because I'd be I'd be out here writing books. I have so many book ideas. Like. I have so many book ideas in my Google Docs, and I just haven't. I don't know. Like, I want to be a. I want to be a writer, but I don't really see myself being an author. So I have a list of TV plots I stole uh, for books, and I have my slasher I'm writing, which I actually have that fully planned out. I just haven't written it. And then, what is this? Oh, this is the plot line I stole from Julie Plek from The Vampire Diaries. Um, some enemies to lovers, some stories, ideas from a dream I had, a fae book. These are all school stuff. School stuff. So then they have book scenes. And then the rest of these are all book plots. Oh, you can't see. Okay. So from here, the rest of these are all book plots. Like separately. Like. Next month, what, September? Hold on, let me check my calendar, guys. Let me look at my calendar. I literally love having a desk. Like, I'm having the time of my life. My slasher is a great idea. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I'm not even going to, not to pat myself on the back, but. Yep, yeah. But my idea is literally something that blatantly happens in season one. Like, literally. So I don't know how I can legally get away with that, but Julie Plank literally fired the author of the Vampire Diaries. So, and then she wrote a book based on the originals, Julie Plank herself. So, 
anyway, so September 7th is the the Saudi setup, and then September 28th is the last graduate, the X Hex and House on Needless Street. When I tell you I have so many ideas, Miss Dash Dash, like I could just give you some because I clearly am not gonna write all of them. Like I would have to be one of the romance authors who comes out with a book every few months. The thing is, it's like I wanna okay, I wanna like like I can't because it's just like writing a book is easy, but I feel like the process of like getting a book published is so hard. Like you have to find a publisher and like an editor and stuff like that. Like what if no one wants to accept you? Like my idea is amazing. I'm not gonna have someone reject me. Like my idea is like the best idea ever. And I'm a quitter, so if I get rejected, then I'm just gonna quit. And then um and then I can't become an indie author because I want to be on the New York Times bestseller list because it's the random sheet just hanging from my bed. Because it's not that hard to be on the New York Times bestseller list. Like, it's really not. Like, look at all the authors who's on there. So I could be on there easily. So I can't be an indie author. But I guess we'll just have to see how it works out. I didn't. I think I would just write all my ideas and then as the years go on, like update them and edit them if I don't get them published. I don't know. I don't know. I... Of course, I've seen Fear Street. Come on now. I talked about Fear Street like the both of them. Well, I want to say I talked about Fear Street in my wrap up and then I do talk about it in my book haul. So I can't blame you for not knowing. But I, I did talk about Fear Street in my wrap up. It's in the title. Of my wrap up actually. Right, Julie Puck getting her answer in Vampire Academy, which don't bully me, Vampire Academy is in my pile of to be read books, Miss Dash that's for you can get on me. You know what? You know what? You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Because let's talk about it. Let's talk about Miss JLA for a second. Because I've had some things to say about her for a minute. And I've just been sitting here chilling. But I'm going to say what I need to be said. Not a single one of JLA's books are original. Not a single one of her plot lines are original. Her characters. Any of that stuff. Like even from Blood and Ash. You think oh this is such a good like a good original idea. It's really not. Because if you really look at it in hindsight. She's trying to be Sarah J Mass Because all of her other books are 300 pages. Easy to read quick to get through. And here we go with this like five book series. That's like um 600 pages each. That don't need to be. She's dragging out plot lines. You can't forget about her Shadowhunter Chronicles ripoff. The one Wicked that just became a passion flicks movie. That's gonna flop passion flicks nobody uses that um her alien series came out when aliens were popular she has a whole ripoff of the vampire diet of vampire academy and then one of her most popular series i haven't figured out what that's a ripoff of yet but once i figure it out i'm on her head well i don't know i don't know if it is a twilight fan fiction but i wouldn't be um yeah she is she also ripped off Shadowhunter Chronicles with her movie, Wick, with her book, Wicked. And I'm telling you, From Blood and Ash is literally a ripoff of Twilight, Sarah J. Mass. Like, she said, oh, I'm going to put all these books, popular books together and make them one. And the fact that she's getting away with it and people are eating it up and nobody's connecting these lines is really, really interesting to me. Like, very interesting. That is weird. That's crazy. I'm mad I bought the book. Like, it's like, I don't hate Jennifer Armitage's writing. It's just like, can we get something more original? Like, when I tell you her Vampire Academy book ripoff was an exact ripoff. Wait, what is what is Tracy Wolf? What is she ripping off? Because it's not Twilight. Because I've read Crave, and it's not, it's, no, it's not similar to Twilight at all. Like, they're two completely different things. Um, I'm probably going to stop reading Query because you people need to learn. I'm not the kind of person, like, who will sit through eight seasons of a TV show 
who will sit through four movies of a series, who will sit through 18 books in a series. Like, people need to know when to stop. It's time to stop. I stopped reading Shatter Me because she should have stopped at book three, but she kept going to please her fans. I hate when people keep going to please their fans. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves. And people eat it up because they don't like when things end. But then you get things like the ending of Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones, but I know everybody was mad about the ending. I got to like spoil you like eight different times. It is the exact same story. Like, literally, she has, like, the best, the guy. Okay, she literally, like, they, she just changed. She's, like, a demigod. And instead of, instead of, damn, what happened in the Vampire Academy? What happened in the Vampire Academy? Instead of running away with her best friend, she runs away with her mom. And then she has, she goes back to the school. She has um the mystery, the trainer guy who she falls in love with, and then she has a guy best friend who was, like, her best friend before she left, and they're reconnecting their friendship. Oh, my gosh, the last three books were so bad, and it's very fan fiction-y. Like, no spoilers, but Homegirl got a sister that's um a raisin. The whole plot line of like the soulmate plot line. I don't know. I don't mind soulmate plot lines. I just think that the soulmate plot line in Shadow Me is so unrealistic. Like the whole finding each other after every four years. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for y'all. They're not big spoilers, but but I know some people don't like spoilers at all. So I am so sorry. But I need to get this out. I'm not gonna give like any big spoilers, so don't worry about that. But the whole like finding each other every like what four years soulmate plot line is so unrealistic because they're only 17. So they've only found each other like what two, three times, depending on like, you know, whatever. So yeah, she's a raisin. Um, she's not really a raisin, but I'm trying to like not spoil things for people. So technically, um, water, think of water. She's a raisin. Yes, she just came out with um she it she just came out with uh what the what are they called? A short book. I really don't, but you never know. Like TikTok is helping them become popular again, so you never know. But yeah, homegirl, homegirl has a sister who was sitting in a tube for seventeen years that she had just found out about. Like book, book like what five. Yes, a novella like girl. How many novellas do you have? Write a novella book like any other author, please, please, please. And those novellas do nothing. They're not even the kind of novellas that like. The novellas are also fan service because it's not even like, it's not even like um the novellas are important or even how you last novella. Like I like her novellas because it really gives you insight on the specific characters, but sh the um. The Shadow Me's, like, I literally read them, and I was like, this helps. This does nothing for me. Exactly. I don't, Miss Shonda's probably still writing, and I believe it. That woman is insane. Oh, the lights are flickering. Someone asked, why do you read? I read because I'm bored, and if I don't, I'm going to get depressed. Yeah. What did I mean? <laughs> We're actually in here talking about Shatter Me series or long-running, like, TV shows, movies, like, because I just hate, like, well, Pitch Perfect. The first movie was good. The second movie, uh, the first movie was amazing. Second movie, questionable. Didn't even, didn't even see the third one, because I feel like we just need to stop making things, you know? It depends on what it is to me. But yeah. I watched I think I ended up watching the third pitch perfect. Let me back in. Yeah, I lost my glasses. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for the novella. Like, get a life. Find something else to be interested in, please. Yeah, Jenny can't give you an opinion on these things on her channel because she doesn't read Shatter Me. So, who knows what Jenny be reading? Yeah, no comment. 
No. <laughs> Monty, please. Please. Oh, I should have put my scarf on. Because my hair is going to start sticking up. So. Yeah, it's doing that thing. I don't feel like going to go get my scarf. I've never read her contemporary novels just because they don't sound... I'm sorry, but, like, I really wanted to read her book, the first the contemporary she wrote, but the break dancing thing really just... Once I read that, I was like, I don't want to read this book anymore. Yeah, I don't know why Whitney doesn't... I think it's something to do with the author. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I would be the same. Like, if Holly Black wrote, like, three more books in The Cool Prince, first of all, she wrote a... Everyone's like, can you please write, like, another Wait, book? Wait, they're still writing books in the Shadow Me series? Yes. I thought they were done after, like, the third one. No. There's six books, girl. And six novellas. <laughs> She's coming out with the sixth novella this year. <laughs> you guys got that. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading anything. Yeah, I w I'm sorry, but the break dancing, okay, because it's like, what it's like after 9 11 happened, she like moves to a new school and like people are making fun of her because she's Muslim, but then she finds break dancing. Who was break dancing in 2001? What just fell? Yeah, personally, I thought Cardin's POV book is good, and you know, like, oh, anyway, that's what I said about. Holly Black, anyways, if Holly Black wrote a fourth book in the series, I would not read it unless it was a fourth book about a different character. I still think that she should do a spinoff, but it should be about um, Jude's younger brother, because I find him very fascinating. Um, but other than that, I don't want another spinoff. Like, don't do to hear Mati where you give me a spinoff, because that could easily be ruined. Like, just leave, just leave it alone. Oh, can keep, you send me a link to the website? Yeah. People keep begging. Like, I just hate when people beg for stuff, and then you get it, and then it sucks. Because... Is Stas Dash is here? Yeah. And, I don't know, Alex. Alex joins my streams. King is here somewhere. And Shayla's here, too. Hey, friends. Besties. And Monty, but you knew that. Gabrielle is not here, though. Probably she'll join probably, like, later. Okay, shut up, Monty. Okay, you shut up too, Miss Dash Dash. Cause I find I find him very fascinating. But I um I love how everyone's side talking about um what's that show called? The Walking Dead. And I have not brought up my opinions on it yet, but, like, everyone's having their, like, side conversations. I find that so funny, which I like that, because then, like, if the conversation dies, I'm be like, okay, so what was the side conversation, you know? But um, I've never watched The Walking Dead. I think I watched one episode, and I was bored out of my mind, so I said, I'm not watching this shit. And then I watched Fear the Walking Dead, or, yeah, Fear the Walking Dead, and that shit, I watched it for Alicia, but that shit was boring. Like, oh, somebody else was in there who was fine. I think Daniel Sherman. I miss him. Yeah, he was in there for two seconds. Cause I was gonna. Hit. Was he in the spinoff? He might have been. In the yes, Fear the Walking Dead. That's yeah. Yeah. He was in the spinoff, and I was watching it for him. But I, I said, I don't care how fine you are. This show is boring. Yeah, I, I don't think it was. I don't know why I just couldn't get into it at the time. It wasn't even that it was boring, but I was just like. I think it's like one of those things because I talked about this with a book. But it's like one of those things where it's like you have all the action and you have the good characters and stuff like that, but we couldn't see that build up. Like we couldn't see like the. So it's like it just wasn't. It wasn't anything. Okay. Zombie. They also said early the only vampire I like is Dracula. When we were talking about vampires. I mean, they said they read classics. Yeah, but she doesn't but Winnie doesn't talk about them anymore. But she also doesn't use Twitter anymore. But yeah, I like the hunting of Hill House, but that last that last episode was corny as hell. Right, Frankenstein is the doctor, not the. And I don't really think that Frank. Well, the scientist, but I don't really think that Frankenstein is a zombie. It's more of a creation. But yeah, Victor Frankenstein was his name. 
that's one thing I do remember. I hate Frankenstein. <laughs> because the weird, the weird incest plot line that everyone seems to ignore. It's like they do a lot in movies. Why are we ignoring that? Right. Right, why do we be ignoring it? Why do we be ignoring incest and things? Like, and why is why is it in a lot of things? Like, everything. Like, every single TV show. Why? Um, I kind of wish there was another season because, um, uh, what's his name? Dog, I forgot my husband's name. Oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was in the, the Invisible Man. He played the husband. Mm-hmm. I don't know who that man is. So he's in a hunting of Hill House and a hunting of Black Manor. He's my he's my horror king. But uh he was he was so fine in a uh, Bly Manor, which I never finished. I don't really like paranormal things, so I'm not really mad about Bly Manor not or the hunting of not being continued. Because what was they gonna do? What other like popular hunting books are out there? I do but I do like the anthologies of like horror. I do like that. Speaking of, I really liked um what was it? Well, I didn't really like last episodes of American Horror Stories, but the Christmas episode, I really fucked with that episode. The last episode was good, but like Billy ate, but it was like, I was bored. Yes, Oliver. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, episode three was episode three wasn't that bad. Like the first two episodes, first of all, these nepotism babies gotta go. We gotta get rid of them. So the um I'm trying to think. So the first two episodes were bad, like the hunting, like leave the leave the house alone. Just leave the leave the house alone. I think they're gonna go back to the house at the end of the season. Leave the house alone. The third episode was pretty it was okay. It wasn't as bad as the first two. But I still just, like, wasn't... First of all, I don't like Madison Bailey. Fuck, I freaking hate her. I do love the male love the male in the, uh, the show, the episode, because he was in Marvel Runaways. He's my king. Oh, my gosh, Gabriella, hey. Um, and then I loved the fourth episode, the Christmas episode. Like, I love... I kind of wish that we would get that, like, social commentary. Like, the fact that it was a social commentary on um, these, like houses on tiktok and like tiktokers and how and then also it was a commentary on logan paul and that situation he did when he found the body and recorded it and like how how um people will go so far to do terrible things for views like uh that that episode really aches it really aches we need more social commentary horror episodes oh my gosh it was so good the fourth the fifth episode with like Billy and the baby and the husband. I was bored the entire episode and I knew the husband, something's gonna happen with the husband because I seen a TikTok that was like the cast got like notes for each episode and it kind of said what was gonna happen in the episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, consistency in general sounds like a lot to ask for from Ryan Murphy, to be honest. Um, I hate that man. Uh, I don't know why I keep watching things that he makes. I really don't know why I keep torturing myself like this. Anyways, who wants a haul? I can haul 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 books I have. I'm probably going to have more books because, you know, my birthday and I'm going to buy books for myself. And I hope people buy books for me, but... I'm also gonna buy books for myself, so it's okay. Thoughts on new gossip group. I I love it. I eat it up. I eat it up. Yeah, I think they do go back to Murder House, which they need to stop going back to that. Cause that first two episodes were the like even like the the cinematography of the episode, like the I thought they used a different filter in that episode than other episodes, if that makes sense. Like it just seemed it seemed different, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so here's my haul. So I have, which I have, um, these are, the, I'm doing a read, read a chapter 
So these are the first three books of the books I'm doing a reader chapter for. So I'm going to be doing The Iron Fae. Oh, that's not an Ari Hoth, this book. Never mind. And In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, which I'm so excited for. Okay, and then the rest of these books are actual haul. Huh? So I have Vesper 10. I got the arc of it. And um, I recently just figured out this book doesn't have any romance. So... I need to put it down because it's been taking I've been reading this book since I got it and I got it like what Friday and I haven't really read anything else so I had to put it down because it's really it's really messing up my reading and then I have that no I rehauled this too so then I have um the blood of queens which I'm going to be reading the queen of blood which I'm going to be reading Friday at work and then I have these hollow vows which is a fairy book and I already read it I agree, Ray Murphy was in his bag with Scream Queens, and then he fumbled it. I have Where the Truth Lies, which is a thriller about some girl, white girl going missing. I don't know. And then I have Howling Dark, which is the second book in Empire of Silence. I have In the Revenant's Dark, which is like a poly book. Not It's not surrounded by poly, but it's like a poly like fantasy book. And then I have the Sundown Hotel, which is supposed to be like a slasher. I have that in my want to read. Oh, you can read it. Great. And then I have, lastly, I have Before They Were Hanged, which is the second book in The Blade itself. So now I actually have all three books because in my haul that I upload next week, um, I, I haul the third book because I couldn't get a hold of the second book. And now I have the second book. So the series is going to be in like all three of my hauls. You took a phone my scarf. I ain't gonna heat me up some food. Okay. Ah! Yeah, and it has a spinoff. You should read the spinoff. I don't really have any. Hold on. Wrong book. Wrong. I don't really have any thoughts because I don't care about the Powerpuff Girls. I love Pop Up Girls, but Totally Spies was my girls, okay? I fucked with Totally Spies. Like, Pop Up Girls, like, okay. I don't really think there's a. Also, I don't really think. Like, we need to stop this. Like, I noticed there's been a, like, huge, like. um, What's the word I'm looking for? Just like a huge splurge of, like, people turning books into movies or TV shows and then turning childhood TV shows into live action TV shows. Like, Riverdale, Winx Club. Powerpuff Girls, leave it alone. We don't need Powerpuff Girls to be dark. Leave it alone. Um, imagine they do Totally Spies. I would kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm going back up to start to... Um, Okay, um, yeah. I don't know why I keep watching him. I didn't finish 1984 because I thought it was going to be a slasher. And then I heard it was like, wasn't really a slasher. So I, I heard it took a turn. And y'all not, not about to mess up my slashers, okay? That's what we're not going to do. The new season is about Cyrus. And after episode six, it's going to be very bad. Because that's what he does. He makes six good episodes and six very terrible what the going on episodes. I think that with American Horror Stories, what he's going to do is he's going to take the actors from the TV, the episodes that he really liked and then make them, um, and then, like, put them into American Horror Story. I really like the black girl and the boy that they, the, the white guy that they use in Apocalypse, though. I hope that he uses them again in another thing. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, it was good until like the last two episodes. I don't know what inferences is. 
Not gonna lie. I agree. I agree. The, um, if you, okay, first of all, I do want to say, if you watch 16, watch Stoke, it's on Netflix, it only has, like, one or two seasons, I think it has two seasons, but it's so good, I'm pretty sure it's by the same creators of 16, I'm sorry, but Canadian shows hit, they really do, and like I always say, you can always tell what's a Canadian show by how many actors from Degrassi is in it. Yeah, they're still doing that, I think. The story mom is fun right now is hilarious. What's what she saying? She's talking about Tasha's birthday. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I do have some plans. Um, I was supposed to do a haul, but I didn't feel like getting up and putting the clothes on. So But I'm gonna record while we're on vacation, so I'm gonna do like a vacation house tour. And then I think I'm going to film while we're in Disney and Universal Studios. So those three videos. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it I'll have. How did you happen to run into him without, sorry, without hate crime and code? Are we doing reading sprints? Yes, Shayda. And like, on a, are we doing them at like six? Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna ask what everyone's reading? Okay, you can ask Shayda. No, no, no. I did. I didn't want that. Go ahead, ask. Hey, what's everyone reading right now? I'm reading Ninth House. I'm buddy reading it with Malia. Oh my god! I just snatched everything out. What the hell? Every time, every time Gabriella talks about her acting, I learn something new about this girl. Yes, Malia here is saying she's reading Ninth House. I'm doing a triad chapter of all three of these books, and Iron King is going to be read last because it has the most pages in the chapter. Oh, I have that, Monty. Okay, let me know what you think because. I don't trust June Murphy. Uh, after reading Dumbling, I did not like her main character. And Pudding. I only liked one of the characters in Pudding. And if I say who it is, um, I'm going to get bullied. Okay, so... So, the apartment is 6E... City of Brass, A Lesson of Vengeance. Oh, I've been meaning to buy that. No, literally, Gabrielle's Life is a whole movie. Oh, I've been meaning to read Lakewood. Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I have that. I've never heard of this before. Yes, Miss Dash Dash, we know you love Brandon Sanderson. You don't have to tell us every live stream. <laughs> <laughs> the Alice Six. <sighs> yes, it definitely it definitely could be worse. And I feel like it it definitely could be. They sent me the box and they sent me this big ass shoe. I threw it away. Because what am I going to do with that? No, that was pudding. That was pudding. But yeah, I liked, but I didn't like one of them. I liked the mean girl. I didn't like the other one. I didn't hate her. I just thought she was like bland. Um, Dumpling, I did not like the main character in Derek Dumpling. And um, I just didn't, I just didn't like her like attitude, like the way she thought, the way that she treated her friends were like very terrible. Yeah, it was just a shoe. It was it was two shoes. It was two. Sho it was one pair of shoes, but they were like huge. They were like ten feet. But that's still not enough to do her. <laughs> the Atlas Six is very much better be good. I already have a 
enough stuff down there. Like, my uncle moved down there, so I had to move. So, he moved all the stuff under the stairs. So, now I can't put as many books down there as I want to. So, I actually have to be, like, um, less mean. I have to be less mean when I unhaul books. Yes, very much so. She was also very mean to her friend. And she had, like, these ill feelings towards her friend because her mom preferred her. But it's, like, it's not her friend's fault. She should have been mad at her mom, which she also was. And then in Pudding, I just didn't, like, I don't know. I just don't think that, like, like, I get, like, being plus size, you have a lot of issues. Like, not issues, but, like, you know, people are very mean to you and you can be very insecure. But the way that Julie Murphy writes those characters is, like, she puts the blame, and not saying you need to be blamed, but she blames all of her issues on being plus size, which I understand. But instead of reflecting, she blames it on everyone else, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. How are you reading like eight books at once? Okay, it said four, so six. But still, I wasn't that off. Help. Gabriella said y'all are gonna like this book. The only thing is is that it doesn't have an audiobook and that makes me sad. If I get some more books, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Why are there only eight chapters in this book? Rug. It wants to be. This book wants to. Oh, it's art in here. What the hell? This book wants to be the secret history so bad. It's a, it's art at the end of it. Oh, they're not chapters. That, this page is blank. Why is there only one word on this page? Wait. <laughs> I mean, it is an indie author, so it makes sense. Okay, so there are chapters, there are shorter chapters in this book, but there's eight parts. Oh, okay. These men in this book are fine. What the? Very sexy. Art. Death. I decided to just skip through and look at all the art in the book. Hmm. Nice. It's not eight chapters, it's eight parts. Um, I cannot because my uncle lives down there and because there are poles like on every wall, so yeah. Because I thought about it. I did think about it, but I can't. I love how Gabriella wrote the same thing twice, but the second time she actually just put commas in there. Thanks. Are we reading? Oh, okay. We're gonna read now. That wasn't a. It was just. It was quiet. Okay, great. I can lay down now. Um, I've been a reader all my life. I've been a reader since I was. My eye was twitching. Um, yeah, we're still gonna read until six twenty. Okay. 
So yeah. But anyways, um, y'all can read. Well, Jada can read. I'll answer this question. I've been a reader since since I was in second grade. I wasn't like an avid reader until 20, 2017 when I joined BookTube.
Anyways, now that that's over. Hello. What? So you'll be okay if we just go to one park? Yeah. Universal. Mm -hmm. Both. Red turn. Mm -hmm. Nobody cared about Magic Kingdom but me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did want to see Marvel, but that's okay. Yeah, too, that's all once. They say it both parked. Okay, but I want to see the Marvel at Disney. I, I want to see the Marvel at Disney. Like the Gators at the Gators and the Marvel at Marvel. Or at Marvel. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Mama. But realistically, when I, I don't know. I got enough to get us in the one park. But they got to get dang clothes. We need, we, all, we need our crops. Okay. Well, please don't start going down this list. I need some swimsuits. You need anything? No, Mommy. Well, still, we need stuff. Mm -hmm. So, two years. We in the mansion, you guys. I'm Mom, neither myself. Not self. Okay. I know you guys are awesome and y'all okay, but I'm really bothered <laughs> that I'm not going to Magic Thing. My good stuff. I'm like Mickey Mouse. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Then they just said, we're going to have mimosas every day. I said, oh. Okay. Well, tell her to make put some pineapples in there or I'm going to die. Well, you make sure when we go to Walmart, we get to pineapple. You want the pineapple juice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, instead, Magic Kingdom. We're going to go to Lego Land. Well, I'm not going there. Come on now. No. Come on, Absolutely come on. not. I want to no. be racing this thing with me. Mm -mm. Okay. I'll go. Here you go. No. You stay at the house by yourself and do nothing. Good. Come on now. I'll think about it. Think about it. Let's go check out Lego Land. Everybody always wanted to go there. Let's go check it out. I didn't see Disney until I was 19, so. Damn, I don't want to miss this. <laughs> We've, I've already been no, to Disney times Disney. four times. Okay, but Lego Land? I don't think that's that big of a deal, though. Yeah, nobody cares about Lego Land. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, we really should have went. It kind of do it like a big deal. That's why I went. We'll see. We can't get on much, but we can get on some stuff. Mm -hmm. It's interactive. Nobody, like, nobody's complaining. I'm not see the complaining. Listen, hello. I didn't even want to tell you because I just wanted you to be surprised. But I bet you came to bed and put up the Halloween decorations. Oh, no, are you kidding me? My first time, I thought I was going to see it. They got the pumpkins up. Oh. I'll be watching YouTube. I think I'm about to go on DoorDash and order some of them uh, stuffed mushrooms. Can you do some biscuits, too? Yeah. You gonna eat your food? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got this man slapped me today with both hands. What? Somebody slapped me today? He did. He locked me in the hallway. I want to beat his old ass. One of your patients? Yeah. What you happened to me? Mom, you gotta start moving fast. I didn't see it coming. I was following him down the hallway. He just turned around like, Arr! so and he had me like this. So when the other staff come, they coming from the back. They think the man choking me. They about killed the old pastor man. To... I'm like, he's fine, but yeah, he got me good. But we got back in that room. I'm not sure you got his picture of how he looked with at three o'clock after I left the man. Yeah, you haven't because she don't be coming in here. She don't know I'm on live, so. Yes, she do. She don't. Yes, she do. Hmm? You know I'm on live? <laughs> well, weren't you muted that time? Yes. She was muted. I was muted. Why are you on there right now? You, to, you how, long long are you? how long has she been on there? A long time. What is you talking about? Look. Jesus Christ. You were here talking to me about real life, so how was you on live? What is that? What is that matter? the booty cheeks all hanging out. They can't see them. What is going on? Man, tussle with this man all day. He go lay in the bed and go to sleep. Man, you are not my sister. I'm gonna tell y'all, mama. Uh, you. Are. Uh, love you. <laughs> if you don't eat your food, let me know. Mom, you know. Okay. Enjoy. Just remind me. 
What? She's not gonna do that. No, Carvajal's gonna ask you if I can eat it. She's gonna sabotage you. Did no, you see your hair appointment there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Get rid of shit this whole conversation. You have been on mute. Ooh. I just told her that so she didn't feel bad. Yeah, I'm allergic to orange juice. They're gonna kill me. Anyway, so I think I decided that we're gonna do live, sh- I mean, reading sprints at the beginning of every hour for like 20 minutes. It was not, I wasn't reading nothing. I was in Tinder. You for real about that DoorDash? Can I ask what Yeah, to both. Huh? Yeah, to both. Can I ask what he's No, girl. No, you asking too much. I just want peace. No. Here. It's annoying. Okay, Alicia, you and your housewife era. I see you. Click the last comment. It's annoying. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody just being everybody's personal space. Just invasion of privacy at all times. Mm -hmm. Not me, though. Yeah, forcing myself to read. I mean, I force myself to read, but that's just because I can and I like to read. So, Monty just ate you up. (laughs) Where else I'm going to be? I'm gonna say as I'm eating her snacks. Right. In my bed with my stuffed animals. That's not an invasion of privacy though. That's how that's called hospitality, y'all. Yeah. Oh, this is the rest of you. Oh my You got like this much left. This you want these? You have it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, she be living her housewife life with her boyfriend, so she can't join the lives no more. Who? Elisa? I don't got no damn boyfriend. <laughs> 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 It's really silly. I do just like, hey, I can click on this person's comment. Because you're not like, doing your job. You're not really getting paid for it, so. Okay, well, it's a task nonetheless. Exactly. Exactly. She is over here looking like somebody's house girlfriend. You know, I used to live that life. Oh, oh, oh. What you got left in there? Nothing? Yeah, pretty much. I'm about to keep it still. You just put it over there in that box. Keep out my water bottle. It's in there too. It's in the blue container. How are you going 
don't know about where. My water bottle. Y'all yeah, got some new tenders in folks. I got like three right now. But you never know. Sometimes on Tinder, one thing I like about Tinder is when I get uninterested, guys, I don't like ghosting people. So when I get uninterested, I just wait for them to ghost me first. I hate dating apps. So much. I'm too sure why. Men are so ugly. And when I get really bored, I'll download them. That's the crazy part. And be mad. I'm really sit there and be mad. I hate dating apps. Why were they created? That's another hell. There's just another hell. I and it's like, it's not even a dating app. Like people use it to hook up. And there are hookup apps. Like, it really makes me mad that people get on Tinder just to hook up. Like, they are just such a pain in the ass. Just, uh, that's just too much. And like I said, men are ugly. Yeah. Mommy needs to let me know if she wants me to list the whole thing. I want it. Right, like, why are you banned? How the hell do you get banned from Tinder? Oh, she's a manager. Yep, same. I ghost everyone. If it's like, I don't know, if the conversation is boring, like, I'm going to put in some effort, but not a crazy amount of effort. Like, I'm not about to carry this conversation on my back. And so, if that's what they're expecting, they're definitely going to get ghosted. But otherwise, yeah. I just it, and the conversations don't last long for me on there at all. They don't. I've been watching this one guy for like three days on Twitter. He lives up the street, and we went to the same school. Conversations have been really good, and I'm talking to this other guy. Um, he's camper security at Schoolcraft, and I'm talking to this other guy. He's just really hot. I stopped talking. I think the last straw for me was the last time I got in there. I Facetimed this guy. And then the next day, he told me, he texted me and told me he missed me. So I was like, you know what? I don't like Tinder. This is weird. Why would you say that? Why would you just tell me? Why would you say that to me? I think it's so stupid that Tinder would ban you for not using your real name. Like, I wouldn't want these creeps to know my real name. <clears throat> what sounds like an a, a name romance? This was such a random comment. Oh, it's Pop <laughs> from the Gang of Places? Please? Right, what does single at heart mean? That means you gotta. Single at heart usually means when you are in a relationship. Are in a relationship. <laughs> okay, yeah, campus. He's so cute, too. Um, He's tall. All the guys I pick on Tinder are tall. I can do like 5'10 to 6 feet. Remember. Um, my type is white men. That's pretty much it. She should be ashamed. <laughs> she should be very ashamed. I am, I am. That she just said that. Mm -hmm. I do be matching with some black men, but a lot of, every time I ma match with them, they be like scammers. <laughs> well, these white men have financial stability. <laughs> scammers have financial stability. Yeah, they gonna They just try to involve you. Not the last one I talked to, though. The one I was... Kyle? Mm -hmm. I also have a fear that they're going to scam me. Because I've seen some, like, some stories like that. <laughs> no, because God on Tinder literally, like, I was I was um talking to this guy last night, and he was like, oh, you should come over so we can cuddle. I'm not... No, he said, can I come over to your house? I said, first of all, no, you cannot. Mm-mm. They be like, they literally be like, yeah, let's go out right now. And it'll be like three in the morning. Like, get a life. I'm not going out with you. It's like men have no mental capacity that like women can't just be getting up and going out. Like, they literally cannot register in their mind that it's unsafe for women to just go out with somebody they met online. 
And maybe it's because some girls might do that. But if you're smart. Wait. Did somebody call you Tamara? Tamara Mori. Help! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I agree, though. Um, Nick Robertson. Um, Sammy Will. I love him. What a beautiful man. Jack Harlow. Do you see that TikTok of Jack Dale I sent you? Yes. He looks so good. He he always likes to come back to the internet and then leave. Yeah. Because when I say I was following his friend, when, when TikTok first, like when everybody first got on TikTok, like all the grown people, he was on there. And I was watching his TikTok. And then I just went and he uh, he deleted all his old videos and stuff like that. He always, I don't know, maybe he'd be liking to reinvent himself. I don't really know what he'd be doing. He'd be going through something over there. Um, yeah, I guess it's because, like, I mean, at least if I get my heart broken by a guy with glasses, I can break them. Not in my experience. Not in my experience. They have not been since. They have not been. But I agree. I do need me a simp. I do. Um, when my last boyfriend, I was like, he wasn't like, he didn't, it wasn't my detachment, but I realized I need someone that's obsessed with me. Not even obsessed with me, but just like actually like shows interest mm-hmm. and confidence and stuff like that. I need that. I always thought I always thought that man was fine. I'm not gonna hold y'all up. You literally always post your boyfriend in your stories. She's gonna go make her food. I don't know. Wait, what did that say? Yeah, because all of my boyfriends, ex boyfriends, will like. Well, I'm saying all. Like, I have had two. Like, I just have more than two. See, I think, see, I don't give up on dating ass. I'm sorry. Like, every time I'll be like, yeah. Because it's like, where else am I going to meet guys? I'm not meeting them at work. I don't go anywhere else. Like, it's just realistic for me to meet a guy on a dating app. It's just like, I just need them to act right. Because I don't ghost people. Like I said, I'll just let the guy ghost me first because I know at some point they are. But I wish that, like, I really wish guys would stop ghosting you. Like, I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I don't get it. I don't know. Um, because I've only had two, and they both were white. I don't really know what to say here. Yes, because I be on Tinder. Like, I be on Tinder talking to guys, like, getting to know them, all the stuff. They'll stop. Now, some guys I do stop replying to because they'll be weird. Like, this one guy, he messaged me. His first message, first message said, hey, princess, no, shut up. You sound like somebody's grandpa. But... I don't use Bumble because all the men, t- men on Tinder are ugly, but all the men on Bumble are ugly. At least there are some cute ones on Tinder. I'm not going to lie, this sounds a bit sick. (laughs) That's hilarious. You're a bit sick, and you know what? I kind of respect it. It's going to be toxic. (laughs)
Wait, so are you? I thought you were a girl this entire time. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I thought that said Carly. I didn't read. <laughs> I didn't read the name at all. I be doing that though. I don't be reading the full name to anything. I just got like Carter, finding Carter. Carter was a girl. So I was like, oh, Carter could be a girl's name. That's my bad. Oh my gosh, there's this one guy on Tinder that I keep matching with. We've also mapped on like Bumble. So one time I finally was like, yeah, we might as well just talk to each other because we always match. He goes to me. So uh, that's what I get. Yeah, I wasn't, be, I wasn't really paying attention there. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was like a short. I don't know. I don't know. Me too. I would like a bromance as well with a really hot guy. A white guy with abs. Oh my god. You just get on Tinder. Yep, you'll see that for sure. All guys on Tinder work out, like all of them. Except like obviously like the really this really skinny nerdy ones. But like every guy I've met on Tinder they be working out. And I'm pretty sure they just be they either be saying they work out. Or they work out only because they think that's what girls on Tinder want. Because, like, my ex worked out all the time, but I wasn't really seeing any changes there, you know. So it's like he just started working out just because he was on Tinder. Is that the sound of groceries? I agree. I agree. Do you remember that one guy who kept asking me about cars? Oh, I think this is him. Or this might be another guy. There's always a guy from my live streams. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to do all that and then what? Have a long-distance relationship? Move there? <laughs> yeah, John Saxon definitely has been in one of these lives. Um, the last guy I was talking to was Canadian. I can I can do Canada because it's like across the border, but I also don't have a passport and I don't drive, so I can't do Canada. But the last guy I was talking to, the one who goes to me and then came back and then goes to me again. <laughs> it don't really be given nothing because back when quarantine had first started um they let you do that like in quarantine men are ugly everywhere i learned that the hard way um <clears throat> yeah exactly Yeah, me too. Like, I thought it was going to be a thing, and then he just has not replied. Like, I already don't give second chances, and he on his, he he's not getting a third. So, I was like, maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I'm being extra new. I was thinking of trying Tinder when I, went, when I go to Florida, but that's actually the worst idea ever. Of course that happened. I'm telling you, long distance relationships are Italy Tinder sounds good, but I feel like the men there don't like, you know, our skating. Um, I would say definitely not, especially the stories I've heard from my cousin. People like to people like to push that narrative. Okay, Miss Dash Dash. People like to push the narrative that Italian men like black women. I don't know who started that rumor and why you're setting people up like that, but you're setting people up to get caught the N-word by a white man. Yes. 
Yes. With the hard R. Yes. Literally. So we need to stop that narrative. Just because, you know, just because you see Italian men with a few black girls don't mean that they really like us for real. Because don't have people thinking that. Um, I'm trying. Exactly. I am trying. I'm putting my whole heart and soul into this. And it's just not working. It's just not. And I have a rule where we can't. I'm not going to, like, put them in any of my videos until three months of dating. And I can't even get past the first month. Like, Florida men are very fine, but they're very trash. I feel like anybody in Florida is just. We're talking about men, Alex. Which is, like, the worst topic ever. Yeah. Dude, there's this one girl on Italy. I think her name was like Tiana or something like that. I used to watch her videos. She met her boyfriend. I remember the entire story because I thought it was so cute. And they've been together. Well, I don't know if they're still together, but they were together for years. So she met him in high school. And it was like one of those like foreign exchange things. So like he had came to America for like a, a few weeks or a few months. Because my school did the same thing with German, like with uh, people from German Germany. So, um, yeah, they would, people from Italy would come to their school for a, a few weeks or a few months and stay. And I think he was staying with her friend. And then they became friends. And then she went to go stay with him in Italy for, like, you know, because we did the same thing. Like, um, the the first few months, you would, you, the people from Germany would come to our school. And then the last, the last, like, few months, you would go to, to Germany to stay in their house. Basically, like, it's, um like, low you know lol the movie with my service is like that that's an actual thing that people do and so she went to go stay with him and then they ended up dating and then she moved to italy and now she teaches italian on youtube too she does have an italian boyfriend uh, she's living the life I believe it. I believe it. I believe it because there are some Asian men on Tinder and they are so fine. We never match though. They are also don't like, they don't like us. They don't like us. Yeah. No, because when you said my boyfriend dated her in Chow and Chile, I said, I, I read Chow. I was like, Dang, I thought she was about to be like, yeah, my friend visit her in child. But no, that's it, it's chilly. But yeah, one of the guys I'm talking to on Tinder is Italian. He's kind of like, we're having good conversations, but it's also kind of bland. Oh, that's cute. Y'all about to have me watching some Italian couples on YouTube, please. I used to watch this YouTube channel, and it was about, like, it was, like, Korean people, like, um, trying things, I guess, and they had this Korean guy talking to this girl who black girl who spoke french in that video the 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 um energy that video radiates is just beautiful
Well, I found her. Her name is Tia Taylor, the girl I was talking about. I'm trying to see if her and her boyfriend are still together. I'm going to have to stalk her Instagram because her, her YouTube videos aren't giving anything. Bro, I don't think they're still together. Oh. Hold on, I gotta do some more research. You know, Carter, I really respect you for trying in the live stream. Where it's mostly just girls and Alex. I can't do long distance relationships. I already know that. Like, they're just not for me. Yeah, Bumble BFF. I met this girl off Bumble BFF. She was really cool, but she kept talking about her ex boyfriend and how he cheated on her, and I did not care. And he had cheated on her like years ago, and he had already been broken up. Y'all making me want to get on Bumble. This is the board I'm striking. And it's winning. Come down with it. Get on Bumble BFF. Uh, but then I just thought about having to upload all those pictures, and I don't have pictures. I only have videos of myself. That's very annoying. Not y'all trying to set up Alex and Carter. Shit, light up. Oh, do it? Did yeah. you get to a UV light? Or you wear one? It'd be tomorrow. You All you gotta do is wear them in the sun. Uh, oh, to sign to activate it. Yeah, I wore them to take Royal to school. I got home, looked down at my feet. They was going like a motherfucker. <laughs> you can see it during the day. Oh, that's oh. sweet. That's real sweet. Yeah. That's what's up. Why oh, they let him cool? I gotta figure out how to get Royal some because I know he's gonna want some. Especially once he see that yours light up. It's sweet. It ain't sweeter than I thought. Yeah, that's cool. At least you ain't wasting money then. Using you did pictures. that. You did that. Not me. You did that. Advice for getting up or reading slum. Just get just sit through it. Like if you don't feel like reading, you don't feel like reading. True. Don't force yourself to read. And if you're reading something that's you feel is putting you in a reading slump, either DNF it or take a break from it. I usually choose to DNF it. Yeah. And like for me, I usually go like romances really get me out of a reading slump. I don't really know if you read romances, but the little Kindle Unlimited romances get you right out of it. Oh, oh, Miss Dash. Or even maybe try graphic novels, I think, if you want to read something small and entertaining. Yeah, Kenya just said that. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then I might be telling him. Because you don't got no supervision. Yeah. But she do like one time, like like when Daniel was going to get his haircut, she got called him. And was That's why I was actually, when I was talking to him, and he was telling me, like, everybody be kissing him. I'm like, yeah. He notices a big difference between our family and his. He don't let him fuck with him like that. I didn't know he really liked when we heard him kissing him. Right. Yeah, that's sad. They don't know that. That's my well, that's my human for life. Right. It's my bestie. Now I gotta give him extra love when he come over. Right. I really didn't know. I thought I thought I'd be well. I didn't think I irritated him because like I'll give him a kiss on the cheek and he'll give me one back. Aww. So like he basically, but I thought it was just like him mirroring whatever I do. Mm-hmm. But I guess he really do. I guess he really do like that. Right, not everybody listening. Yeah, the tea. Yeah, the tea get real interesting yeah, here. I don't know why. Yeah. Being in black houses is my favorite thing. I love the constant gossip. You walk by any door, and someone mm-hmm. talking about something. Mm-hmm. Talking about something. Especially my mom's room. That's the best place to walk by. Right, and honestly, sometimes she, if she have her door closed, you can just stand there for a minute. And if you stand there, this you be pretending you was going downstairs. <laughs> Kiss of Deception. Ain't that an old ass book? I've never read that. And it's silly because everybody in this house talks loud enough for you to hear them from just where you're sitting. No, literally. It's, it'd be me hearing her with the door closed. Though. With My the door. be so loud. And it's so funny because. She don't think that anybody can hear her with the door open or closed. Like, she really just be in her own little, like, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Like, yes, girl, we do, actually. Gossip is, gossip is good. Gossip is amazing. Um, we like to read, uh, to all the boys together. We don't really read together, though. Like, we don't read the same books at the same time. No. Right, because once you get to whispering, then you know. Then you know that's when the real tea. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is very true. R- Carter don't like romance because he, he wants to look for that romance. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Did you go to 7-Eleven? I want some chips. No, it's candy, but thank you. Did Uncle bring groceries? No. What's all this click clacking banging around here down there? What are you making? Some pizza bagels. <laughs> it's like every time you get happy, you hear some something you don't like. Like, I'm just, this is why you don't expect nothing. I, don't, I need to be putting my pictures together for this Bumble account. It's the fact that you're really big the one that's in I like, I got like that. Y'all made it sound fun. I'm just going to delete it. Like, I I do this a lot. I download them just to delete them. So, this is pretty normal for me. I still hate dating apps. Though. I am going to read a lesson in vengeance. I just don't know when. Seven Eleven sushi. Pardon? I think he. I think he thought somebody said sushi. Oh no! I wanted chips, and Daniel offered me candy. Hold on! What's going on here? <laughs> Very feminine urges. It's everyone in the chat going feminine urges. <laughs> Oh my god. And now everybody waiting on the reply. 7 Eleven is like a convenience store. Yeah. Do you have like Wawa there? It's like the same thing. Journaling isn't really feminine. I met I've met a lot of guys on Tinder who journal. That is not feminine. Stop assigning genders to things. I just think the issue is, is that a lot of men think that 
things that women like is like feminine, like astrology and stuff like that. But I know a lot, like I know a lot of men who like astrology. People just think that anything that like mostly women like, which isn't really true. Like it's not that mostly women like them. It's just that men associate those things with women. Like reading, most women don't like both genders read, but everyone says mostly women read, even though it's not really true. We don't, we don't have Wawa's here. Um, I just know about it because um, Mika says she has it in, in Florida. And then I was reading this book, and it was set in Washington, D.C., and they talked about Wawa's in the book. It was um that one book, the the royal book, the one about the if um if like if the U.S. had like prince and princesses thing or king and queens. I mean. Like that's gonna do something for anybody. I'm sure he's making for himself, but put the whole thing to take it. You wanna go to the store for me? He just went to the store. <laughs> you know he ain't you going back. What? You want to Are you a no a simple no with somebody? <laughs> like that's all you have to do. I would have left it at that. And here you come. Jesus. He can't just say simple no. He's gonna put an insult in there. Right, I'm like, okay, Jesus. Wanna shoot a man while they down? What the heck is car about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the book was good. It just wasn't like I didn't read the second book. The first book was good. It just wasn't like all that like amazing. Like it wasn't nothing like I don't know. The drama was there, but it wasn't there. Like, you know? I like I like any kind of drama. I like when drama slowly plays out. I like when drama is like bam. Like I don't know. Like I'm watching another two right now, right now, and I'm on season two where the plot line is Liam is introduced. Oh, I love me some Liam. Liam is introduced, and at the end of season one, Liam slept with Naomi's sister, Jen, and then Jen walked out of the room, and then he Liam didn't know that that was her sister until um like Jen had walked up to him and was like, oh my gosh, like I'm he's like a huh, okay, I gotta start from being okay. So Liam. It's like a bad boy, troubled soul, all this stuff, right? And then Jen walks up to him and he tell she tells him something that only Naomi knows. And so then they like sleep together because they sleep together as like revenge. And then Naomi walks in, but Jen isn't there. But she finds this like this dress like shawl thing. And it's Annie. So no, Naomi leaves the room thinking it's Annie, and then Jen walks up like, "Oh, my sister's so annoying," and he's like, "Sister." So then Naomi, this plot line is so insane. Okay, so then Annie, like Naomi goes to Annie's like, "You slept with Liam," and she's like, "No," and she's like, "This is your thing or whatever," and she's like, "No," and she's like, "I don't believe you because you've dated my ex boyfriend before," and Annie's like, "No." So then she gets kicked out of the party. Everybody's mad at her because they think that she snitched on the party, the prom party before. And so she leaves. She calls the police on the party, which people saw her. It's such a Karen thing to do. Exactly. You get mad because everybody put you at the party. So she calls the police on the party, and then she drives off. Why is she getting a whole hit and run? So she she hits this person because she was drunk driving, and then she leaves. What? Like, girl, you just called the authority. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not a two at all. You just caught the authorities on a party that you got booted out of. Did it probably kill somebody and didn't you want to call the authorities then? Exactly, exactly. Embarrassing. And then this new guy is okay, so then you see then you see at the end of the season that you see the license plate, right? So then the way that 90210 introduces things is so smart. So then after you see the license plate, that you know the episodes end, so season two happens, and then you, you get introduced to this new character, Teddy. You don't know that Teddy is the person who found the dead body until like episode two or three because they hid like they didn't show his last place until then. So you th- like I think everybody, I think he knows about Annie, but I don't know. Um, 
And then Naomi's talking to like, Naomi's being mean to Annie, and then Annie sleeps with this guy, and he takes a picture of her while they're naked. And then Naomi finds out, and she sends the picture out to everybody anonymously. And then um, Annie confronts Naomi, and Silver didn't want to believe. Silver's one of their, their both best friends, but she stopped being friends with them because like the riff. Is anybody listening to my story? I'm listening. Okay, yeah. So then Silver is like, no, nah, Naomi would never do that. Like, she's mean, but she's not that mean. And then Annie is like, no, nah, she really did it. So then Annie gets the guy who um who took the picture of her to admit that Naomi didn't know. But then Annie tells um Naomi that she did sleep with Liam, even though that's not true. And you don't even find out until episode 11 like, the sister is also, Jen is also doing sneaky stuff. Oh, the sister is so sneaky. She's like, she told Naomi that she's getting a divorce and she has to pay for this this thing. And it's like 100 grand. Why she spend 100 grand on a horse? Like, homegirl is just. Anyways, the, impl- the plot lines are insane. And they really know how to drag out a story. I love John. John Saxon telling everyone that he'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, none of my Tinder boyfriends have replied. So sad. We need to start our sprint. Oh, okay. We'll start it at 10. Okay, we'll do a sprint at 10 until 30. Um, 90210. And there's so much drama in this show. Like, I remember in one of the seasons, this one character gets married to another character, and then they think that he dies, so then they move on, but then he comes back. I love that plot line. I love that plot line. It's so good. Yeah, Jenna just want to read her book, basically. No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. Help. I mean, hey, there are some guys out there that are a little hot, a little ugly. Girl, that's like every teen drama ever. But yeah, there is one black guy in it, in the show. So they do have black characters. Like, they have black side characters. Like, there's one black main character. He's a black guy. And then they do put him with black girls. Like, he does have black girlfriends and stuff like that. So, thank God. And they do have plot lines of, like, him, like, struggling to find his blackness because he does go to, like, uh, he is, like, the only black kid in his family because he's adopted and stuff like that. It's, like, his storylines are pretty good. They don't do him dirty. I mean, I guess you can have both. You can have two friends. You can have two bromances. Or what if he's like, I mean, hey, with smart guys, you could, what if he's like hot and he got his nails done, but he's also a little bit ugly and he likes to argue? There you go. And arguing with smart guys is not fun unless you're as smart as them. Let me tell you that. Yes, my mom used to watch, watch Lincoln Heights. I never got into it. I did want, I do want to, cause boy, that couple. But um, I just never tapped into it. I'm, I want a snack so bad. I'm about to order Seven Eleven off DoorDash instead. Okay, so he doesn't like nails. I missed that when I was talking. Okay. <gasps> Jada does drive. She drives me to work and picks me up sometimes. Well, she picks me up more, most of the time. She drives me to work sometimes. Yes, he plays Liam the bad boy. You got to tap into it. It's on CW Seed for free. I'm actually going to watch some episodes tonight. Like, you know, around the time when, like, we just, like, chilling and, you know.
Oof, that was long. That was long. Not that it was plotting on. Like Gabrielle said, it would be funny if she came back and there was zero people here. Bro. Anyways, we didn't go to 7-Eleven. We went to um, the gas station. They did not have any good stuff there. It's a fucking speedway. Well, it's speedway. I got my grandma cookies. I love me some grandma cookies. I got regular chocolate chip and chocolate brownie. My two saves. And I got me a slushie. I got me a um, Tabasco season um, Slim Jam, which I believe... I think I've had this before. I like this. And then I got me some Flavor Hot. Limon, 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 limon. Whatever. Shit, three guys. My mouth is hot. And I, I need to stop eating so much hot stuff, but it'd be so good. The flavor is so good. My nostrils. I have some of your slushy. No. Thank you. Like Speaking of Confederate, when we was driving the car next to us had a, a Blue Lives Matter flag. And I knew it because I seen a flag at the corner of my I seen two flags at the corner of my eyes, so I knew. So I looked and I told Jay to look at her reaction. She was like Because that's very nasty of you, sir. I just got regular Coke flavor slushy. I've gotten slushies like three times this week, but all I crave. It's the Coke flavor ones, and they never have it. She, can you just said they taste like Fruit Loops? Why do they taste like that? They shouldn't taste like that. Yeah, girl, why was you working at Menards? Can Seems like all the racists. Seems like all the racists will be there. My stomach is going to regret this later. But my taste buns are... Buns? Girl, shut up. I know what I meant. I actually need a nap. No, you just woke up. No, I woke up at three. You just woke up. I'm not gonna lie, this really confuses me. I can I cannot nap. If I took a nap right now, I'm not gonna wake up until nine. <laughs> Napping sprint. So hot. So very hot. Is the fan turned up? No, tell them about this. Oh. That's crazy because my coworker, just like whatever state you live in, you should have just went, um, you should just work there whatever state you went in. And then Like, stayed there and then went on a school leave. Because one of my coworkers does a school leave. She comes back every break and then for the summer. From France? That's so awesome. How rude. Right. 
We need that bromance to happen, John. Dang, none of my Tinder booths are playing. This is so sick. I'm back on Bumble, which I'll be deleting within the next. I give it. I give it two days. Who is texting me? Not me. Somebody just said, "Did you get vaccinated, Miami?" That's scary. Who is this? That's very scary. Oh, it's the number by Federal Communications uh, Commission, FCC. So it's like one of them. Oh, it's a, it's a scam call, like a scam thing. That's scary. That is terrifying. Like, why, d what? What are you about to kidnap me? You trying to make sure I'm vaccinated beforehand? Help. No, literally. I mean, clearly, clearly. I'm gonna have Jocelyn's off of work today. I'm gonna work already. I mean, I'm sure, but then you say all the men were Confederates. So which one's the truth here, Shayla? <laughs> Drop me iPad. See what I mean? What? Oh. You, no one can see what I mean. But I was about to be like, believers are delusional. Who do you guys think is the most delusional zodiac sign? Are you going to give us a list or you just said we can just say it? Yeah, everybody just say their opinion. I personally think Pisces. Uh, Libras, excluding, no, but people think it's Pisces. But Libras, let me tell you, but excluding Malia, because she's a Libra queen, a Libra queen, but. Every other Libra that I know is delusional. And not even necessarily in a bad way, like I just discussed it. It's just like, you're crazy. You're just saying things. I think after you tell them to take you off a list, you can like sue them or something. Go get that money, girl. Yeah, I'm not taking that chance. You telling me there's a 50% chance a man could be racist? I'm not taking it. I love Leos, but Monty, I can see why you think Leos are delusional. Because one of my closest friends is a Leo, a Leo Jaden. And he's mm -hmm. just out of pocket. Remember when I told him we were in geometry class and I was like, said something, we were arguing about something, I was like, you're doing too much. He said, am I doing too much or are you just not doing enough? And that's what I knew. <laughs> Leos just don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't really know any Gemini, so I had, I had a best friend who was a Gemini. I know, like, okay, 
there's a guy who was a Gemini and in, in high school, and he had huge commitment issues. Like, homeboy had a different girlfriend every week. And then one of my best friends was Gemini, but she wasn't like how, like, people say Geminis are, like, two-faced or anything like that. Please go get me some water. So, I don't know. I don't think Geminis, from my experience, Geminis haven't been delusional. But, what was I about to say? Not wishy-washy or anything like that. I lost my train of thought where I was going with that. But I always, I always love talking to Gemini's. I feel like I have the best conversations with air signs. There's just always something to talk about. Air signs always have something to talk about. There's like never, there's never like a chance that you'll run out of a, out of a talk, topic talking to them. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to talk. Maybe because my mouth is hot. But I love talking to air signs. I love talking to Gemini's, really. I have like a handful of Gemini friends. Now Monty clocking Gemini's asking if they have two personalities. Some of them do. But some of them are normal. Yeah, Gemini's are very easy to get along with. Who else is great? Who else is a great sign that I just love? I, I love Leos. Can't get enough of Leos. I'm a Capricorn rising, and I love Capricorns, but that just might be because I just love that that's my rising sign. Virgos are very good at grounding people. My best friend since kindergarten is a is a Virgo son, Capricorn rising. Girl, fuck you. Like we know, we know who you are. <laughs> Why not? Am I not sitting right here? No, you're not. You're not engaging. So shh. I'm dead. Not. <laughs> not Carter. I noticed you're not answering. <laughs> Scorpio loves Scorpios. Can you are you do you feel like you're possessive or like territorial? Who's a Scorpio? I truly believe my soulmate is a Scorpio. And I love Aries. I feel like the best Aries placement is Aries Moon. Like if you have an Aries Moon, that just makes you like an exciting person. But any Aries placement really. That's just my uh, I like Aries Moon sign. Diana ain't paying attention. Her tender man must be responding. No, no tender men. No tender men are responding. I was on Twitter. Because they eating up owl crate on Tinder. Because of the whole Harry Potter thing. I'm saying they eat it up like I didn't post the screenshots. Two air signs, two cancer. Yeah, I'm a Pisces sun and a cancer moon. I love talking to air signs. I can talk to them all day long. And I'm also... Sorry if you're like not into astrology and you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't say sorry, girl. Also, my Mercury sign is Aquarius, and I think that's why I also love talking to air signs. Because I always like, I'm always thinking about stuff, and I like people who are, I don't mind when people are jumping from topic to topic to topic. No, because I'm trying, I'm trying to get that. Y'all, it's been three years. It's been three years, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all this tag. And when I do the tag, I'm going to have to do some new questions because. Some of the questions I like when I, I was watching this one girl because for a while I stopped watching the tag because I was like, I'm not about to watch this. Like, I'm so embarrassed. Like, you know? So, I, for a while I stopped watching the tag and I went to go watch somebody and I was like, damn, this question is so corny. Like, who wrote this? It was me. I wrote the questions. So, I'm going to have to read it out. And I am going to be doing a end of the year book tag to match the um, mid year freakout tag. So, I'm going to do an end of the year freakout tag. I wanted to show you guys this is very awesome coloring book my friend bought me it's a mythographic dream garden and also like finding like objects random objects oh i have to get closer i don't feel like doing that girl who are you telling i got a package that's coming in today it's supposed to be here by 10 o'clock 
It's seven fifty five. I got one package. It's one book. But anyways, yeah. I like okay. I think it's one thing to still like read Harry Potter, even though like J.K. Rowling is canceled because it's just reading, like it's not really hurting anything. But it's a completely different thing to sell their merch. And I thought Alcred was doing fine, but I guess I heard that a lot of people stopped doing their Alcred because they weren't selling those mugs. But it's like you can get those mugs anywhere. I literally have three of those mugs. Like I have this one. I think I did this one. Where my other one go? I have one from, from Blood and Ash. Anyways, yeah, I got this one from Uprooted. I got one from v Vicious by V. Schwab. And then I got one... I got one from, from Blood and Ash from the book box. Where the hell? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so this is my Vicious one. And this is my From Blood and Ash one. Like, you literally can get these mugs from anywhere. So, I, like, I don't really get why people are so pressed to have the Harry Potter ones, but whatever. I'll create, like, I agree with Monty, like, or somebody made a good, good point where they was like, hey, our sales are going down. Like, I think I want to continue selling these Harry Potter ones because we still have a few more left and the people are still wanting them. Like, they would, I don't think they would have gotten attacked, but the person who wrote, the person who wrote that long ass letter by girl talking about some it means everything to me and I grew up loving it and I just can't read without reading Harry Potter like get a life. the reason well at least why i would be upset is just because of the fact that it's like she wrote this long letter as to why she wants to what is distracting no the coloring just made me feel the sound of the page the, the oh, pencil on the page sorry. no that's me but anyways um i was in my teen wolf era with my superhero but um anyways um, yeah, I'll create boxes aren't even that good. And I don't even know, like, are they doing a box for, I need to see if they're doing a, I'm talking about something I need to see, I'm gonna get canceled. But I need to see if they're doing a box for, um, The Last Graduate. They really should turn off their likes and comments, because people gonna eat them up. I don't really subscribe to Owl Craig because I don't really think that, like, they're, I think Owl Craig is better than Fairy Loot, but still, like, half of the stuff, like, they just change the color slightly. Like, they don't really be putting a foot into these books, to be honest. No, I think Fairy, fairy Loot is better than Owl Crate, because I've only gotten one Owl Crate box, and that was, um, Deadly Education. And I might get The Last Graduate, but they didn't announce a box, so I guess I'm not getting that. I don't really care because I got my UK edition anyways, so. Yeah, and it's like, okay, back to my point. My point was that... My point was that it's just like they're saying, like, instead of instead of saying, like, hey, guys, like, I know we said we don't support J.K. Rowling, but I want to, um, I want to finish out selling these copies because I made a promise to the artist and, like, um, we still have a few more left. We just have a bunch of these. Like, I get that. But the author, the person basically saying, like, yeah, like, we said we support them, but it just means so much to my childhood. Like, and it's like, girl, fuck your childhood. Right. Because, like I said, it's one thing to read the books, but it's another to sell merch for the books. Like, I get the money may not be going to her, but I don't know. But I also think, like, the whole, like, I mean, I can't say much because I did, I was the one who posted the screenshot, but I like, I like starting up chaos, and everybody was mad, and it made me laugh. But, um, but, like, it's so crazy because people, how do I put this without getting canceled? It's like people, um, they'll cancel J.K. Rowling completely. And I get it. Like, she's transphobic. But Twilight 
Stephanie Meyer literally was racist towards Native Americans, and people still read Twilight, and people try to cancel Twilight, but nobody's budging because they hold Twilight so near and dear to their heart. And it's like Stephanie Meyer and her racist agenda, like she literally, I somebody literally just made a read um, a passage on in Twilight about how um, basically there are no black vampires or people of color or vampires of color because once you become a vampire, you turn white. And somebody said it's rooted in the Mormon belief that black people are black because of our sins and that when you die, you'll um you'll become white once you die, basically. Who came up with some bullshit like that? <laughs> Mormons are it's one thing, it's just crazy that a whole like religion is like they have things rooted in racism. Like black people sin, but we were slaves. Like what did we do to y'all? But um, it's just very interesting that people will stop supporting J.K. Rowling because she was transphobic, but people won't stop supporting Stephanie Meyer when she's clearly racist as hell. Like, as hell. Kenya, I'm sorry, girl. I'm not to drag you because why are you paying money for hardcover romance books? Like, there's nothing new about it except it went from paperback to hardcover. Now you got these hardcover romances. Where are you gonna put them on your shelves? You just go like I mean, I guess for me, I have my my shelves split up by genres. So I wouldn't have nowhere to put them because they're hardcover. Where the fuck am I gonna put hardcover romances? Can't go on my rainbow shelf because they're all three different books. What are you? But my thing is, what are you gonna do with hardcover romances, Kenya? I would like to know. With spray edges, nothing changed the cover. No new, nothing new added. They just put spray edges in a hardcover. Same with uh the Poppy War. Nothing. They just sprayed the edges. Illuminate is ripping people off. I'm sorry to admit it. Please don't tell me your favorite book of all time is The Host, girl. Because I'll cut into you, too. That book wasn't a hardcover? Because I, I got that in a hardcover. Girl, not The Host. Yeah, Shelly, you didn't know, like, I mean, and Twilight, all, the whole, like, Native American thing is just very, very bad. Like, the representation is bad, and she wrote badly about one of the tribes, and like I said, about, like, the whole skin thing with Black people, like, why one of your favorite cities the host, girl? You are gonna split, you are going to split this series up. So you can put it on a rainbow shelf? You are sick, Kenya. You are sick in the head. Maybe because I've seen the movie. Maybe I need to read the book. But the movie... You know? That's why I hate rainbow shelves. That is why I hate rainbow shelves. I have a rainbow shelf, but rainbow shelves as a whole, it's just like, how sick in the head can you be to split up these series? Because not all series have the same, like, the same color. So you have, like, 18 different first books in a red shelf. And then, because series are usually, like, red, they use black for the first book, red for the second book, and white for the third book. Or, like, some mix of that like just make some of that no because fury Boy does it um blood and honey does it like a lot of ya fantasy series do that like that black red white cover specifically so now you've got three different books on oh, fucking arts 
Well, I didn't need to be read like that. Yeah, um, it took me it took me an hour to get together my rainbow shelf, like my singular shelf. Like I literally kept going back and forth because I'm like, oh, I don't want this book on here. I still don't want the duff on there because of the big pink on the yellow. It's really making me mad. But I can't find another book to put right there, so the duff is gonna stay there. Who is this? Bless you. Some guy on Tinder just asked me when's the next full moon. I don't know. Full moon is um the twenty second. Oh, good for him. Hope not you on Bumble. Girl, sounds good on there. <laughs> How many ugly men are on there? I didn't click. I didn't want to see any ugly men. Oh, I really hate getting on dating sites and matching with me. It disgusts me. I'd rather meet you in person. I had to split up on the come up and the hate you give, and that's not even in a series, and I was so mad. Yeah, Jade is really into astrology. Yeah. I want to be able to read charts <clears throat> over the next year or two. So when I get on Twitter, I'm like, I'll read your chart. I'm being dead serious. I make Jada read the chart of all the guys that I talk to on Tinder. I'm gonna take this damn top off. We'll take a reading sprint break this hour and we'll get back into it at nine. We're taking a reading sprint break break? Mm hmm. Break from the sprint? Mm hmm. Okay, makes sense. I'll just make sure we're on the same page. Have you ever heard of Beverly Hills, Michigan? No. Girl, me either. What the hell? She's lying. She made that up. Have you ever heard of hell, Michigan? Yeah. I want to live there. I know you do. Apparently, you're only a resident of like two people. I know my birth time. I was born at 5.59 a.m. Huh? What is this question? I don't really get this question. Jada, how do you work out your other signs as I am a Libra? What now? What does that mean? Can you rephrase the question? Yeah, I don't really get what you're asking. Are you asking, like, how do you find your other signs? <laughs> Anyways, I've known my birth time all my life because my mom always told me what time I was born. No, I am not taking college classes. Yeah. I'm not too good with doing those off the top of the head. Well, I'm not, I haven't memorized how to do those because I know, like, your sun sign is, what, like, one or two signs? It's always, like, one or two signs away from your sun sign. Huh? I mean, your rising sign is always one or two signs oh. um, away from your sun sign. But I think I might be applying that to the home. Basically. Yeah, I don't know that's by heart. So I always use like apps. I use apps or websites. Virgo's time moon and Leo rising. Um you can you if you're trying to figure out your big three, you can use like if you're on your computer or something real quick and you want to just find it out real quick, you can use Astro Chart and put your um where you were born, birth time. That makes it very accurate. I'm pretty sure that Carter's gone, Miss Dash Dash. 
What are y'all scared him away? Probably. <clears throat> Yama. That man was not here a second ago. Oh, yes, he was. I thought he was gone. <laughs> My interception of Blue Carter off the chat. Well, I'm trying to help him find his romance that he wants so badly. Maybe if he got out there, he would find one. Yeah, I don't mind. I know like half of my whole chart, and that's because half of my whole chart is the same thing. So I'm a, a Virgo, Sun and Moon, a Leo, Rising, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. CoStar is not a good app to use. Also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the creator of the app is racist, but I don't really remember. Also, they purposely use like they'll purposely send out depressing ass notifications about transits, making you feel like you're like you're just like why is this so sad? Um, Astro Matrix is a very 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 good um, astrology app. I also have Astro Future, that's a good one. But eh, don't worry about that one. Never mind, discard that unless you're like really into astrology. Um, Sanctuary, that's a very good. Someone Australia. just said that. What sanctuary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sanctuary is very good. But what do you gain? What do you gain from sending out bad messages? Right, because they, I got like two bad. I noticed. I had the app for like a good like two weeks, and I noticed they kept only sending out bad stuff. And I said, "Well, this shit is making me depressed, so I'm gonna get rid of it." Oh, yeah, Snapchat tells oh, yeah. you. Yeah. I forgot about that. And, yeah, because I have mine on there. And sometimes that lets me know, like, if a guy adds me and he has his whole chart on there, I know he's a whore. No, well, it automatically adds that now when you put your birthday in. No, I'm saying if they had, because you have your whole chart. You mm -hmm. don't have your whole chart on, on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So if he has, like, his Leo rising, his moon and stuff like that, I know he's a whore. Because only most guys would just have, like, the basic, their sun sign. I feel so bad for the guys that are into astrology. Yeah. So they probably are actually into it. That one more life. You're nasty. Yeah. I was talking to this one guy and he read tarot cards and all this stuff. But I was just like, mm -mm, something right here. Of course they make you laugh, Monty. You're sick. Monty go say something bad and it's just a co star making me laugh. Then he said, co star is dragging me and I lived every time. No. You're sick. That's terrible. I was at school and my life would be in shambles and I would get depressing as notifications. And I'm like, I know my life is bad, but it, it doesn't have to be so dark. Also, co star isn't 100% accurate, especially like if you have like your birth time and stuff. You'll notice if you go to like a different, like a, a better app than that, you'll notice your placements will change because co star is not that accurate. I don't know why they are. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. My coworker just told me that she called off of work today because it's like it was raining so bad and they had a power outage at Target and she called when she called in the one of the leads hung up on her. See, I would be jobless because you're not about to hang up on me. They get they get so mad and like passive aggressive. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's a, why do you expect people to come in and target and target don't even got no power? Why am I about to why would I work in the dark?
Oh, I talk. We haven't talked about Love Island because I don't. I don't watch Love Island anymore. I stopped watching it. I just want to know what do you gain from sending people bad messages? I just don't get it. Like, um, what? I was talking about. Um, I'm still thinking about CoStar. Girl, I thought we were moved on to. I'm curious, cause I was about to go in, but um, I, yeah, I don't. I, I just stopped using it because I don't know either. <laughs> Right, it's like okay, so you stop using it because it's sending out bad stuff. So it's like, wouldn't you rather send like some more positive stuff so people can be like, oh my gosh, like that's so good, like I'm gonna keep the app and keep some positive. You gotta be a different type of sick. Oh my gosh, the circle was so good. Season two, Jada made me watch it. I miss it, and I can't wait for it to come back. Gabriella said, "Go in about Carrie's cat." Where to start? I don't like it. It's an excuse to be fucking rude. I don't know what else to say. It's just a sack of shit website, and I don't like it. It's terrible, and I don't like how people think it's okay to go on there, on even if it's anonymous, and be fucking rude. For what? What did you gain? What did you gain? Did you get the house? Did you get the job? Did you get the pay raise? No, you didn't? Oh, okay. It's just funny to me because it's like I turned I turned the anonymous thing off and now nobody's sending me anything. Like, okay, so I don't take anybody seriously because I know, if, like, for me, if you can't say something to someone's face, then, like, you're scary. Like, and it's the internet. First of all, if you can't say, if you can't say something to somebody over their internet, how type, like, what type of scare can you be? Because what is the person going to do? Jump you? They're going to fly to your set and beat you up? Like, So the circle, the concept of the circle is you go in the game and you're all in like one building. It's like it's like an apartment building, but you're all separated by rooms, so you're not together. And you basically talk through the app, so you can either be yourself or you can be a catfish and be someone else. And what's the point of the game? You're just trying to work your way to the top of the circle, basically. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. It's basically a popularity contest. It's literally like a it's like a social media game. So you and you for it, you vote um, for like the top people, and then they become influencers, and you can vote people out. And you basically try to stay in the game and stuff like that. And like, it's just so fun. It's so interesting because they do have catfishes, so you do have people like just one guy pretending to be a girl in season two. I suggest watching season two first. I never watched season one, but I like season one. I do suggest watching season two first, but because I feel like season one has just got that awkward. I don't know. Like, it's still really good, but I feel like since they were just like, this is a new game, it's a new show idea. I just feel like it wasn't to this, like, yeah, yeah. Yet, but like, like see, the first season of every reality TV show was gonna be a bit awkward, so I always suggest starting off with the second season and then going back, like, with any, especially like Love Island US, like, literally anything. Especially because you get the you get more drama. I haven't caught up on Big Brother. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really. I stopped watching gaming shows. I even though I do still watch F Boy Island, but that's because I. I watched that by myself, and me and Jocelyn were watching Big Brother together, but we both work, so it's kind of hard, like, you know, watching it and stuff. But yeah, I haven't seen it. What are your thoughts on Big, Big Brother, Jada? Um... After that last season we watched together, I was over it because the number of white people. But since they have that new group and they call themselves the cookout. And I watched the first episode and I really like them. I need to finish it, but I just wish it was actually more diverse and people wouldn't have to put their foot so far out their ass to be like, get more POC, get more black people, get more people of color. Like, you should already be doing that. I don't understand why you would want just one audience. I don't get that. Yeah, and it's like, because for me, I had to start to stop watching Big Brother last season because, I mean, I get it. Like, Big Brother really shows about how white people end up at the top, but it's like they haven't had any black winners since, like, in, like, a lot of seasons. Like, they don't really have 
they have like maybe one black one or one Asian one, like you know, one of like each nationality. I think I don't even know for sure. I could be wrong. And it's like I don't know. They're just like after watching All Star last season, I was like, they always try to get they try to get the disabled out first, the people of color out first, and the older people out first. So all that's left is a white girl, a young white girl, or a young white man. I hated last season. I couldn't even stop. I don't even know who went. I think Nicole won, and that makes me mad because she she already won the original Big Brother, and I don't like Nicole. I think she's so annoying and racist. Ooh. I don't like Tiffany because I know she was the one who did them box braids on that white boy. I mean, not the box braids, but the corn. I know she did the corn rolls on that white boy. All right, I'm not watching her. Yeah, y'all said all y'all need to say. I'm not going to go back and finish it. I don't have time for that. And I don't like Asia because I know she gave him a bonnet. What's wrong with gatekeeping? There's nothing wrong with gatekeeping. Keeping it within the community. And oh, Cody won. I'm sorry, but Cody is so fun. Good for him. I'm sorry, y'all. She rated herself to Hannah and was like, Dara did. Which one is that? Which Derek is the A is the Asian one? Derek F or Derek X? Oh, uh, the the Asian Derek is so fine. He's so smart. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with him. Cody is definitely white. Uh, he does shower. He's more of like a dude, bro. Him and his brother. A dude, bro. Yeah, him and his brother are both deep dude, bros. Um, what's his brother's name? I love, I'm sorry, but my favorite thing, I just love reality TV shows so much. But I mostly like the game ones. Like, the dating ones are okay. Like, I like love. I, I do watch, right now, I'm watching more so of the dating ones. But that's because it's hard as I right now. But my favorite thing is... When you're on a reality show, like Big Brother, Love Island, Are You the One, and then they go to the chat. Oh, Real World? Oh, my gosh. I miss the Real World so much. I want to be on there so bad. I want to be on the Real World so bad, bro. And then it stopped once I actually got of age. I was so mad. But, um, so you go on, like, you know, one of those shows, and then you get on the challenge. And then you get on X on the Beach because you already dated somebody from the challenge or the original show you were in. And that's exactly how I would do it. I would get on Big Brother, or I would do Are You the One, and then I'll go on the challenge, and then I would get on X on the Beach. I also definitely didn't shower. I stopped watching after um, not Devon, but the other black girl with the really pretty curly hair, who everyone loves. Paul, I didn't think Paul was annoying. I didn't like Paul in his season of Big Brother, but I like Paul in the challenge. And my favorite thing, the reason why I like when people are on shows like Big Brother first and then they go on the challenge is because usually you go, when you get on a challenge, there's someone else from the show you were on on the challenge with you. So you had that automatic friendship. Like Devon and Paul, they did not like each other on Big Brother, but because they were the only people on the challenge that knew each other, they stuck together. And now they have like this really interesting friendship. Now the friendship really breaks because like Paul usually has like a annoying guy's girlfriend or something like that. But Theo in Georgia, ugh. I love Yo. Y'all, his eye, he's never getting back on the challenge ever again. But Theo came into Love Island starting drama. He literally is a menace. I love that tall man. He's so tall. When I found out about his eye, I cried. I cried. Bear was so fine until I found out that he was insane. 
Okay, they did fix his eye, but I think he can't. I think he didn't pass the physical to get on the challenge. Yes, Amber, that's what I'm talking about. Keep up, girl. Okay, so basically, he was in a club, and I think somebody popped a bottle or, like, something happened, and something happened with, like, the bottle in it. Hold on. Let me go see. It might be on his Instagram. And he got a baby. Wow, that's really sending me. He's partially, he was partially blind and had to get seven stitches in his eye. Oh, Steel is so fine. I think this might have happened while he was on, like while it was premiering. Are you guys big on CW shows? I remember I started this CW show called In the Dark, and the main character is blind. I only watched the first season, but it was really good, and I need to pick it back up. Yo, look at Theo on his eye patch. Oh my god, that is a man. Dude, Georgia was so pretty. Brit the hold that lip fillers have on British women is absolutely insane. Like whenever I watch a British show, all I can do is like their lips are just like like girl, the hold. Girl, you see, you already know, Shayla. You already know. Per, I just, I deserve, I deserve a tall man. I think, me thinks, yeah. My um ex boyfriend was tall. He was like six foot two, but we never looked like we was dating because he never held my hand. So, my God, please. <laughs> no, because I don't want to spoil the challenge, but I'm starting to think that man is unlucky. He didn't deserve that. He really didn't. I want him back so... Because, like, he stirs up the drama. Like, he's such a... I think Monty, if you watch... If you watch Love Island Season 5, now he doesn't come until, like, the end of the season. But, Monty, you would love Theo. Because it's like he wasn't even a dare to get a girl for anything there. He was just there to stir up drama and cause chaos between relationships. And, it's, and it took so long for them to get him out of there, too. Like, he was not out for... He was in there for a few episodes. Yes, I could reach his hand, Monty. Drag her, Monty. Let me stop because he, he takes that as dragging me. <laughs> right, Nick, you getting dragged. No time. I don't know who Jay is. I didn't watch Survivor. Oh, I don't watch Survivor. Okay, and you said... You watched it in the dark. Yeah, Mur Murphy was great. 
I loved her love interest, the white boy. He was so cute. Which is why I tried to get my aunt to watch it. I knew she would be loving him. What's in the dirt? I ah, uh, cause I guess I just gave a whole description. No, I'm trying to figure out like when were you trying to get me to watch it? It was a while ago. Now I watched it. It was a while ago. It's a Netflix show, right? Yeah. Well, it's not. It's a CW show, but I was watching it on Netflix. The thing is, I started an episode before you had told me to watch it. I started an episode because of compared to Stranger Things, but why the hell would they do that? There's nothing has nothing 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 like a Stranger Things. Nothing like, not even, there's no supernatural. You're watching something else. Maybe it was just called Dark. Yeah, you might have been talking about it. Sure as hell not talking about it. Remember that fairy tale show we was watching with um Paul Wesley? Yeah, Tell Me a Story. Mm-hmm. And they canceled it. My team just can't catch one. Huh? Paul Wesley is so funny. Yeah, I did. Did you hear that Georgia did blackface? What the hell are y'all talking about? Porn. Revenge porn. Fair? <laughs> <laughs> because out of context, okay, so there's a guy named Bear and he was on the challenge. And Georgia was on Love Island, but then, you know, like I was saying earlier, sometimes when you're on reality TV shows, you can get on the challenge because they like to have, you know, stars that people know. Because a lot of people who watch reality TV shows watch reality TV shows. Like, they watch all of them. So, they try to get people that you know from, like, other places. And so, um, Georgia was on there. And they started this relationship in their season, which was insane. Like, he would, like, manipulate her, gaslight her, like, all this stuff. And they still stay together. And then he got revenge on her. And then, um, yeah, Georgia got caught for doing, doing blackface. No, the way Divine was not, was not... Bro, he was really messing up her game. And she still got far with, with him, though. That's crazy. That just shows how amazing Devon is. I wish she had been teamed up with Paul, though. They would have made a great team. But he had that drama going on with that red hair girl. What children? First of all, what child is watching my live stream? And I talk about worse things in my video. In my videos. So, I think if there's children watching, their parents should be monitoring what they're watching. Help. Bro, somebody on Instagram. Because somebody's on his private Instagram. And people from his private Instagram stay leaking his videos. And he's so funny. Okay, but 17 is not a child. Like, you have one more year and then you're basically an adult. Stop playing. Like, you are not a child anymore. Watch, um, I don't think I watched that season because I'm not that I'm not that caught up on the challenge. I watched Theo's, I watched Theo's first season, and that was the first season with Bear in Georgia. And I think I watched the season after that, but I didn't watch this current season. Like the one that just came out last year. I am gonna watch the current season if it if it's one coming out this year though. Oh. But I just don't remember that then. Who's Kara? Oh, wasn't the redhead girl like his girlfriend, his ex girlfriend, or something like that? They like cheat on. I don't know. They need to bring back X on the beach. 
I like watching that show. Did anybody see the first, no, the second season of, I didn't see the third season. I think I got bored to watch. The second season of X on the Beach was so good. They had this one guy. He's actually friends with Trisha Paytas because he was in one of her videos. I don't know. But um, there was this one guy and there was this other girl. She had black hair. And they were like friends at first. And they used to be like those people who used to make fun of everybody and all this stuff. And they formed, they slowly formed a romance, like a friendship romance because they both were like, they both were like the odd ones out, and then they ended up getting together at like the end of the season. And then you came back from the reunion, you find out that like their relationship just went so bad. I love that show. Ooh, UK has celebrity ex on the beach. I don't know any of these people though, so. What? X on the Beach has four seasons? Oh, yeah, because Angela from Bad Girls Club was on it, and I freaking hate Angela. I need to go on. Hold on. Okay, so season four isn't out yet, so. I'm not applying to Love Island because y'all not about to have me being a black girl pick last. No, thank you. I'm not about to be sitting up there looking stupid. Just so these white boys can pick the ugly looking white girls over me that I know I look better than. No, thank you. Ugh, yes. Ah, oh, UK Celebrity Big Brother was so. I never seen it, but I seen like clips and like stuff like that. It's so iconic. They really should do a US Celebrity Big Brother. Carter, what the hell are you talking about? Just hearing like the little noises you make behind me, which I didn't know you was. I need to get that light over here. Get over here. Here's your bathroom. Thank you. What's a painting? I'm so confused. Yeah, okay, they be on American, they be on UK Big Brother all the time, but I want them on, I want a US Celebrity Big Brother. I don't know what it is about, like, UK shows that make them better than US, than US shows. Like, I don't understand. Like, I've watched it and they are better. I'm just saying, like, why, though? Like, why are they better? Maybe it's the accents. Maybe it's the way they talk. The drama, for sure. And, okay, with Love Island, Love Island UK is better than Love Island US because on Love Island UK, they actually be there for love, and you get, like, bromances, and you get girl groups, and you get the found family between all of them. But then, like, with US, everyone just wants to become an influencer. Like, they just try to get on the shows that make them an influencer the easiest. And nobody's looking for love, and you're ruining it for the people who actually want to go on there for love. And plus, you like, with, with um... With, what am I trying to say? Oh, with Love on UK, they actually be together for a while. Like, some people are married. Some people, um, I don't want the light in my face. Some people are married. Some people have been together since their episodes, like their shows aired. Maybe I would do them on my other channel, but it's like I don't like I don't like the like the because like 
what advice could I give? Like, I know I'm good at giving advice, but it's like, I don't know. I think deep down, whatever advice you need, you know the answer to, I guess. And it's like, okay, so if you want boy advice, I personally think you should go to guys for boy advice because guys know guys. Like, I don't know men. I don't know how men think. I just think I know how men think, but I really don't know. So, like, I feel like you should go to a guy for boy advice, you know? Help, Gabriella. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Carter said, I'm not like other boys. I read classics. Exactly. Like, you know, you know the advice, okay? Like, you know deep down, you know right from wrong. Like, there's so many, like, I've, I watch them sometimes because I just like to see what people ask. There's so many who be doing their friends dirty who be like, yeah, I just cheat on my boyfriend. What do I do? Like, you know the answer. You just, I don't know. Oh, self-love. I can't help you in the self-love department either. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. Well, Jenna can, but I can't. What, what that, what does it say? Well, she was just saying, no, she was, just, she was saying that I should start something on my channel where I do like girl talks okay. and give like self, okay. but it's like, I can't help with self love because it's like, I just started living myself. Yes, you can. You can talk about your journey and how long it took you to love yourself and what you did and how, and what ways it made you feel better. Of course you can. I don't know. I just feel like people always ask advice for things that, that you have to, like, you have to find self love on your own. Like you have to want it. Like I can give you all the advice in the world. But if you don't actually want self-love, then what I'm saying is going to be useless. Right. But that's only if you don't want it. I still think advice is help. If someone's act, like actively seeking advice or counsel on it, that's obviously something they want to hear so or need to hear. So I think people will be receptive to advice if you're, at, you're trying, if that's actively what you want. But, of course, if that's not what you want, then no. Gabriella, I'm going to put you in time out, girl. But, yeah, I agree with you. What you're saying, but I mean, she's not wrong. But I mean, I guess, I guess it's just like, I don't know. I guess for me, me, the way I think about it, I think advice is useless. Like, that's why I don't read self-help books. Like, that's why I don't read anything out of, like, um, fiction. Because I think advice is useless. But I guess other people, it could be helpful for other people. Like, okay, when people ask me, like, oh, can you tell me how to read more? I can't. Because I don't know. The LOL wow space period is really taking me out. I'm not going to lie. Hold on, one of my Tinder boobs replied. Shayla says she wants to hear about your self-love journey. Um, well, mine really started during quarantine because 
I felt very, very low, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to survive quarantine, like hating myself. It was just, it got to the point where it was very uncomfortable, and it was just like, can't keep waking up like this. Um, so what I did was I got into journaling, um, got into journaling, and then I started writing my affirmations and just writing out very positive things. Like you can find anything. You can get on Google. You can get on Pinterest. You can get on Twitter. Like. You can go on anywhere, any website, and look up like self love affirmations or anything, and just pick things that make you comfortable. And for some people, you might want to write them down. You might want to say them in a mirror. You might want to like. There's lots of different methods, but those are like the main two I know. Uh, what else did I do? I don't know. It just takes patience and it takes persistence because even when I began like talking to myself in the mirror or like writing down my affirmations, I didn't really like to because it was very uncomfortable. And I was like, this feels very stupid and I don't think it's really changing anything. But things do start to change, especially when you're being consistent about it. Um, what else have I done? I think those are just really my main things. Journaling, uh, taking the time to process like your emotions and how you feel, but also like Taking that time, especially like when you're like waking up, instead of jumping right on your phone, you take the time to think about how your body's feeling, how you feel in your mind, like just assessing how you feel in general. So just a lot of that, just taking the time to live inside your head. Like I've spent a lot of time living inside of my head and just thinking about how things make me feel, and what's making me upset and what do I not need to be around? Because self-love isn't just saying you love yourself, but it's also building boundaries for friends, family, whoever. So yeah, it's a lot. It's it's a lot of things you can do. It's a lot of different things, but those are the things that I did specifically uh, in a lot and still do. I just journal um, and say affirmations, and then I moved on to like um, what are they called? Like people make like playlists on YouTube where they'll post a video and they'll have like specific affirmations or anything that you want to like manifest. And they'll, they'll be like secret like frequencies in them or certain like frequencies. I forget how it works. And I just downloaded those and started listening to those. Like, yeah. There's a couple things you could do with that. There's an endless array of options. Yeah. I kind of just started self love because I was like, you're going to live in your body for the rest of your life. Like, there's no point in hating what you see when you look at the mirror or like when you take pictures and stuff like that because it's like, Nobody else is going to have to, like, when you, you know, not to be, like, grim, but when you die, it's just going to be you. Like, you have to live in your body. So, like, you might as well love yourself instead of spending all that time hating yourself. And then for me, I was just, like, literally just stare at myself in the mirror, which, I mean, now it's probably, like, a lot of people say it's narcissism. But, like, I would literally just stare at myself and just take in, like, all of my features and compliment myself. And then I start taking pictures. Well, I take pictures of myself in general. And I would, like, look at the pictures and, like, try not to be, like, oh, my nose is too big or anything like that. And also, like, I'm personally not insecure about my nose because I'm black. So it's, like, I know that my nose is big because, like, I have a black nose. Like, I have black features. So it's also, like, realizing that some of some of the things that, like, are seen as ugly are Eurocentric features. And you just, like, I can't have right. a small nose. Like, black also, people don't have small nose. Also, yeah, just accepting those things. And if you feel like you're lying to yourself at first about things that you're insecure about, like, then you have to lie to yourself until those aren't lies anymore, until that's something you're comfortable with. Yeah. And I'm not saying, like, not everything, like, you don't have to be, like, confident in every feature about your body or anything like that. Like, there are some things I'm still insecure about, but me as a whole, like, I'm very confident. Yes, I've heard people looking at like being naked. I heard that helps a lot of people like being naked, affirming things, things like that. Exactly, exactly. And also, one, a big, big thing I have is I do not compare myself. I don't compare, like, myself to other people. Like, mm -hmm. I can look at myself. I mean, I can look at somebody's Instagram model, like a model's Instagram post or other people on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and I can be like, wow, this girl is beautiful, and not go, wow, she's beautiful. I wish I looked like that because I can't look like I look like me. I can't look like her. She looks like her. She doesn't look like anybody else. Except, like, you know, the little white girls who be, like, getting it with her. But that's because, you know, 
that's what they do. It's like, I can't look like a white girl. I'm not white, you know? So it's just like accepting that, like, well, the way that I think about it is just accepting that I can't look like that and being able to acknowledge that somebody is doing good or is pretty on their own and me, like, I don't have anything to do with that and they don't have anything to do with me, basically. But just learning, uh, learning a way to not compare yourself in general. Exactly. Watching the Mindy Project, I'm telling you, that show... Mindy is literally, she's literally, like, one of, like, the best, like, TV personalities ever. What does eating, like, a runway model mean? Guess you want strict diet? <laughs> oh. Yes, the Mindy Project. I don't really, I mean, personally, for me, I have a great personality, like personality traits. But it's like personality traits, those are personality and traits like that, those are things that can be changed. I mean, your facial structure, like, you know, you can get surgery and stuff like that. But, I mean, if you're not rich, then not really. But it's like you can change your personality. I'm literally about to sue Amazon. They have one more hour to get my package here, and they're probably not going to. And they're probably going to. They're probably going to be like, your package will be de delivered tomorrow. Yeah, what is emotional regulation? Yeah, sometimes, like, I'm, like, heavily into, like, journaling and, like, spirituality and stuff, but, like, some stuff with that, like, that is an important aspect, like, shadow work and things like that, just, like, getting to know, like, every side of you and being comfortable with it and, you know, making if there are any changes or you feel like things that are negative or like not healthy things about yourself, then of course you would change those. But just accepting things um, that you feel like maybe even some people don't like about you, but like just coming to terms with it, like I accept this about me. So that's definitely like, that makes sense. Hmm. I'm getting so tired. Hi, Brian. So I think when I go to sleep, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, like, the live, not turn, not end it, but, like, you know, remove myself from the live stream and then go to bed. And then hopefully when I wake up, it's still here.
that's the first time anybody has ever said that me and Jada look different. We always get that we look alike. Sometimes people even ask us if we're twins. Nobody has that. I know. It's not. No. Guys, I want a boyfriend so bad. And I want to move out, but that's a different conversation. We're going to do spreads at 9 until 9.20. Are you going to make it, Miami? Yeah. So, keep talking about yourself. I know you're not saying boyfriends are overrated with your boyfriend, Shayla. I will come through the screen and beat you up. It's not like I'm tired. It's like I need a nap. Which, I mean, I guess are the same thing. But... I mean, I woke up at, I went to bed at, uh, like, 7 a.m. Talking to Tinder boy. Yeah, I know. I know you're trying to help. But don't be talking about some boys are underrated like you don't got a boyfriend, girl. In a minute, I'm about to treat this like a FaceTime call and just start watching my TV show. Hi. I came in here to read, goddamn. Okay. No, because I do be forgetting that Miss Dash is from the UK. I guess because I can't hear the British accent. But she also doesn't talk. She also doesn't talk like somebody, like a British person. But also, I don't know how British people talk other than love like. I don't have guys in my DMs. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm not really a real influ influencer. I just talk about books, so. And also, every time I sell on Tinder that I'm a content creator, men think I'm talking about OnlyFans. Like, I've had, like, three guys in one day ask me if I did OnlyFans. <laughs> but, yeah, um... There are no men in no, there ain't no men in no booktubers DMs. Come on now. I don't really think of booktubers as real influencers. At least not me. Like maybe like Emma Books and stuff like that, but not me. That's sick. And you know what? I can't blame it because do you know how many times I I want to match with guys on Tinder just to ask them about their friends. I literally want to be like, hey, yeah, the guy on your right is really fine. He got a girlfriend. And pretty soon, I might just start doing that. Because don't post your cute friends. And, like, if you post a picture next to your cute friends, every single picture, don't expect me to not ask for his number. Am I sick or am I desperate? Studio apartments for $350? Girl, they got bed bugs there and probably rats. Um, I'm not I can't do a studio apartment because I have too much stuff. I have I collect I collect way too many things. I collect a new thing every month. And I need space for life. I want a separate room for my bookshelf. So if I wanted a two bedroom apartment, it would probably be like one thousand two hundred. And then, um, girl, where you living? You say you live in Minnesota. I might have to move there. That's why I need me a rich boyfriend. And then if you if I want to. Fancy apartment. That boy is like $2,000. That's why I need me a rich boyfriend. Girl. 
Nobody is dropping in North Dakota to come kill you. Nobody is dropping in North Dakota, period. Like, maybe if you lived in Texas or something, but North Dakota? See, now, Dana, that's somebody I would come to rob. Because, girl, you got $2,000 every month? Yeah, I'm coming for you. That's actually really nice. I might have to move enough to do all of From what I've seen in Michigan, like the apartment, because I've been on apartment.com, boy. Like the apartment I want is $900 a month for one bedroom. So, like in Michigan, it's usually like, when I notice, it's mostly $900 a month if you want a good apartment. Because I'm sorry, but if I'm going to be paying for an apartment, I'm going to pay for a good one. And I'm going to pay for one I want, like a two-bedroom. Like, I'm not about to be paying. I don't care if it is $600. I'm not about to be paying $600. And the sockets is falling out of my walls. Like, I'm very much bougie. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I like to. I would like to get what I pay for. I want to live. I want to live in a. Um, I want to live somewhere like Las Vegas, Florida, somewhere with like a city, Chicago, somewhere with like a city where I could have an apartment with like windows, like, you know, like you said, and like um. And then I would like to live in Colorado, with like with a house, and I just want like a garden, and I want to live by like a lake. Plus, I don't mind the snow. I love the snow. Girl, we are the same person. I already have my feature post decorated. The thing is, is, I don't know. Like, I used to lean towards the whole, like, minimalistic look. But then I realized, girl, you are a hoarder. You cannot do that. So, um, I would like to be, like, one of those people who look like, who, like, who have a bunch of stuff in their apartments, like, different, um... And who have, like, different, like, aesthetics in each room or something like that. I mean, yeah, I go to Florida, like, all the time. I know that. I don't really care. It's hot in Michigan. It's cold in Michigan. I've experienced every single weather you could probably imagine. So, I mean, I know. Okay, Carter, thank you. Thank you for your classic reference. No, because why does he have a book reference for every single thing? Like, that is actually scary. I live in Michigan. 
Chicago is closer to me than anywhere else. Like, I literally live up north. You're in the Midwest. Whatever. Midwest, up north, same difference. I don't know how his references are going over your head when every time he talks, it's a classic. I love it, though. What does he know? He said... I have no idea who that is. Me either. Yo, if this, it's been raining all summer. I personally love the rain, so... Yeah, I don't recall saying I was a, a minimalist. Thank you. We are we are thinking the same. Like I love. Actually, moving to New York would be no different than living in Michigan besides, like, the rent because, in the smell, um, because we have the same weather. Like, New York is, like, only a few hours away from me, actually. Okay, stop it, because you're about to make me sad. Help. Ooh, he said, not a book. What you got to say for yourself, Miss Dash Dash? I don't understand how people. I literally think about the time when Jaden told me that when he got on Tinder, he would just swipe yes on everyone. And there's no possible way he would because everyone is ugly. Might, might have been cute back in the day. But also, I realized like when I changed my Tinder to like, sometimes I'll change like a year or two younger than me. And those men are so fine, but they're so immature. It's always the case. Miss Dash Dash living that Bella Swan life. What's a shake up? No, because I don't even have any standards. I do that anyways and still end up alone. So I 
even put my Tinder, I put it to 30. I never do that. I do not match with any guy who's 30. I just put it up higher because it helps your chances in getting like getting more matches. I even did that with my distance. I raised my distance. Not gonna happen. I actually they had Tinder had to raise my distance, my distance for me because I ran out of guys in my area. Because I kept saying no to everyone. Bye, John. Oh, dang. We should do a sprint. Okay, we're going to do a sprint until uh, 30. Okay, I got a body. I'm going to take a nap.
Oh, Carter left. Anyway, so what were you guys reading? I was on TikTok as Shayla Clark me for. I was on Tinder for a little bit, but then I got bored because all the men are ugly. Anyway, so I'll, the next spread I will be reading finally because I do need to get some, some book read. How do you feel about Honey Girl? I have heard mixed things i'm not gonna read it because i heard that like the way that the they talk in the book doesn't sound like how like actual people talk and that's gonna be something like if i wouldn't have heard if i would have read the book first and like didn't really realize that then like that would have been fine but now i'm gonna go into the book knowing the criticisms but um good for you gabriella Assassin's Blade. Why? Okay, because then you tell me you was reading City of Brass earlier and now you're reading some fan fiction. I can't even be mad. I'm 58% done with Ninth House. Per? I really want to finish it tonight, but I'm so sleepy. Oh, I could really... No. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know. Go away. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like my cup of tea, you know? The shot is between us. Better than you expected. I read that book, and that book was not good. I don't want you to think I'm judging you for your reading choices, but... What is Parish? Parish. Yeah, Assassin's Blade was boring as hell, bro. Ugh, I love, I love Credits. I would never reread that book, though. I'm putting a bookmark in the book for the first chapter so I can do my try a chapter challenge. Monty, why are you lying? Assassin's Blade did not have its moments. And honestly, I hate, I just hate when people are like, yeah, you should read this novella because it has this information that's going to be important. And then you read the novella and the information was like, you needed one thing from that novella. Like literally one thing. And like, I don't know, like, okay, Assassin's Blade, I could have went without reading Assassin's Blade and still would have gotten like whatever they were talking about, you know? It is enemies to lovers. I just didn't like it because I thought that the main character was very corny and like she wanted to be Drew Duarte so badly, but it just was badly written. Like in the beginning of the book, the book literally starts off with the main character telling you that she killed her boyfriend. When like, I feel like the book would have been better if she showed you, like, you know, dragging her boyfriend's body through, like, the mud and, like, burying his body. But instead, the book starts off, I just killed my boyfriend. Like, okay. I just think it was the main character's, like, very corny. And, like, if you're going to write a villainous character, you have to make them, like, it's very, I think it's very hard to write a villainous, not very hard, but it's, like, don't make them corny, okay? Okay, don't chill on corrupt. Because it's good. If you can't handle Penelope Douglas, just say that. Now I'm playing because Penelope, Penelope Douglas does belong in jail. You gave it five out of five stars and will read it again? Monty. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did you just sort of bite me? Because you're in the way. <laughs> Um, I've been streaming for four hours now. 
which isn't even the longest I've streamed on a regular day, to be honest. In a minute, I'm going to put on uh, 90210. Just dead boyfriend. Oh, wait, that's what you said. Sorry, I think I'm getting delusional. But yeah, that one. It's okay, because I can't either. Honestly, actually, her books aren't that bad. Like, I think... Uh, Bully is pretty tame. Um, Birthday Girl and Pump 57. But like, once you get to like Credence and Fry Six Venom and Corrupt is really where you get to like not tame. I mean, if it does, I mean, it should last 24 hours, but you never know. Things can happen. But my intentions are for 24 hours. <laughs> okay, I, I won't put it on mute. I'm trying to think of somewhere to set my iPad, though. Okay, well, I want to go to my room. Um, but I think I'll join a live stream from my laptop. Okay. <laughs> Don't read Bully. Don't even read romance and stash dash, please. Just stick to fantasy, please. Oh my gosh. I don't know, like I have a bit on my laptop, so should I just email it to myself? Email what? Like the link to the live stream. Um yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I might, I, I might have to mute myself now because I don't need that copyright strike. My last live stream was so iconic. Like, my last 24-hour live stream, it was so iconic just for it to get a copyright strike. And now I can't even show it. Like, I can't even, like, show it on there. I think I do want to do a 24-hour live stream for... um. For October, like a Halloween one, that would be really fun. Ah, don't copyright me. Yes, I have I read from Blood and Ash. Hey, I put these in here backwards. Oh, this is my Illumicrate copy I have. Do you watch my videos, Samantha? Not that I expect everyone to watch my videos, but. Okay, yeah, all right. I like uh, from Blood and Ash. Yeah, I like it as every journal. It's not my favorite, but I do really, really like it. I really like uh, Spanish Love Deception. I'm here. Her. Well, you popped up. I was like, oh my gosh, who is this? It's me. Now my HP camera is actually making me look really good. She's working. Yeah. She's working. I love that I came in here to add myself to the live stream to add nothing else to the conversation though. So I'm gonna color. 
So I wasn't done doing that. Well, stop requesting things you don't want, girl. For funsies. And I'm telling you a little secret, okay? Just lie. Just write a fake review. And then raise your score, and then you get more books. Well, it's not a promise, but yeah. I love For Blood and Ash, the first and second book. The third book really gets on my nerves because I start noticing, like, some very repetitive things within the third book. Like, some the jokes are very repetitive. The whole plot line of, like, of Poppy not knowing who she's a descendant of. And, like, she does discover at the end of the book. But the entire book is just like, oh, I think you're a descendant of this person. Like, from the second book or the end of the first book to the third book, it's just like, oh, I think you're a descendant of this person. It's like, oh, I think you're a descendant of this person. And then when I think the third book comes out, I kind of knew who she was a descendant of because the person is getting a spinoff book. And the spinoff book was announced around the same time. It was announced before the third book was out. So it's like, okay, well, now I know who she was in it. Because like, why would they have this random spinoff book, right? I'm so, sorry because I can't pin comments. Well, what comment should I pin, Jada? Monty wanted me to do a coloring cam. This is what I'm coloring now. But I need help on what to color the, like, accent. I don't even know if you can really see that purple I colored the house. Hmm. Not really. Never mind, guys. Dis disregard that. No, Kenya, you are going to jail. Because nobody told you to copy and paste reviews, girl. Just go look at other people's reviews and write your own based off their reviews. Oh, my gosh. You're going to jail. Okay, same. Like, I don't know if I want to read the spinoff book now. And, like, I already have the first three books in the Barnes & Noble hardcover in a Lumicrate edition. And then they might be selling the other ones. And I said this in my haul video because I do haul a Lumicrate. I haul um, from Blood and & Ash and the Fairy Loot, the Present Healer in that haul. But I do say that like, I have no troubles reading a book and that has a special edition and then searching, searching through the depths of hell for it. But the issue is that from Blood & Ash is so popular. So, I don't know. Like, if... Like, I need the, I need, I guess I should read the prequel first and then decide if I want to keep going on with the series. Yeah, and that galley's still, that galley is sick. Yeah, the third, girl, yes, the spinoff is coming out in October and the fourth book is coming out March 3rd or somewhere in March. Oh my gosh, yes, the first book. The second book is everything to me, like the found family, Karen, like the werewolves, like, oh my gosh, everything about them is just so great. Like, for the second book, Karen gets his own tabs. His tabs are the green ones, I think. Yeah, his tabs are the green ones. And then there's also a blue, there's a Taffer um, Hawk. And, oh, that's it. But, oh my gosh, I just loved annotating this book, like, so much. Can we agree that these little sparkles in here are, like, are those stars? You guys think those are stars? Yeah, those are stars. Okay, great. And then me annotating the first book. Karen doesn't get his own tabs on this book because he's not really in it that much. And then the third book, I'm probably never going to reread that point. Like, I think that, like, because some books, do, some series do have their filler books or the books that aren't that good. And, um, yeah, the Lux, uh, Obsidian, the, how am I, I going to say this? Okay, the Lux series is the title of the series, and Obsidian is the first book in the series. Which, personally, I prefer when authors do stuff like that, where they have a name for their series, but the first book isn't, like, in the series, isn't the title. Like, so from Blood and Ash, the series is called From Blood and Ash, you know?
Yeah, the book is very, very slow in the beginning, but I do really like the characters and I do like enjoy the romance. The book, the beginning was slow as hell. Like I had to read a chapter. I read, I read a chapter a day. And then once I got to like chapter, I read, no, I think I read five chapters a day. And once I got to like chapter 10, 15 is when the book really picks up. She was a what? Yeah, and then Cat. I'm just hoping nobody noticed that. What? I just almost spoiled the book. Um. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm still reading. I got I got an e arc of The Last Graduate, and I still haven't gotten to that. Beginning is slow, and the chapters are long as hell, so. Where the hell is Jocelyn? I don't know. She's probably taking a nap. I'm about to go text her. Lika said, I mean, Jada said, Where the hell are you? Oh, I also finally made a story graph last night, guys. So follow me on there. It's literally just my Anna. No matter reason. What is my, is my love bug or is it love bug reads? It's love bug reads. Jocelyn said she was finishing her book. Oh my goodness. The only one that's really reading around here. Right. I was reading. Now I'm getting somewhere. I love Alex. Right, I haven't read anything all day. Yes, me and Jada both, we love Death Becomes Her. Yes. Oh, these are, uh, I also had the movie Clue on this wall, but it fell. And then I had Michael or Halloween on the opposite wall that also fell. What? When did Clue also, fall? It fell a while ago, and I didn't, it's broken glass behind my bed. I literally just never cared enough to pick it up. It's going to stay there until it's time for me to move out. I should probably do that soon. And I want to show you guys this. I'm so, I love him. He's great. Oh, Monty, no. Monty said we can't even watch the coloring happen. Well, how am I supposed to, like, there's no way to prop you guys up, but this is an update of where I'm at. I've decided to do this part blue, this bottom part, because, oh, I'm stupid. I could have did it like a dark color. I should have did it like a darker color. Why don't you like put the coloring book, like somehow like, okay, you put the coloring book down and then you put the laptop like this oh. while you color. Like, okay, 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 I see what you mean. But it's not, yeah, no. We'll scoot back some then. I don't, you guys see it? Yeah, right there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I 
I do still draw, but I don't still draw. I buy a new, uh, I buy new art materials and sketchbooks like literally once every few months just to draw for like two days and give up. I'm sorry. I had to 40, 50. Um, last time I checked the um the hard covers on Barnes and Noble was thirty dollars, which thirty dollars is still a lot. You guys really can see. Whoever like joins us live at like a random time is gonna be so confused as to why they're looking at me coloring. Monty said, "Is it a twenty-four or a hundred pack of crayons?" This is a twenty-four pack of crayons, but I'm also using coloring pencils and markers. Yeah, because I was looking at her color. She was showing me yesterday, and I was like, "Girl, why?" No, I feel no shame. I feel no shame because I was on the phone with my friend, and she said a true artist uses all of them. And you know what? Thank you. That's okay, all. I she's a true artist, then. Oh, I was going to see how much they are on Barnes and Noble. But yeah, I feel you, Kenya, because listen, my mo I okay, I have gotten into buying paperbacks, like, but the thing is, I still will search through the depths of hell for a hardcover first. Like, sometimes books do have hardcovers and people don't know. Like, the newer editions of Shadow and Bone, a lot of people don't know that those have hardcovers. Like, when they first came out, they were also hardcovers. People just bought the paperback. But I got, I found me the, the hardcovers, okay? Um, so I'll search for a hardcover first. Or, like, I'll buy, I'm sorry, but I'll spend $30 on a hardcover because it's the aesthetic of the bookshelf. And, like, even when I do move out and I get my own library, I am going to separate the paperbacks from the book, from um, the hardcovers. Like, I think I'm going to put all my paperbacks on the bottom shelves and then, you know, all my hardcovers on the top. So, I mean, if, unless, I don't know. And then I think with my romances, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna keep like the three tier shelves and put my romances on those, and they'll be like, like under a window, cause you know, it'll be like you know I have an apartment, so. But I don't have that many romances, so I think maybe I put all of my, maybe I put all of my paperbacks on the three tier bookshelves, like all of them, cause I don't think they'll fill up all of them. The coloring books really set the mood, to be honest. Great. I really love this coloring book. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, so yeah, the Blood and Ash hardcover is $30. But then, when, like, with the second book and third book, it'll probably be, like, yeah, like, $60, like, $90. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. But I also will say you might want to get them while you can. There, I don't think there are any hardcover books of Vampire Cat, unless you're talking about Bloodlines. But I don't think there are any hub. Are there? They're probably ugly. I'm dead. I hope no one's cringing at like how bad my coloring is, because I know some people take coloring like very seriously. Nobody is taking coloring that seriously, girl. See, some people do. You'd be surprised. Hmm. No, the Vampire Academy covers aren't ugly. Like, they're just very, like, like, these aren't ugly. These are just very, like, they're not, it's not anything on it, you know? So, like, I don't hate reading it because it's just VA and then the title and the color. Whereas most books written around this time have people on the covers. Well, I don't mind these. Like, I don't mind the Bloodline series. Let me put this in my try chapter two, to be honest. Oh my god, I keep using different yellows and they all look terrible. The highlighter was terrible. Oh, the old covers. Okay. I was like, are we looking at the wrong, same cover, Gabriella? What are you talking about? The incomplete. When did I lie? Oh no, we're doing. We do with reading sprints at the first, like the like the first of every hour. So we do twenty minutes at ten. Oh, 
Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. Thank you, Monty. Thank you. Cause she just tried, she just tried to call me a loud liar. Like, girl. I'm looking for this one really cool one. Don't worry about me, girl. Don't worry about me. Are you gonna join the live stream or what? Who? Jocelyn. Yeah, Why girl. Why pages have you read? Shut the heck up. I think this one is so cool. Can you guys see it? Pull it back a little bit. Okay, now lift it up a little bit. Okay, that looks yeah, we can see. Yeah, that one is cool. There's this other cool one I want to show you guys. And then I gonna- know I cannot read Bloodlines without. I'm. I think I might actually say Bloodlines for October, but I'm still gonna try to read all the books in this month because I go on vacation in like two weeks, so I'm not gonna be able to read it all by the end. Especially with my reading speed right now, I I read my reading speed hasn't slowed down a significant amount, but it has slowed down a lot more. Okay. Woo. What am I supposed to do with this information, Jocelyn? You know, I'm taking my bookmark out of this book and I'm not reading. Shadow Kiss, and I haven't even read Frostbite. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna read it because y'all getting my my dang on nerves. So I'm gonna read it. Damn, it's time to read it. It's been another hour already. Well, we stopped at what 9:30. Yeah. Well, we stopped. At- well, we still got two more minutes, but they bullying me on a book I need to pick up next. This is the thing. I'm glad they're bullying you. Though. I was tired of reading by myself. Hell. Is it? Hold on. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Let me look on my phone. Excuse me. This sure do say book two. I already read. Okay, you were right, Gabriela. I was about to pick this book up, and I'm not gonna lie. I do not remember what happened in the first. I do not remember this book. This book was a blur. So I was gonna sit here. No, because this is what Adrian was introduced. So I was gonna remember. But I was gonna sit here and be reading. I was going to be reading a lot and then be like, hold on, I read this already. Hold on, let me go, let me go put this book back, because. Okay, so I think what happened was when, um. I think what happened was it's because I have all of the books, obviously, but I have the I have the regular copy of the first book and the movie edition on top of each other. So sometimes when I'm picking up so I think when I pick when I picked up the book, I thought it was book three when I was it was actually book two I was reaching for, if that makes sense. Because I have the first two I have the first book and two copies on top of each other. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we'll read for 20 minutes. Jocelyn, you can join now. I will harass you, girl. And I'm going to pee. I didn't really need to tell y'all that, though. I'm dad. I'm I'm dead. Nah, I'm dad. (laughs) Nah, I'm dad. Why is this cap clock on? Well, I already started, so... Have 
Have you ever read the Spanish Love Deception? That's like 400 pages right now. A Martin is a potter book is like 500 pages. This yeah. is my son, Bethany.
Okay, so that was the sprints. I still have one more page to read, so I'm about to read this real quick. Jocelyn, what are you reading? A desolation called Peace. Girl, I know you bored as hell. As hell, bro. I'm not going to lie. I kept checking the time to see if it was over yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't That's know. I just don't like the series. Place. Yeah, because I listened to the audiobook at the same time. Why is Jada still over there in that corner? I was trying to be sweet and unmute it with my foot, but it wasn't working. Yeah. What? My feet not nasty. I don't think your feet are nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Night House is getting really freaking good. I'm obsessed. We won, Jocelyn. Of course. I don't understand why you guys thought I wouldn't like it. You guys, I feel like you guys know when you guys give me like shitty rights. I think it's just because Help. a lot of people a lot of people didn't like ninth house like a lot of people thought it was boring so i just assumed you would be one of those people who thought it was boring no i love it i don't think okay. it's boring it's leading somewhere like they're working towards something you got the ambition mm -hmm. Not okay 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 Not how are you like galaxy. what are your thoughts monty would you recommend it like i need to know what he made it to 236 of ninth house no it's the shoe fix what is that? Oh, that's the what the book's called. It's uh remember remember when Disney Book Group has sent me that book with the big ass shoe? Oh yeah, that that shoe was humongous. So that was the um that's the book that he's reading. And I made it to pay sixteen of um Shadow Kiss. Now I should have been further than that, but I did stop reading for five minutes to get on Tinder. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Bro, you have an obsession. Get yeah. help. Yeah. <laughs> no, I literally am obsessed with Alex, though. She's great. Yeah, like Alex. She's so too. smart. Like, usually I find myself getting mad, especially in books like this. I find myself getting mad at the main character because they be having like the plans, but the plans don't be like thorough. So then when they have to execute the plan and say they have to like talk to someone, you know, to lie or something, they end up fumbling the bag. But she's doing really good. Like, it feels like she has a backup plan for everything. Like, even when she doesn't know what's going on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about Darlington? I miss him. Yeah. I miss him too. Dude. I do miss him a lot. Okay, so earlier I, in the chat, I asked who Christian was. Literally, I was on page one, like, who the hell is Christian? As soon as I turned the page, I figured I remembered who he was. It just took me a while. Okay, so when I read the series, I'm going to have to read them all. I'm literally going to have to read them all this month because I'm still remembering stuff from the first two books. Like, there's still some stuff I forgot that happened. They're like, as I'm reading, I'm like, oh, yeah, this happened. So I got to read the I gotta read the books back to back because I literally forgot who Christian was. But that's... That's because he's not important. He does become pretty important. Well, damn. He's not important right now. <laughs> he's not important to me. He will be. I thought you liked him. I don't hate him or anything. It's just like he's just he's just Lisa's um. boyfriend. <gasps> I'm not thinking about Christian, actually. I'm thinking about somebody else. You think else. about Adrian. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. thinking about Adrian. Y'all yeah, think about Adrian. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about Christian either, actually. Yeah, especially in a movie. It's so crazy because he played like a little bad boy, and that's the first time I never, I don't care about bad boys. Yeah, nobody cares about him. If the shoe fits, is by Julie Murphy or no? Yes. Oh, she's okay. I think I read one of her books and it was just okay. Exactly, her book was just okay. Like that's why I'm kind of like, mm, I don't really know if I want to read her romance. But it's like a Cinderella retelling, which we don't have a lot of those. But Monty said you probably should skip it if you like romance. Oh. <laughs> also, I'm not into contemporary like that anymore. So he said, I think well, I'll just put it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Fade to black? No, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not 12. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Right. What am I, I going to do with Faith Black Scene? But I mean, it's, it's YA or no? No. Oh, that's a, it's adult? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, not returning it, Monty. <laughs> I don't yeah. hate it, but I will be returning it to the store. Get your money back. If I open up another tab, can you guys still see me? Yes, Jada. Hey, just making sure. <laughs> Wait, we shouldn't be able to see. Well, she open no, see her. Oh, not see her. See the oh, yeah. I wanted to look up this um author or the illustrator of this um coloring book. It has like a bunch of other coloring books, and I want to look at them. Yeah, you can return to Amazon. It's a lot. Well, I wouldn't say it's a lot of work, but it is some work. Gabriella, I'm not surprised that it would have those vibes because, I mean, it is her first transition into adult, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So, so I won't be reading that shit. Yeah, I won't be reading it, and I will be putting it in my unhaul pile. I was like, how'd you get it? Then I remember it. they sent it to you. Of course you bought it, Kenya. Of course you did. What, Kenya buys everything? I don't know. I just said of course because it just seems like something she will buy. Hell. And then... <laughs> I've been bullying her about buying romances and hardcover all day, basically. Who buys she, romance and hard? How she found the romance and hardcover? Well, because she she said she liked the Illuminate editions of um, the Brown Sisters, and that she, I think she just said she was going to get them or she wanted them. So I started bullying her because I'm like, well, what are you gonna do with romances and hardcover? Like, where are you gonna put the books? <laughs> That's true. And then I don't care. Where are you gonna put if the shoe fits? Cause it's a hardcover romance, and it's not like you can sneak it in the white ace. Like the book is a tall romance book. Like where are you gonna put the book at? I guess with the brown sisters. But the well, I guess yeah. Cause I gotta remember that not everyone's like not everyone organizes their books by height, and not everyone mm -hmm. organizes their books by genre either. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm happy for people buying the Illuminate version of the brown sisters. So like maybe they can get more black authors on there and romance authors, but I personally like I feel like they didn't do enough for them for that that's book. What, that's exactly what I was saying. Like they just they just didn't do nothing. They put spray edges on it and made it a hardcover book. Okay. But at the same time, I guess I kind of understand because it's like with fantasy you can do so much with changing this stuff because yeah. obviously it's a fantastical world. Like, what are you gonna do with the romance book? Right, like. But put some more fan art on it. Like, yeah, like that's it. You can just change, I guess, the cover. That's it. Like, okay. I don't know, but I think there are, like, I've seen some good fan art for it. So they could have just hired those people and did, like, fan art for it. Yeah, change the fan art on the, or change the art on the cover. Good romance, Rex. Okay, so I'm obsessed with the Spanish love deception right now. Same. Um, You guys see? Yes. A little bit lower. Oh wait, like, a little bit further back. I mean. Okay, wait. What? Which further back? Further back. Like towards you. Yeah, okay. right there. Okay. And um, I'm obsessed with people we meet on vacation and Emily and Henry in general. <laughs> Monty, you're always criticizing something. Help. I don't hate the art on the cover, but it could be better. I don't. I don't know. It's like I don't hate the art on the cover, but when I look at it, I'm like. Damn, this kind of ugly. The only one I really don't like is um, is the actor H. E. Brown or is yeah. it what's the one after well, that? It's it's the Danny one. It's Danny. I don't like that one. No way. I think, I think it's the same artist, but I don't. For some reason, it looks weird. I think it might have been the last. I think it, I think the last two for you are both like a bit iffy. No, the it's the one the whatever the third one is. That's the one I okay, don't no, like. Okay, no, it's Eve. It's Eve Brown. Yeah. Yes, Eve. Like something's off on that cover. <laughs> yeah, it's the art. <laughs> Why do they look so stumpy on the cover? Yes, they did the same thing. <laughs> they look so you stumpy. Me the UK edition of shit. Yeah. And they—that's how they look. They just look stumpy. Like they just looked <laughs> like like you know squished. <laughs> I really like I really like the other art covers that we get, like the ones for like Sweet Hand. Like that artist, the ones for spoiler uh, yeah. alert. Like that artist, mm -hmm. she now she is good. Wait, wait, spoiler alert! Artist did Sweet Hand too or no? Yeah, Are you just really. It's the same. I didn't know yeah, that. 
Oh, okay. She does. She does. She does all of like that that author's books, like spoiler, and all the author's other books because she has another series. And um, yeah, she did Sweet Hand. She did what was it called? The book I was talking about, the vacation one for vacation only. Yeah. Once you once you um figure out like the artist like their drawing, you'll be able to see notice their covers. But spoiler like, alert, looks way different than those. That's because spoiler alert took the. The, like the background you know the colorful the blue background route like kind of like with um the brown sisters like they took like the big colorful background whereas the other mm -hmm. ones they have like actual pictures yeah are you sure you're talking about spoiler alert by olivia dade and all her books yeah, yeah. oh okay okay because i have a um i don't know if i still have it up there but i have a i have a tweet about the yeah i know tweet you're talking about but I can't remember. Yeah, I do like Emily Henry's covers, Kenya. I agree. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Emily Henry's last, her, not her last book, her more, the book she's coming book. out with next year. Is it called Book Lovers or something? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not really feeling the title. Mm -mm. And not that I'm not feeling the, I just feel like the book is going to be like a three star book or a four star Girl, book. Girl, what? I don't know. You can't like, sit here and say it's gonna be three stars. You don't just because of the title and the synopsis. Yeah, you can predict your ratings for but people say they. But the thing is, I feel like you thought the same thing about Beach Read. Like one thing about Emily Henry is, oh wait, is it echoing for me? I don't hear any echo. No, it's not echoing. Oh, Monty said it was echoing, so I just want to make sure. But anyway, thing one thing about Emily Henry is, I'm sorry, but her synopsis is never gonna make me want to read the book. I guess like, maybe that's it. Because I read the synopsis and I was like, mm, I don't really want to read about this. But I read Yeah, it. but that's how I thought about Beach Read. That is true. And then I was like, oh, it actually was good. Well, but not I don't know. Who, the way she markets them books, like, she just better be glad that them books are actually good. Because yeah. I would not read them the way they're marketed. I don't know. Yeah, why. like the, just the, not the description of the third book, I'm like, maybe it's not. But to be fair, I was not going to read Beach Read, but I read, mm -hmm. I, but people we meet on vacation was something I, well, actually, no, it wasn't something I wanted to read because it had like, it had a strange friend, but I heard, but the way Book of the Month marketed it, they was like, oh, these, basically they was like, oh, two idiots in love, basically is what I got. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, no, that sounds good. So maybe she don't need to do, maybe somebody else. Yeah. Can. I agree, Tony. Her books sound boring. They look boring and they sound boring. Yeah. And the cover for People We Meet on Vacation, I thought it was going to be like, this is what I thought People We Meet on Vacation was going to be about. I thought it was literary fiction about um, just someone meeting a whole bunch of people on vacation and like, <laughs> them, like people being like, like it's trying to be like kind of deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like how people can affect their life and shit like that. That's what I thought People We Meet on Vacation was about. Like, mm -hmm. I just wish her books were marketed more as romance like they actually are when when people we meet on vacation was first announced i was like mm, i don't think emily henry is the author for me not having read any of her books the same but they're actually pretty good well miss dash doesn't even read romance also the fact that people we meet on vacation is called you and me on vacation in the uk really irks my nerves why is it why is it called that why change why did titles have to change yeah like i don't get it i guess for marketing reasons yeah emily henry said for marketing reasons she was like sometimes the titles change like i guess it happens pretty often because of marketing reasons but it's like i can understand if it was in a different language and like it didn't translate yeah. well but right. i don't understand if it's in english though yeah There's something else I want to talk about, but oh, Jocelyn, tell me why I was doing some. Um, sorry, I was staring up into space. Anyways, so tell me why I was reading Vespertine last night, right? And I was like, sorry, so sorry. I was like, I was like, dang, when is the romance coming? I'm like, I'm 100 pages in. I go and read a review. There's no romance in this book, bitch. Huh? Like, Who said that? Every review, like every actual, well, not every review, but I've seen like two reviews and there's like, yeah, this book doesn't have any romance. Somebody was like, oh, I love reading a YA fantasy with no romance. Damn, Jada. I'm sorry. Right. I'm my <laughs> own sharpener. 
Wait, I what is Margaret that. Rogerson without a freaking romance though? That's right. like what I like out of most of her books. Like, what the? F- I like Vespertina. Uh. It is giving me it is giving me Venom vibes, but it's like, where's the romance, bitch? Help! Uh, why would you? You should have never told me that. You should have never told me that. Well, no, because, because I'm not I'm gonna pick it up now. If I'm putting off the book, you're putting off the book too. You're sick. You're sick. Yeah, I am. Like you knew this was one of my most anticipated arcs, and you're gonna sit there and tell me that. Yeah, because it was mine too, and I'm not gonna be in this alone. You're sick. How is it like mm-hmm. Venom? Um, because okay, so there's this thing, and it's called the Revelant, and it was it's not supposed to be released to like other people or something like that because it can be used against people. So it's somehow like in her body. So like they're like talking to each other like through her mind, and they they're not really getting along. And it's like very funny because it keeps oh. threatening, huh? I said, oh yeah, I'm seeing it. So now. it's funny because you get like that. I guess a friendship between them, and it is funny because like. It keeps threatening to take over her body, and she's like, "You don't know how fucking annoying I am." Damn, I'm but, just really disappointed now. Right, but I'm like, like I'm looking at the box over there, like, damn. Her covers are really pretty, Kenya. Yeah, I kind of want to undo my uh, pre-order. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, now, bitch. <laughs> you know you need it on the show. That's the team. Wait, so you don't like it? No, I do like but- it. I'm just trying to get over the fact Where that was Jada? Right. Where was Jada? No, I was listening, but I'm confused as to why you would cancel your pre-order. I just did doesn't have romance. Oh, uh, oh. Like, I, don't, I don't mind it doesn't have romance, but I think, like, okay, I can do adult fantasy without romance, but YA fantasy, like, it can get really, yeah. really boring without romance. The and thing Mark- about YA fantasy is the fact that I personally just don't really like the writing as much anymore. So what's going to save it for me is the romance. So yeah, but I really do like Margaret Rice and her writing is really different from other authors. And mm-hmm. I just, but her romances are so good. Yeah. So it's like, not like I always book. want her books to be new adult. I've every single book of hers I've read, which I mean, she only has two. I always want them to be new adult. Exactly. Exactly. Cause I'm like, dang, this book is so good with a little bit of smut. A little bit of smut. That's all it needs. Yeah. Especially Enchantment of Ravens. Oh my gosh, yes. That book would have been an eight star book. So like, <laughs> right, it would have. Oh, so, yeah, I basically ex- slapped my leg pretty hard. I basically explained what it was. It's like, um, this girl, she's, she, she wants to become a nun. I don't know what it is about like these nun books. None of, now that I think about it, the nun books kind of remind me of fairy books, how they kind of have like similar like you can read a you can read one fae book and then you kind of got the gist of like how other fae books work. So it's basically mm-hmm. like um if you've read Red Sister or you read this one, they kind of have similar ideas where they all have nuns and like there's a three tiers of nuns. I think it's like gray, um, red and something else, but that I might be I might be making that up. But she wants to become a nun, and then something happens to where they have this revelant, and a revelant is like really powerful. Girl, what the hell? Yeah, the revelant is like really. Oh, she wants to be. Yeah, they do have great sisters, and her coven is attacked and possessed by soldiers. So then she has to take the relevant because it's really really powerful, and then it ends up like not taking over her body, but like with her, if that makes sense. Yeah, the whole the whole nun trend is like, I don't know, I really want to like this book, but the whole nun trend is like kind of, they're, they're usually boring to me. And like a lot of them don't have romances. Well, I can't say a lot of them, I only read like three or two. Cause um, would you consider Never Night kind of like a nun book? <clears throat> Jocelyn? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, okay, yeah, so I, yeah. So I don't know if that's like my genre, but I am liking it so far. Exactly, it does sound exactly like Venom. I'm so excited for the Venom. Venom's my boyfriend for real. What the heck? What is, <laughs> what is Warrior Nun? And what do you be watching, Kenya? No, yeah, that's my Netflix question is show. why did you watch that? It's a Netflix show, but I tried to watch it, but I could not I could not get into it. I don't know why you would see Warrior Nun and click on that shit. Right. That's just me. The, the trailer looked good. 
I don't watch trailers, so. Yeah, I don't know what the nuns have done for you, Monty. That is a good question that I cannot answer. I mean, I guess, yeah. I didn't know Grave Mercy was a murder nun book, but every time I see Grave Mercy, I look at that shit and be like, I don't want to read it. I've never heard. Why. I've never heard of that. I see it on somebody's shelf all the time. Somebody that I watch. And I'm not being shady. I just don't remember who it is. I love you going, and I'm not being shady. Like, you're not on Because <laughs> I feel like life. it could have came off as shady because I'm, yeah, because I'm with you. So I have, to be, <laughs> I have to make sure that people know I'm not being shady. Not you blaming me. Of course. Um. Okay, I don't know if I trust y'all, though. I do believe with Kenya be bored, and I'm kind of interested to know what kind of things you be watching, but I'm also a little bit scared. Yeah. But of course, I mean, of course the main female character is annoying because is it really a TV show if the main character isn't annoying to everybody? <laughs> the look to the side, please. Because then you just, what? Um, yesterday, yesterday was Daniel's birthday. Yeah, I didn't even get to tell him happy birthday. Well, he you didn't take here. the phone to him or nothing. No, because now it's late, so I'm not gonna say it. Uh, well, he's mad now. Okay, <laughs> happy belated birthday, Daniel. Thanks, Johnson. He said that of was course. so dangerous. Been... Right, like of course. He, he won. He don't care. He don't care if you tell him happy birthday Friday. He's gonna take. He's it. acting like we don't have history from Among Us. Exactly. Like I wouldn't always show him when I was an imposter. So I'm not understanding the attitude. No, because I miss our Among Us thing. Like we was like the the funniest thing is we never needed extra people to pay Among Us because we always had enough people. Mm -hmm. Like we was deep, boy. That was so fun. I miss that era. I miss it too, but that game got boring. Also, that game really showed me how much I like gaslighting, and that's when I was like, whoa, I have to stop this. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get too fun. Lying dog. But it's so fun. Like I think my best victory ever is when I killed someone in front of someone else and convinced them that it was they still saw wrong. Yeah, yeah the epitome of gaslighting, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> or my favorite thing. Is when you will be you will be partners with someone and they would get found first and they would blame somebody else and be like, okay, Red, you got to do this good for me, but like you would be like yellow or something, you would be the other imposter. So not everybody yeah. voting out Red the next game. My I hate it when you got caught and they would turn on you. Yeah, yeah, dude. I remember. I don't know if we played together, but it was this one person who ended up getting caught and they got so mad. <laughs> No, I don't remember that. You remember that time we were playing <laughs> and we were all in this room. You weren't on FaceTime with us and we were all just playing. And we were all like, Jocelyn, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's the way that I knew y'all were on FaceTime. First of all, y'all acted like you didn't know it was me when my whole name was Jossie. Like, who Wait, else was so it? so many Jossies in this room. No, it's not. Literally, I have never been in the same room. Well, I have been in the same room as another Jocelyn. Only twice, though. But I on Among Us, I never played. encountered another person like that. We have played with other Jocelyn. So that's why I was like, oh, like, I don't know for sure. But I had my signature white and red hat. Like, come on. That now. is very true. But the reason we found you out is, I think, because you was the imposter that round. And you was out there killing people in line in the chat. And I was like, yeah, this is Jocelyn. No, to be, to be fair, I knew y'all were on FaceTime that time because y'all kept voting together and not saying shit. And that's when I was getting mad. <laughs> And she be mad when she not in the group chat, but it's okay when she is. Right. Of course, of course. I was about to start telling, to be honest. Hell, people hate it when you was on call. Like, okay, get some friends then. <laughs> Can you put all the shows that she watches? Fear Street isn't a show, girl. These are movies. They're movies. Well, some no, of them are wait, shows. I'm confused. It's both. I miss the okay. Academy so much. Okay, okay. We do have some, we do have some, uh, they're filming for it. I think they're almost done filming for season three. But yeah, we, we watch the same things, basically. Okay, so then what do you be watching? The same thing as you. Yeah, but like, she clearly be watching some weird stuff over there watching Nun Warrior. <laughs> I miss Dance Academy. I never watched Umbrella Academy. You 
Yeah. Did you watch Dance Academy? Yeah. That's why I started. Yeah, that was that show had the drama. Tears boy. Hi L. Yeah, you gotta watch Umbrella Academy. I think you would like it. Really? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Does it have two seasons? I'm not good at watching stuff. It does have two seasons, but it's a Netflix show, so it's probably short. I think it is short. Unless it's a reality TV show or Grey's Anatomy. This is my number five Funko Pop. This is my favorite character. Right, she be watching Grey's Anatomy, though. Because Grey's Anatomy hits. And so does Umbrella Academy, and it's shorter. Yeah, that's the problem. It's too short. I like long shows. And you never um, finished Shameless so we could watch the new season together. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> the thing is, is, I did not mean to say that's crazy either time. It just came out. Yeah, okay. That's why I laughed. I meant to say, yeah, that's <laughs> right. But I said that's yeah. crazy. And then when I tried to fix it, I said that's crazy again. Mm-hmm. Kenya, are you caught up on Grace? Because I'm on the season where they're like COVID was a big thing, and that season was boring. So I'm still stuck there. Because Jocelyn will be stuck on the season. Of course, the book is late. Jocelyn yeah. will be stuck on the season. Like, just skip it, girl. No, because Mayana's sick. She skips whole seasons. You, you literally can't do that. Well, really? I can't because, can because, I can because, like, with the Vampire Diaries, I've seen the Vampire Diaries like 17 times. So I can skip seasons. Okay, months. that's different. True, Monty. That's it's not true. the same without Fiona. It's really not, actually, because I think that's why I couldn't get through season eight. I don't know. Some stuff was still happening, though, and I do love Carl, so oh, I should I have love, said that. I, just, I love all of them besides Debbie. Yeah, Debbie, she, yeah, I don't like her. I love how you censored out the name like we don't know how to spell Derek. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Jocelyn, I'm about to holler. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm yelling. Because what did that do? Like, <laughs> not, <laughs> because not a spoiler was hidden. Help. No, because the fact that she tried to hide was felt. She literally like, who else would that be? She hit the E's. Like, how are we not? Do we not know how to spell Derek? Big ass spoiler. She could have at least said D and then the stars. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie Monty. Yeah. She's actually a rapist. What? Yeah. And that's the craziest part. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. But... Shameless. Um, Shameless. It's a ghetto white show. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> And I gotta go back for my faves, V and Kevin. Ugh, I love them so oh, much. Oh yeah, V and Kevin. I don't ship okay. any cu any couples, but I ship them. It. I love it. I think I just colored that part wrong. Maybe Monty is so sick for this. Like, <laughs> not even for the fact that he said I popped champagne, but because the fact that he censored it just like how she did. Yeah. Like you're crazy. Really Monty said something in one of his vlogs that was so crazy to me. I think he said something like, he was talking about when a character died. He said something like, when he died, I was happy. And I was like, <laughs> it's giving sick. <laughs> no, I am going to watch. Well, yeah, I've been trying to get um, Mayana to watch, but she's not going to watch. And that's what's really making me mad. Yeah, I'm not going to watch. That's why I'm not gonna watch any shows you recommend me. So how about that? As you should in Jocelyn, because Lana kills me with that shit. Well, right. you watch, watch, watch this, watch this. this. You don't watch something, I'm telling you to watch it because it's gonna be good. Right. Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that, Daniel, because yeah. <laughs> main <laughs> it's that main character syndrome acting up. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened in season six, but I've been seeing, I'm talking about shameless, but I've been seeing like some shameless TikToks on my For You page and like stuff that happened in the first two seasons. I did not remember all that happened. So Dude, much stuff has happened in that show. So much stuff has happened. Like I only think about the big stuff, but like, do you remember when Carl was keeping people in his basement? 
Yeah, I remember that. Like, trying to well that sounds that sounds insane but he was trying to like get them off of drugs so he like kept them in his basement and then this man was like i want to go into the military <laughs> and then his i didn't really like his military stage like, i yeah. didn't like that either but i also didn't like when he was dating that black girl and he had cornrows and he thought he was black yeah that was a choice I said, well. but yeah the stuff that happened in the first season i mean the first Few seasons, like I forget because I haven't rewatched it. Like for some reason, I don't rewatch shows until they're done, so I haven't had a chance to rewatch mm. Shameless. So for me, it's the fact that I don't watch the last season of my favorite shows, so I honestly probably will never watch it. And if I don't watch the last, if I watch the last season, I won't watch the last episode. Well, how are we gonna watch it together then? We gonna watch up to the last episode, then you can watch it if you want to. So. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch because I gotta see. Um, I gotta see my other favorite. I think Shameless has some of my most favorite couples ever, low key. Mm -hmm. and like the I one said, thing about Fiona though was she never was gonna keep a man. So one thing about Fiona is all her men were dirty. They were trash. She had. Uh, that go ahead. She was dating. She was dating that man who had like eight different names. She was dating that man who had a wife. And kids. That man who was, I think that other man was on drugs and was pretending he wasn't. Yeah, like, thank you for showing that shit. You're welcome. I know that one. Nice thank you. But. Okay, I saw that TikTok too and it just ruined my mood. It just ruined my day, actually. Yeah. But it's like, it was more so Tana filming him and he was on the phone and like telling her to stop filming him. And it was kind of funny. Because I, the hatred I have for Tana is so deep, which is so insane because when she first started making YouTube videos, I really, really liked her. But now, mm -hmm. every time I see her, I want her jumped. No, for real. I don't know. I never really liked her. Her story like times were person. interesting, and then you're like, this bitch is a raging liar. Right, and then it comes out that she was... The fact that she said the N word and then tried to, she tried to lie on somebody else saying the N word. <laughs> but it's also, like that she tried to say she didn't know what it meant. Like, right. Mm. And then she got exposed for saying it with her friends. Like, are you not embarrassed? This yeah, is I was. I was betrayed by that white woman. And that's why ever since then, <laughs> I have not liked a white woman. If you see me like a white woman, it is very rare. I don't know how you can't look at Tana and just not know that that's who she was. I, I kind of like, felt like she gave that vibe by her appearance. I guess because when I was watching her, I was so young and I was just like naive to like people being like that, and I wasn't open to how terrible white women are. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Now if I if Tana had started if she had just started making videos like she never exists and she started making those videos, I would have clocked it. <laughs> Yeah, that Tanacon shit. And then Shay's going to do a whole video on it. What? Somebody just sent me $10. How do I split that? Her? Girl, you don't need to split $10. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't, you sure. just was saying that to be nice. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but I don't know. What is, is it Shonen? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know the different um, genres of anime. So yeah, I don't know sure. which. I don't know what that means. I do watch anime. Me what too. About I do watch. Huh? What you say? Okay, then. <laughs> right, Monty. <laughs> like you can keep it, sweetie. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I like I watched some animes. I haven't watched any recently, and I mostly used to watch <laughs> them with my brother. And I did mostly like when I watched them on my own. I mostly watched like live. Ones like Orin High School Host Club. I think I watched Special A and then Toradora, which I think is like My Little Monster. Like, I watch ones like that. I like romance animes, but I don't know what Shonen is. Okay, Shonen is like Naruto. I've okay, so I've seen Uran. Naruto. What'd you say? I have not finished Uran Host Club. That one's no, good. Either. I like that one. Or High like School it. Host Club. But the thing is, I watched. Um, I watched uh, Fruits Basket first, and that one just had my heart. Like, it's so good. I didn't finish it, but it has my heart. And then I watched um, Oran High School Host Club, and it just doesn't. I kind of was comparing them because I was watching them right after each other. 
and it just wasn't holding. The art was really making me mad. I think yeah. Orion is very funny, and that's why I like it. Yeah. But yeah, it's very funny. I'm in the middle of Fire Force right now. I started. I started an anime, but then the anime that I started, like the way that they had the girls, like the she had big boobs and all this stuff. She was like, "Oh my <laughs> gosh!" And I was like, "I'm not watching this shit." Um. Out of the ones that you listed, I've seen Bleach. I used to watch Bleach at like six o'clock in the morning. I think I love. I used to come on an Adult Swim, and then Naruto. I've seen those two. I've, I've seen Dragon Ball Z, but I wasn't an avid Dragon Ball Z watcher. Yeah, I do need to watch Hunter X Hunter because Jada has this shirt that I like, and I want one too. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Hunter X Hunter. I also it's like so Inuasha, cool. but I don't know what genre or category Ooh, yeah, Inuasha yeah, I like would fit in. Too. And I also like um. Oh, Akame got kill. I love Akame got kill. That that anime yeah, is so yeah. cutthroat. I like Haiku. I love Haiku. I haven't finished it yet. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people hate when uh, people say this, but I think if you like Haiku or you like um all for the game, the the trilogy, is that a trilogy? That's a trilogy, right, Jocelyn? What? The Sorry, Fox I didn't Court. hear. The Foxo Court. Yes, a trilogy. Okay, yeah. If you like the Foxo Court, you'll like Haiku and vice versa. Hmm. But people hate okay, me. wait. So, what is what is shojo? Like, what's the difference between the two? I think shojo is hate. romance. Romance, but then they said shonen was just the stuff in weekly. Wait, so okay, I think no. it has more to do with time frame, maybe. But I don't know wait. for sure. Yeah. What? Okay, let me go back up because I wasn't paying attention. Then. Twenty fifth said it has to do with week. Oh, okay. So shoujo, is shoujo like okay? So, cause you know how sometimes you watch an anime in one day. Okay, so like haiku, one day will be like eight episodes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She said, Kate said like romance, like you said. Oh, okay. So I, I like dark. Very what? Dark. Oh, so it's like gender. It's like gendered. Oh, so shonen is for boys. Okay. okay. I guess I get what you're saying. Just like action versus just yeah, like life. Yeah. life it's not like it's life. for that genre anymore, but probably when it started off, it was. Mm-hmm. I recommend K Project anime. The plot's a bit wild, but the animation and art is good. Okay, I have to check that out. Even though I don't know what it's about, but I'll check it out. And I haven't seen Yuri on Ice, but I've heard about it. Yeah. Oh, there was one that I watched recently that I really liked, but it left on such a plot. It left on like a cliffhanger. It was, uh, I think it was a gay, I think it was a gay couple and they were in a band together or something. Have y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about? I think it was called Given or something. I don't know. I haven't seen that. What was that? So one it was I was really watching? good. The one, the anime I was watching, when you came into my room and you knew immediately what I was watching. Are you talking to Jada? All right, Daniel. I, was watching, I have a bunch of anime saved on my phone. Jada don't know what I be watching because she bullies me in my anime taste. I haven't watched Death Note, but I want to. Yes, Someone told me that I would, watch. I would like that. I have to finish Fruits Basket because I didn't finish it because I wanted to watch like season four all the way through. And when I started, season four was coming out. So I stopped on season two so I could just binge watch it like all at once. Because like when I tell y'all that show had my chest hurting, y'all. What show was it? Fruits Basket. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that. Yeah, you should watch it. There is two. Uh, there is two versions on Hulu, but there's one that's like updated and it has like the better fan art, and then the older one that mm-hmm. has the uglier fan art. Bro, the people who watch Given, the reason I'm obsessed with, I mean, I'm upset that it's left off like that. Which, wait, is there gonna be a season two or something? Do y'all know? Because I was really invested in that couple at the very end, like the two band members, not the, not the ones that we know are actually together, but the other one. Like, I wanted more from them. Which they're not together, but I want them to be. I was watching um Mate Sama. That's what I was oh, yeah. watching. But I, I don't know, know if I wanted is. to I don't know if I wanted to finish it. Where's the There's a movie of Given? I didn't know there was a movie. Does it give me more of them? The couple that I'm talking about? If y'all want to give us recommendations, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Most of the ones that I can watch on Hulu 
or Netflix though? Oh my gosh, it's all about them? Yeah, I'm gonna watch that movie then. Ooh, what is Vampire Night about? I think I would like that. There was this other website I used to use for anime. My brother had it. He has a, like an account through it, but is I forgot it what it's Roo? called. Yeah, Crunchyroll. I've been meaning to, to watch The Way of the House Husband, but the art is really getting on my nerves. But everybody was talking about it when it came out. Oh, Seven Daily Sins was the one I had started, but I didn't like the way that they like drew like girls and like Elizabeth. Yeah. And like how they had her act. Like I just did not like that. You be sitting here talking about some, oh, I don't watch that much anime. Every time I bring up something, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, you watch more anime than me. Was no, it good? So many recommendations. Was Vampire Night good, Monty? Oh. The incest comment. <laughs> <laughs> both of us paused, like, oh. As soon as it, I, we both read it at the same time, we both was like, dang. Okay. Everything just has clear. I started Jujutsu Kazan, but I didn't like it. Or Jujutsu Kazan. I don't know the last part of the name. Why didn't Why didn't you like it? I was bored, but I'd have to give mm -hmm. it another try. Mm -hmm. For the way of the house husband, the like it's not even just the artwork, but they move in like stop motion, and it's like anime. Like let me. Like it's anime, like it doesn't need to move like that. I hate stop motion stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. That looks so ugly. Also, we'll do a reading sprint at eleven ten. Huh. I'm gonna read a different book. I'm sorry. I Thank cannot God. read this book right now. I'm still gonna pick it up because I need to read my fifty pages for my buddy read today, but I can't this book is too much for me. Ooh, I'm just so obsessed with vampires. Like, I need it. I need it. Yeah, I'm gonna get into Hunter oh. X Hunter. Jada's always talking about it. Well, if oh, it's Jada's inspired by Bleach, I probably would like it. Somebody recommended some dark stuff, Jada. She said she didn't like that last one. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna give it another try. It was probably just like the time I tried to watch it. I feel like when I go to school, I'll be watching more anime. So I think I just need to watch. Like I, st I the thing is, is I'll start shows and I won't finish, and I'll still, I'll still like them. Like I haven't finished Fruits Basket or My Hero Academia or Haiku. I don't know what my problem is, mm. especially because I don't be watching stuff. Like I don't. I mean, now I'm watching. What? Stuff. No, I'm saying like, I'm saying. No, okay, I meant to say that sometimes I'll have moments where I'm not watching anything at all. Like right now I am, mm -hmm. but there's usually I'll go times where I just need something to listen to in the background, but I won't eat. I'll just read or listen to music. I was going to say, because every time, all the times I'm talking to you, you're watching something. Yeah. Like if I'm it's like, not a TV show, then you'll just be watching five movies in one night. Month. Okay. That is very You funny. know, you're always watching something. No, because, and the crazy thing is, is I don't watch Okay, I watched five movies in one night, but I actually don't watch that many movies. Like, I haven't I watched. Just, I don't know. I don't believe that. Girl, I had to show you my <laughs> Which you guys you're always didn't. watching movies. Like, okay, so this month I've only seen. Okay, July I only seen five movies, and three of them was Fear Street. Mm, true, and but June, those you gotta count that. Didn't you watch those twice? No. No, I thought you did. We're gonna watch them the second time tomorrow. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought you were watching with Mika the yeah, second and the like third that. one. I am. Uh -oh. I'm about to watch them like three times. Yeah. Speaking of movies, did y'all see um how many people in the comments saw the Suicide Squad, the second one? Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta talk about that, especially because I, I don't wanna get And tell me thoughts. Spoiled. Yeah, I, no, tell okay. Say if you watched it and like if you uh if you can't fit your thoughts and then you're rating like what you would rate them out of five. I gave it three out of five. I gave it, I think I gave it 3.5 out of five. Mm -hmm. Daniel, what did you give it? <clears throat> Daniel said he gave it three. Did Jada see it or no? Yeah, I watched it. What'd you give it? I don't know because I was very annoyed by it, but. 
maybe I was taking it too seriously. I think that's a movie that definitely don't take themselves seriously, and that's what I like that. Well, yeah, I think that's the whole point. But I think with me, with those like camp superhero movies, the thing is sometimes they be trying to balance the humor with serious, and I'm like, it was just like, it just don't I, be doing it for me. Yeah, I was not appeased. I was not. I wasn't. Yeah. I don't know how I read it though. I El, Mayana it. liked it better, but I did not like it better. But Mayana did. I like it. But I don't remember the old one that much though. Go ahead, Mayana. I just remember hating it, and it might have been because, first of all, I prefer DC animated movies over the live action ones because I think the live action ones could be better. Yeah, the the animated movies are definitely better. They're so amazing. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy because. I think if people consider DC movies like they actually consider the animated movies, I think they really could compete with Marvel, like the Marvel movies, because they're mm-hmm. um, the series that they have was it made me feel like the ending made me cry more than Endgame did. Mm. But yeah, I was in tears. But yeah, the original Suicide Squad, I don't know. It was just it just yeah, kept, it just kept making me mad. I guess. Monty, I agree. That was weird. I mean, like, okay. Like, I mean, I liked what she, I guess I shouldn't spoil, but I like how it ended up with what she did. But it was just giving me weird vibes. The general. General flag? I don't know if he's talking about the flag or the president. Or, well, I guess he wasn't a president, but whoever. Oh, that was. weird man, that man that she. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. That whole, okay. And I seen this TikTok and it was saying how like they don't like how Harley Quinn has like a different personality based on who's writing it. Like in both Suicide Squad movies, they made her seem dumb. But in her old film, you see how smart she is. Yeah. Gabriella, yeah, I hate the rats. And when you sit here and try to make me be compassionate about some rats or empathize with some rats, it's not gonna happen. Don't try to be serious talking about some yeah. The rats kept us warm, and then showed me a scene with some rats on top of y'all while y'all sleep. Like now, that was sick. That scene, what the fuck? Nasty. That was so like, it's nasty. nasty. Talking about some the rats. The rats covered us. Get off of you. And you sit here crying in the bus, like not a single tear was shed for me. That's what this is oh, fucking I, nasty. That was one of the things that was making me bad, mad because I was like, okay, you guys are these serious parts don't fit into the movie. Like I just feel like there was yeah. not enough time for that. Especially yeah, like I understand, most no. parts. I didn't like that. And without saying any spoilers, the beginning of the movie, I'm not going to lie, I was already mad because of all the characters that they had, you know, what happened with all the characters in the beginning of the movie. And I feel like it ruined so many, like, spinoffs they could have did because they wanted to do something big at the beginning of the movie. And I might just be saying that because of Pete Davidson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he has some really cool powers that nobody even got to see. And also... Yeah, they can see. Also, with um the what we were talking about, Jocelyn, when he was like, "Oh, like I brought them here for y'all." What the hell did that mean? Right? Am I dumb, y'all? Like somebody explain. Like, what was he talking about? Like, like, was he trying to betray? Like, was he just trying to like throw them off? Like, what was he doing? Right. Like that was so confusing to me. And then, and I feel like I wasn't paying attention or something because I felt like so I should have got that. He- he really could have got his own series, and like one of he's the villain to a really popular. Well, not really popular. He's a villain to a popular hero. So if the hero ever got a movie, he could have. I'm so mad right now. Oh, he sold them oh, out. That, that them shit out. didn't even really work, though. So, yeah, I know he said that, but that didn't even. Like, I was just so confused because like, they didn't even care. Okay, yeah, because they still, you know. With his but yeah, I must have missed that part when Flag said that. I must have missed that too. I'm so. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. My fu- the funniest scene to me and my favorite scene was the Milton one. <laughs> that <laughs> shit was so funny to me because oh, I was yeah, the yeah, whole time. Who he was or um, Harley? Yeah. Because the whole time I was wondering why he was with them. Yeah. So like when I they finally like, said that, that, I thought it was I'm funny. Like, yeah. I was like, "What is he doing?" No, literally, he was like, "I'm coming with y'all." Like, sir, stay back. Also, one thing I noticed is that in this Suicide Squad, like, Harley Quinn actually, it made it seem like Harley Quinn's power was, like, being super good with, like, weapons and stuff like that. And it kind of, well, not power, but she's really good with weapons. But then in her own movie, she is good with weapons, but she was, like, in her own movie, she's like, struggling to find stuff to, like, 
to kill people oh, no. with and like she would get lucky but in this movie she always had like a weapon she was good with every weapon she used like anything they gave her like you know that scene where she was kidnapped and she came out like she was so good but in her own movie like it took more than that like i don't know just the way that they portray harley quinn in other movies is just very interesting mm -hmm. I like the shark, but I did not like polka dot man. Like, yeah. I never find humor like that funny. Like the like his mom, them turning to his mom and stuff. I never find that stuff funny. I guess the nobody wanted to look at that. I just <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't good. See, like I, I you're confirming all the reasons I didn't like the movie. Yeah, like that's just not just my like, type of humor. He really like okay yeah we got an explanation on his mom, but he really didn't say much. Like Rat Catcher Two got more of a storyline, like a backstory than anybody else did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I did like King Shark though. King Shark, I re I realized I, <laughs> I was like me and King Shark are the same person. Yes, Weezer was uh, ugly, but me and my brothers could not stop laughing at him. No, because Jada emotionally attached herself to the <laughs> to the Weasel, and then as soon as the movie started, I was like, girl, this thing about to die in two minutes, and then it did. I loved him. And I love King Shark, too. I don't know what it is about animals. Mm -hmm. Animals and all. I don't know. I agree. Like, I think the action scene I never saw that. I wish I saw it. It was really good. I think you would really like the movie, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. But what were you about to say? But, um, yeah, her action sequence she had, like, in that one, not saying she struggled, but it's just showing that she's not, like, a that amazing of a killer. Like, killing is not her superpower or anything like that. Like, she struggled to find weapons. Like, you know, she struggled to fight people a little bit. But then in her action sequence she had in um, the Suicide Squad, like, she was so good at finding weapons. Like, she was so good at shooting them and all this stuff. Also, one thing... Yeah, she I, was going there. I watched Black Widow yesterday, and I realized that one thing I hate is when people, like... Excuse me. When people are... When one person is fighting a group of people, it's like the people take turns coming at the right. person. Like, We're like... Jump. Yeah, like in <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, they would be jumping her. So right, you know, that thing I noticed that in um in Black Widow, and I was like, hmm, they kind of did the same. They kind of do the same thing in Superman. Oh, you know, I was gonna say for some reason I, I hate John Cena. I'm sorry, I have to say it. There's just something about him that I hate. I like John. I don't hate him. Um, I hate him. I'm mad that they didn't make Peacemaker like, I'm mad they didn't make him like an invisible person because that would have been such a good joke. He's getting a spinoff movie, but I don't understand why. I'm yeah, he gets a spinoff movie. Shit. It's like, give it to, give the spinoff movie to Black Guard. Yeah, I just want to see Pete Davidson in a superhero movie. Give no. it to Idris. Idris did, deserved a spinoff more than anyone. That is true. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't care. Like, you want to show me this man. You like I don't want to see Republican in a superhero. Movie. Yeah, I think I yeah I think that's what it is. I just don't like him as an actor. It's not that I hate John Cena as a person. I don't like him as an actor. Like I hate all he, all the people he play. And I'm sorry, but those outfits like I did not want to look at him. Florence definitely um, carried that on her back. Like, but I am I'm not gonna watch. Oh, it's a TV show. Yeah, I'm not watching. I'm not that. watching that shit. Especially. No. Speaking of speaking of DC TV shows, y'all, Titans comes out tomorrow, tonight. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. I did not know that. Yeah, I'm so excited. So huh? Yeah, I just like it because Big Grayson and Starfire. Per. Wait, but, is it the live action one? Yeah. I don't know about that. I just have not. I just hate the wardrobe. I still have to. Yeah, the wardrobe is getting better, though, because it went over. Okay, so it went from the CW to HBO Max. So now that it's on HBO Max, they're doing better with, like, hair. Like, in, in, se in, season, in season two, the hair got better. And, like, in season three, I can see the costumes and the hair getting better. Okay, but, but mm -hmm. Doom Patrol deserves the recognition that Teen Titans is getting, and I don't understand. Like, Doom Patrol, it's ten times better than Teen Titans. Not I, Teen I, Titans. I know, have you Teen watched Titans No, I don't need to. But I've watched crossover episodes. You never watched Teen Titans? Not, uh, no, not Teen Titans, girl, Titans. Yeah, that. Um, That's what I meant to say. You I said, said Teen, Teen Titans. Titans. Yeah, I did, but I didn't mean to say that. But Doom Patrol deserves so much more recognition than Titans. 
I mean, I think they get the same amount of recognition. They do not. Thank you. How would you know, Daniel? I'm gonna stay out of this one because I don't watch either. The crazy thing is, I was gonna bring up Doom Patrol next, but Jada had to just jump in. Because <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about Titans and not Doom Patrol. Well, I was bringing up Titans. What? Why not, Monty? It's way better than that shit. Way better. I haven't seen it in a while, so I can't. I'm sorry, it. but what is Doom Patrol? It's a group of the dysfunctional superheroes, basically. They have like they very, cool. it's crazy because it's kind of like they have like very useless superpowers, but they get found family, so it eats. Yes, yes. Okay, maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. I Plus, it's, it's very like the way like it's just very interesting. Like they have a narrator, but the narrator is the villain. And it's like, how the hell do you beat somebody who narrates your life, you know? Cyborg, I fucking hate Cyborg and Doom Patrol, Cy- especially how he's supposed to be from Detroit. It never gives. It never gives. He'd be like, he'd be so awesome. Yo, I don't know nobody from Detroit that say yo. I, if y'all would, if they would have gave him like dog man, something, yeah, then I would have believed it. But crazy no, Crazy Jane. They're sick for naming her Crazy Jane, but it's not like it's not like she had different person. Well, she did have different personalities, but it's like different hers living inside of her body, and they all have different powers, which makes them so cool. Yeah. That makes me want to watch it though. Please watch. Look, yeah. that's how it eats. It, what's it all? It's on HBO Max. Max. Yes, yeah. I need to rewatch it. I'm sorry, but I've been seeing some bad things about HBO Max recently. Like you okay, can't even go it, back on there. Mostly watch stuff on your laptop, so you'll be good. HBO Max on your laptop is superior, but like on like an iPad or a phone or anything like that, trash. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy that I'm tuning in and out because I really I've been reading. Okay, what did you have to go and say that for? Right, because <laughs> someone said that I'm being like I'm being really passionate. And it's like it's crazy that I am even being passionate because I'm in and out of the conversations. Oh, okay. No, 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 Kate. Don't tell me. Tell them because I am a DC fan. Okay, I'm a DC. I do fan. need to watch that. I do. Need I don't to think watch. one is better than the other. Like I can acknowledge. I am a DC girl. Okay, I'll be watching it. It's crazy that I'm you're not. Huh? I said I'm not, but I could be. Plus, the DC animated, like I'm telling you, DC animated like shows, movie, all of them are so good. Like mm-hmm. Larry and Rita definitely give icon behavior. Yeah, I yeah. love the relationship. It's so cute. I'd be crying. Oh my god. Is that Do- is that Doom Patrol? Yeah, yeah it's still Doom Patrol. Oh, okay. Plus, I don't know. Like Crazy Jane is she's just so powerful, and like I said, every personality has a different power and like the more powerful they are the crazier they are so that's most so that's more so why she's called crazy i might have to watch it tonight please it just sounds good yeah it's a wonderful show and I, the way that it's filmed and like i guess the cinematography it's just like so good and then if you ever seen wandavision the shows are very not very similar but they're very mm-hmm. similar in like the concept of the shows not that it takes place mm-hmm. in like the but just like the way the show works and like you know stuff like that Mm-hmm. I was gonna say some. Oh, oh, um, I'm so happy because it's Thursday. Well, not it's Thursday, but it's gonna be Thursday. And all my Thursday shows come out all night. I've been getting notifications for everything that's coming out. So, F Boy Island, American Horror Story, I Carly. I thought you didn't like American Horror Stories. I don't, but I'm still watching the episodes because there are some episodes I liked. Mm-hmm. Like, I really liked episode four. But that's because it was a commentary episode. I don't like episode. I didn't really like episode five. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was excited to watch it, and then you said that she didn't like the first two episodes, and I was like, "Well, damn." Yeah, the first two episodes are bad. Yes. Okay. And the the whole like it's hard explaining the DC timelines because they reboot the timeline, but the Flashpoint timeline literally could be better than Marvel. Like. The, all the faces and stuff like that like the way they they really took notes with um with what marvel did and made it better and it's more gorier and like they have like the jokes and <laughs> the gore like i said plus like the way that they like it's just so good 
Um, I personally am liking Gossip Girl right now. I am a bit annoyed with how, like, they keep solving issues very fast. And it is annoying me that they only focus on Julian and Zoya right now when ev- we know everyone else's tea, but nobody else's tea is getting exposed. Like, I feel like the original Gossip Girl was very good with, like, everyone's drama. Like, nobody could keep a secret. And it's like they're only focusing on the sisters. And it's like, mm, that's kind of boring. Okay, we were going to read at 11.10, but people started talking. So. What's rubber? What? What is this? Yeah, what's that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And what does that have to do with America? I'm so confused. I, I thought it was a character. Is it not a character? Murder House, the leather, mm-hmm. the leather. That's what, I was, that's what I thought of immediately. Okay, so basically, in basically, in um, in episodes one and two, because it's a it's like a two episode part thing. So mm-hmm. the girl who plays in Ant Farm, she played one of the, she played the blonde girl in Ant Farm. She has red hair in this one though. Okay. She ends up finding the suit. And like she's the one who kills people in the suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't I know how it you, I don't know how it was weird because I feel like in season one it was weird. Yeah. American Horror Story right. definitely be crossing some lines. Exactly, Gabriella. Where are the cliffhangers? Where are what the heck, you know, like Like they're just, well, I don't know if you're talking about no. I'm pretty sure you're talking about Gossip Girl, but it's like every every issue gets solved either in one or two episodes. Like right now with Luna and Monet, they're gonna become friends by the end of this episode that comes out. Soon. Yeah, I have not been watching that new season. I mean, the reboot of Gossip Girl. But my aunt told me I probably would like it, but I just I'm just scared. It just won't live up to the original. So. Okay, I don't know. I don't like reboots like that. I like reboots, but I think you should like. I can go into them separating it from the original show. Like I know they're supposed to be the same thing, but like I like the the um the what's the word I'm looking for? I'll say lame. I like the lame that okay. So like Saved by the Bell reboot. It's not mm-hmm. really a reboot. It's just like these kids go to that school, and then you see the parents of the kids, and like they have their mm-hmm. own storylines. So Gossip Girl reboot, they go to the same school and they do introduce Gossip Girl, but they have their own dramas and it's a newer generation. So a lot of the issues they have have to do with like, with like, um, you know, stuff that like this generation deals with. And they do have like a character. I don't know if you remember, but at the end of Gossip Girl, um, Dan and Georgina had a kid together named Milo and he's in the show. He's like a big character, but yeah. What? They, yeah. They had a kid together. At the end of Gossip Girl? Yeah. I don't remember that happening. In like season six. Bro, what? I did not remember that. Yeah. Dan did not have no kid. He, Daniel's telling you. Tell her, Daniel. I just remember him and Serena getting Why married. Get Why I don't remember. Get- I don't remember Dan having no kid. Yeah. Milo. His name is Milo. I'm the name Milo. I remember that name for some reason, but I do not remember Dan having a kid. Yeah, they're on your head in the comments, you liar. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, I forgot. She said it was. Okay, dang. I was like, Dan did not have a child. That's something I would remember. But it being that it wasn't his child, yeah, that's something I would forget because I don't care. Right. Like it wasn't his kid. It's out my brain. So the kid don't exist to me. Because... Because he has... Um, I think he has his last name. And then when I looked my up, I seen a picture of him holding it. So I was like, dang, he had a, okay. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. But I've watched Gossip Girl so long ago. I never rewatched. Like, I watched it in high school. Like, maybe my freshman year of high school. So a lot of stuff I probably forgot. 
for me, I will rewatch a show and I will forget it right after I'm done rewatching it. That's why I rewatch so many shows because I'd be forgetting. I mm-hmm. love Georgina. She's my fave. Like that is a messy queen. <laughs> The whole teacher thing. I've been hearing that a lot of people say that about the reboot. The teacher thing is weird. The teachers, I don't really, I don't really like the king calls that. The smell was really getting to me. Um, but yeah, I don't really like the teachers, but I don't think I don't really care about them. And then the teachers, what they did to the other teacher was very much racist. I don't know why I laughed at that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. No, because let's let me let me say. So the person who writes it was tweeting like, y'all, like this episode, we about to have a special guest. It's about to be a big one. I'm like, oh, we about to get the core four. We about to get Georgina because Myla was just here. We about to get the. It's Nelly Yuki. I was like, who is this girl? Who the fuck is Nelly Yuki? I don't remember Nelly Yuki. I think she was like, I don't know. Let the comments say you, because clearly I'm um, wrong. Y'all, who is Nelly Yuki? She was. What Daniel say? He said she was um, Blair's rival to get into a good college. Oh yeah, I remember that. She was the smartest girl in the school. Okay, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Monty's saying Nelly was one of um, Blair's men. Well, yes, I mean, she was. Yes, she but was. did they not? They didn't compete though. They did. And then she yeah, the. They competed and then she became a. Because I'll be damned if I compete with somebody and then become one of your men once I lose. <laughs> That's just a walking L. That's an L all around. No, she got, she got tricks. She got no, because I don't know. Really- that's giving a uh, kind of glee to me for some reason. Yeah. Do you remember when Rachel sent sunshine to that crack house? <laughs> <laughs> she was so sick for that. No, because whenever I, okay, talking about teen drama plot lines, like I was explaining to them this plot lines watching a nine hundred two and zero, and the more I explained it, the more I was like, this show is messed up. And then I think about when I be telling people glee plot lines. Like, you can't even say a Glee plot line without sounding insane. Like, why no, are you watching that? When when uh, Finn thought that he got, what's her name, pregnant because they was- From the hot tub. Out. They weren't even doing that <laughs> in the hot tub. They was just making out. And yeah. she was, ended up being his best friend's baby. Insane. And that whole catfish plot line that we just skipped past after that episode. Bro, and I, not to mention the catfish plot line was in a school shooting episode. Like, what's going and on? Not to mention that episode after Quinn had the baby and gave it to Rachel's mom, who gave her up for adoption. She decided she wanted the baby back. So they went to the house, pretended to babysit it, and tried to plant stuff in her house and call Secret Service. Yep. Not Secret I Service. I remember that episode. Oh, Secret Service, my bad. Yeah, I remember that episode. Like, Ryan Murphy is going to jail. <laughs> this beautiful black body. <laughs> no, because I thought it was meaningful too. <laughs> at the time. I was like, "Yeah, they're giving." Like, look it's at the so social crazy. commentary. The first episode of Glee I ever watched. Okay, so I watched Glee because. My step grandma and my aunt used to watch Glee together all the time, and so I watched the Barbara Streisand episode when Rachel was gonna get surgery on her nose, but they tried to convince her not to. So I'm like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. this show was so meaningful. I watched the first season, I ended up getting hooked because the drama. It's the drama, and I'm not gonna lie, it hit right because we can't. I can't lie, some of the Glee songs hit more than the originals, they sang the best songs, like. The plot lines were good. The relationships, the couples, the oh my gosh, everything. Leave is just I'm trying to remember the name of that college that they thought Brittany was gonna go to, but it turned out she was actually just gonna go work at the chicken <laughs> at the chicken <laughs> place. It was the name of a college and a chicken company. I can't remember the name. But they're like, Oh yeah, she got into college, but then it was just like the chicken company. Bruh, the fact that she had to be a, a senior, a super senior. <laughs> Bro, I wanna Sam this is before 
Well, no, I don't know. I remember I wanted Sam and Santana to date so bad. This was before she came out, I, I believe. Okay, and no, the- let's talk about it. Because Glee covers hit. They're yeah. sometimes better than the original. When I tell you, I have to listen to Glee. Oh, MIT. No, it wasn't MIT. It started with a P, I think. Hit. No. It's like, I'm going to say pedigree, but it's not. It's not pedigree. It's... Yeah, I, I, I listen to my Glee playlist on um, YouTube because if I listen to Glee on Spotify, my entire Spotify rap would just be Glee songs. Yeah, that's my problem. Purdue, is it? Girl, I don't know. Purdue? <laughs> I remember that. Dog, when that episode, dog, because that entire plotline was so sick. The fact that her and um Artie were best friends when she was in that wheelchair, then after she got that wheelchair, they never talked again. Sick. He literally poured his soul on her. He was like, yeah, let me show you my life. Like, yeah, nobody ever noticed you down here. Like, he was like, yeah, I got me a friend. I'm not alone no more. All this stuff. She started walking again. She, 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 she started walking again and did not talk to <laughs> again. That was so sick. Bruh, when, um, that was when Mercedes. Yeah, didn't she, she like Kirk? Is that yeah, what she liked? Yeah, Kirk? Like Kirk. <laughs> Please. Because they were just writing like anything. Me. Oh my gosh. No, because. Let's pour one out for our lost ship, which was Sam and Mercedes. The best. They hate black I will, people. I, will, I won't be pouring one out for that one. I will. Ryan Murphy hates black people. <laughs> That's not giving. Yes, of course I remember Jesse St. James. First of all, the actor who plays Jesse St. James is one of my favorite actors right now. That man can not only sing, but he can act. What else is he in? Um, He was in My Hunter. Oh, I, don't, I didn't even oh. notice. I'm sorry. Man, he's the main character. They don't look like the same person to me. They and, don't look like the same person. And he voices Kristoff in um, Frozen. That is not him. N- yes, it is. Help, I'm going to slip that card or something. Okay, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm bad with actors, bro. Yeah, and I know I'm good with actors. Yeah. I'm gonna I did not know that was the same person. Oh, my God. I'm gonna send you his um his IMDb. Oh yeah, my, he's in Hamilton. Wait, who is he in Hamilton? I love Hamilton, bitch. I bet he's the um I bet he's the king. He is. Uh, yep. Jonathan Groff. Okay, wait. So the thing is, I knew Jonathan Groff in Hamilton, and I knew him as Kristoff, but I did not know him as Jesse St. James. Is that if that makes sense? I just sent like you he was just removed in my head. I, I knew it. Uh, and it shows um, the screenshot shows like what he's most known for. Mm-hmm. How many of y'all watch um, Sing? Because let's talk about Sing too. I'm excited for that. Girl, he's not even on. Um, I know who Jonathan Groff is. I just didn't know him as Jesse St. James. But it doesn't say Glee on him. Yeah, because when you do the most known for, it's just like only the four. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't show Glee if those are the top three. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't put Glee on there either, to be honest. You're right, Monty. I think him being removed in my head is actually a good thing. Yeah, the kids' movie, Gabriella. I'm sorry, but I still listen to... Shut up, Mayana. I still listen I, to I'm Still Standing. I'm just laughing at the fact that she said the kids' movie, and you was like, yeah, the kids' movie. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Still Standing is on my playlist. Like, I'm sorry, he ate. What's his name? It starts with a T. Tanner Egerton, I think. I don't know. Taryn Egerton. Okay, I was close. I was close. Hey. I did not think they would come out with a two, but I'm actually really excited that they did. Yes, Tori Kelly ate, as always. Tori Kelly's always going to eat. Man, have you seen the movie? 
No, that's why I'm, I'm gonna not tell, I'm going to tell her to watch it, and she's not going to watch it. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not watching, though. No, I'm just playing. Why? Watch I, it. It's good. I, the mouse? Wait, why would the mouse die? I didn't think it was that type of movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think it may die. Yep, yep. Remember has it covered. Was that when Rachel was in college, Gabriella? Because I don't remember that. Do you remember that scene, Mayana? What? Rachel? Rachel croaked at her audition and she's just begging, please. Yeah. I think that was when she was auditioning for college. Or when she was auditioning, like, for... What's the, what the name of that college? Was it New York? Was it in New, yeah, New York? Also, the fact that Finn didn't get into that college was so sick. Like, they... He really... I'm sorry, but it made sense. <laughs> Come on, bitch. She like he was in the glee club. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like Rachel got in and Kurt got in, but not Jesse. I thought she said Finn. I did say Finn, but I also agree with Jesse as well. Yeah, Jesse should have gotten. Why would Finn? Why would Finn get in? That's my thing. I don't know. Just liked him. I thought it was sick. I mean, if if Rachel could get in, so could he. Well, not Rachel. But what? Kurt. No, they had been singing for a while before him. He could not catch a rhythm. He couldn't really do nothing. He That's just kind of was there. But also, Finn couldn't sing. Do you remember when, when Rachel had Huck, Jesse, and Finn all sing that uh, that one song, that one really problematic song, and she had them all pretend to be their boyfriends in the music video? I don't remember. He did bring down every song he participated in. Like this nigga could. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was the it was the pause for me. Um. But anyway. We getting a little too comfortable over here. Yeah, I got too comfortable. Um. Yeah, he couldn't even stay on beat. That was the problem. Yes, run, Joey, run. That was the song. I don't remember that. They was all mad at her because when she filmed the music video, they all was looking at her like. <laughs> like every time a new boy showed up, they were like. <laughs> Your facial expressions are sending me. It was season one. That's why I don't remember, probably. I just remember Puck singing that Fat Bottom Girl song. <laughs> remember, I'm sorry. Because they, remember when they had that girl. Joe, I mean, Puck's girlfriend beat the living hell out of Santana. Yeah. That was so sad. And my girl never got a redemption arc, so we don't know if she can fight for real. Like, now they just got us thinking that she just be running her mouth. I mean, she was slapping bitches, but she wasn't really fighting. Yeah, she wasn't really fighting. But that girl was throwing, she threw her into a locker. I so, mean, yeah. And the fact that Santana thought that she could beat her up. Mm -mm. Yeah, she was delusional. Yeah. Yeah, how did they book her? I mean, it's Glee. I think she was. I asking. remember when I remember Demi Lovato was actually on uh Grey's Anatomy too, but every, you know, every celebrity and be on Grey's Demi Anatomy. Demi Lovato was in from and Dust SVU. To Dawn. She was on um from Dust to Dawn. She played well, this is because her boyfriend was on the show at the time, so she played his jealous girlfriend in the show, and she had like a whole fight scene and everything. So, Demi but Lovato actually, Demi Lovato being on Glee was just really random. I was like, what is she doing here? But she was, I think she was in her acting bag in that, that time period. Mm -hmm. Right. They, yeah. That's very because true. Because Rachel's mom is, she's also in Frozen, right? She's the, she sings, she's the main character, right? Yeah. I don't know if she's in yeah. Frozen, though. Right? Doesn't she sing, doesn't she sing Let It Go or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure that's Kristen, that too. That's Wait, not Let It Go. What's the song? She sings a song in Frozen, I thought. Oh, she is. She's Elsa, not Anna. That's why. Okay, doesn't Elsa sing Let It Go? No, <laughs> Anna sings that, girl. No, she does not. She's singing it when she's kind of trying to break free. She's letting go of her power. I'm confusing, I'm confusing Anna with Elsa, that's why. Yeah. I switched them up in my head. 
Because what did Anna even sing other than that sandwiches song with that evil man? The snowman song. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Anna can't sing next. She wasn't giving like Elsa. And did anybody watch Project Glee? Or was what, what was it called? <clears throat> I think it was called Project Glee. I didn't watch that shit. The most, the best thing about watching it was it came on in the summertime. You would watch it in the summertime and then like the by the time Glee started, like the whoever won really would be on Glee. Actually, yeah, because that's where all the new people came from. Um, yeah, and actually there was this one girl, they was actually supposed to do one person, but I think they felt bad for the girl in the wheelchair, so they made her a character too. Mana, you're going to hell. Why would you just say that? Oh, oh my god. I'm pretty sure that's true. They said that or you said that. No, I don't mean I don't mean they felt bad because she was in a wheelchair. I mean they felt bad because she came in like second place. Oh, okay. So you're well, it's a, no, it's the way you worded it. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, Gwyneth. Yeah, almost the whole I'm damn. Sorry, but Gwyneth's um songs, like her songs ate. I'm sorry. They did. Like the best character. Like they needed her in there more. <laughs> No, no, no. When Mr. Shoe sang, did he sing the thong song? Is that what he's saying? Yes. Like, what the fuck was that? Jail. Wait, they were. That's what I'm saying. Like, they definitely felt bad because they was like, y'all not going <laughs> to get on the show unless you went first place. Then, like, eight people from the seasons I watched. I watched, like, two seasons, and I've seen, mm -hmm. like, 18 people. Like, Ryder, the white boy with the dress who should have not been there, the girl in the wheelchair. And I think it was one other person. And you have to stop. You have to stop calling her that. You <laughs> have to. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You, you have to stop the calling her that. The blonde girl who dated, well, who already wanted to date and wanted. To, okay, I'm sorry, but there's no other way to describe her. Next, I'm not. I'm not involved. But in, in the Irish guy, they all were from the Glee Project. <clears throat> I remember the Irish guy from the Glee Project. Oh, she just listed them. Mm -hmm. And what's name too? Puck's brother, right? Yeah. Wait, I don't know. Right, Ryder. Was he from no. that? Ryder, he also had a do you have a YouTube channel where he danced or something? Ryder. And you're confusing his name. His name was not Ryder. Well, whatever the hell his name was, I don't care. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> Rory, is that his name? No, that was the Irish guy, girl. Well, damn, I don't remember these people. Sorry. Ryder. No. Ryder was. Ryder I mean, was the girl? No, I think Ryder was the boy who got who got catfished. The spousal abuser. Yeah, he also abused um the, the girl who played Marley. Oh, I remember Marley. Okay, I remember Marley. I thought Ryder was a oh, writer was catfished by what's his name? Yeah, well, I, I, don't, I don't remember the pronouns. Oh, Ryder was the white boy. I see him in my head now with that Justin Bieber haircut. Yeah. Um, what was Finn Puck's brother's name then? I'm looking because obviously nobody else can remember. Jacob Artist played Jake, who was Puck's brother. Thank you, Monty. Monty got Monty knows everything, he remembers everything. Yeah. Yes, Santana, Don't Rain on My Parade was good. But who thought that, was it Britney who thought that Irish boy was a leprechaun? Yeah. It, it had liked, to be Britney. And he liked Britney so much that he would take the marshmallows <laughs> out of the Lucky Charms and he made a whole box because he was granting her three wishes. That's actually so sweet. Yeah, the girl who played Marley now plays Supergirl, and I I can't see her. I, I don't watch Supergirl, and I can't see her as Supergirl because. Did they talk about Marley's? Well, I guess that could be kind of triggering, but her eating disorder again after that one episode. I don't, I don't remember them talking about it that one episode. Well, that's Glee for you. Yeah, true. You know the. I think the the. The eating disorder um, plot line was about a good three episodes because I remember it had started because of Kitty and then it like 
Was Kitty the cheerleader? Who was Kitty? Yeah, Kitty was the cheerleader. And I okay. kind of like Kitty. She, like, she, they were trying to make her, like, they kind of tried to make her a mixture of Santana and Quinn. And it's like, I kind of liked her, but also I didn't. <laughs> That's what I didn't like about the, it could have been just me, but when they brought in all those new people, obviously when everybody graduated, I was just kind of trying to typecast them as the old cast. So that's why I didn't enjoy it. No, that was like, Okay, this is the new Puck. This is the new whoever. No, L, what, he, what Monty is saying is he was, the guy who played Ryder and the girl who played Molly dated in real life and he is actually an abuser like in real life. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought he was talking about the show at the time too. Now, yeah. I think he might have actually, he actually might have abused her in the show too, but not like physically. I think he not, was, oh my God. How'd you go from abusing? That's actually so sick. Yeah. How you gonna abuse her on the show for the script and then go home and do it? Like, that's right. actually very, very sick. But my girl, she's now dating Chris Wood, who plays Kai in, um, in Vamp Original the or The Vampire Diaries. Yeah, I think they might be either engaged or, or married. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, oh god. Because I didn't want you watching the show and being like, where does the tea? And then you're like, huh? Well, yeah. Do y'all remember? Oh my gosh. Do y'all remember Geek Charming when, like, okay, so there was, I know, like, a lot of, like, actors who, like, male actors who abuse their spouses, like, um, like, yeah, I say actors. Because, okay, so in Geek Charming, the guy who was the main love interest of Geek, and then what's her name? She's in, um, she's Sarah? in Modern Family. Sarah, Sarah, they dated in real life, and he was even in Modern Family, but they broke up because he was he was abusing her in real life, and um, people on TikTok found out, and they were, like, shading him, like, talking shit about him, and he found out, and he would post their TikToks and be like, don't believe these people, they're spreading nasty rumors about me and all this stuff. Man. Monty, I'm surprised you never heard of Geek Charming. Right. Geek. The way. Well, yeah. Yeah, she got a straining order, too. That's actually so sad. It really is. But I mean, Sarah's doing really good. My favorite thing, okay, I don't know how to work this without signing. My favorite thing is when, okay, my favorite thing is when people come out of abusive relationships and they find that like love that they actually deserve. Like uh, Melissa and Chris and Sarah, she's in, she's, she wasn't gay. Who's, Mel who's Melissa and Chris? Marley and Kai. Oh, Marley. sorry, girl. I don't know their real names. Yeah, I figured. Um, Nazi said he stopped. After 2008. Yeah, nah, he you, was missed, you missed some good ones. Yeah, you missed some good ones. Remember when I had y'all watching uh, Radio Rebel? That was the time. Huh? Elle, what are you talking about? Which guy? The one Mayanna was just talking about? About Sarah and that guy? Hold on, huh? Elle got the T, I guess. <laughs> Monty, you know. Monty, you know that you like that Radio Rebel watch. No, because y'all cannot tell me y'all still don't be thinking about that song from the G's. Wait, you so wait, we fly. so fly. <laughs> we so fly. No. <laughs> like stop. Wait, Elle, how do you DM him and he just answered? He's probably just trying I to think, tell everybody. I think what she's saying is she DM'd him back in the day when the rumors happened. And then, I mean, he don't got nothing to do. Well, he probably answered. He was probably just trying to defend himself, answering a yeah. whole bunch of DMs. And like I said, I think, and as we can see from like when I told y'all about like the TikTok and how people were accusing him on TikTok, he doesn't like mm -hmm. when people talk about him in that way because it's bad. But instead of, I mean, what can you do as an abuser? I don't know. But at the end of the day, he's not going to sit here and reply and be like, yeah, I did it. I yeah, mean, he's, he's not going to lie. I, yeah, Descendants 2 was cute. I'm not watching Descendants 3. Yeah, I'm not watching Descendants 3 after I saw that um, clip. It's not night. even for the clip. I'm just not watching it because Cameron. Cameron like, Boyce, yeah. yeah. I never saw Descendants, actually. It was really good. Monty, stop calling it garbage. You know and you enjoyed that experience. Bro. Just let me go find a movie for us to watch right now. <laughs> I'm about to get on Netflix right now. We about to watch a decom. Of course, Girl vs. Monster. Tell them about our song, Daniel. It's the silence <laughs> from Daniel. I don't know why that movie thinks. Fight me. 
It was the silence from Daniel. What song? The song, the, the hello song. I'm trying to think of how it went without getting. Don't play it too loud. Right, for this to be like the last one when you right, play whoever. Monster was everything. Okay, true. I could understand liking the experience and not the movie because I don't know if I actually like the movie, but I enjoyed the experience so much that I think I like the movie. I don't know. Yeah, I miss. I like doing the um <clears throat> Netflix party thing. Oh, yeah. You remember Monty when you had the Netflix party and we was rewatching Gossip Girl and then we just stopped. Right, and we somehow watched like nine episodes in one night. Like we watched so much. Okay, we can watch a decom or we can watch a, a animated movie. Or I like animated old, movies. Or we can watch an old movie. I'm saying animated movie because I want everybody to watch um, Planet Fifty One. Or we could watch the Rugrats go to Paris. I just put my kids at my job onto Rugrats go to Paris because this generation don't know it. But let me tell oh you, gosh, every single them, time, put what? them on the Rugrats, the Wild Thornberries, and the Rugrats. Yes. Yeah. Every single time. They are doing that thing, and Chucky doesn't have a mom, and it's like, I want a mom. I cry every time. <laughs> no, we got to watch Surf's Up. Girl, I hate that movie. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I think it's because I watched it around the same time as Happy Feet, and I couldn't distinguish the two movies. No, because I don't think you understand how Surf's Up is, like, one of my all-time, like, it was my comfort movie growing up. Okay. Uh, one thing about Mayana is she's going to say something. It's her all-time favorite movie, her comfort movie, and it's going to be a different movie every time. Yeah, and I like to watch a lot of movies. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it makes me cry every time, Gabrielle. Okay. I don't want to think of it. Wait, was PJ from... Um, that was PJ from Good Luck Charlie that was in Minutemen? Yes. I remember that. Because I was just thinking about Minuteman. I was just thinking about, okay, so you remember the boy who played the bad boy in Minuteman? I was just thinking about how he has been in, like, so many Disney movies, and, and like, he always played the nerd, but in that movie, he played the bad boy, and I believed it. Like, his acting abilities are so good. Fire. i never seen Smart House. But I like anime. I don't know if I want to watch Smart House. It was good, but I don't really know if I want to watch it, though. I'm trying to think. Oh, if I want to, I'm dumb. If I want to look for decoms, I need to go on um, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. And we can do, if anybody, do y'all have Disney Plus? We can do a watch party on there. I'm just going to use your account. Help. As I do. I got my account on there. But um, I was about to tell y'all about a movie that I remember when we were just talking about these movies now. I forgot. Oh, when I was younger, for some reason, the movies Monster House actually really scared me. And I don't I know. I like Monster House. When I was younger, I could not watch the... I did not watch the entire Monster House movie until I was, like, a teenager. Because because every time I, like, sat down to watch the movie, we was doing something. Like, I watched it at my mm. cousin's house, and we had to go home. Or, like, I watched it at my dad's house. We had stopped because we had went out to eat. Like, I could never finish the movie. And by the time I finished the movie, I was like, what the hell? This For me, I think I used to always watch it. I had the disc, and I used to have like the, one of those SUVs that had a um, movie, um, what was it called? A DVD player in it, and I used to watch it on there all the time. But yeah, I do like Monster want, House now. What if we... Oh, you got paid money for that. Never mind, I'm just going to... Yeah, that neighbor scared me. He was scary. I'm not watching Twilight, Gabrielle. So you can go ahead. Hey, nobody watching Twilight. Ain't nobody watching Twilight. Yeah, we're not watching. We're not watching that. Let me look up some stuff too. My kids were watching Vivo on Netflix yesterday, and that movie was actually was pretty good. And I didn't know Lin Manuel Miranda was in it. You was watching what on Netflix? It's called Vivo. Monty, what Monty, which um animated shows did you watch when you were younger? I need to know. Like on Nick and Disney. Cause I can't for some reason I can't see you watching any animated shows. 
Like I was thinking about Fanboy and Chum Chum, and then I was thinking, yeah, Monty definitely didn't watch that shit. Bro, I just saw Kick Batowski, and that reminded me of when I was growing up, and like I would be up in the middle of the night, and it would just be on. <laughs> my brother, when watching. my brother was younger, he looked like Kick Batowski. He was shaped like him. Why are you always roasting him? <laughs> <Did I mean? laughs> he was shaped like Kick Batowski. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't watch Xenon because I watched it too many times growing up. Because it would come on every Friday and Saturday and Sunday at 3 a.m. Because I was always up at that time. We're watching an old school movie or a newer one? I think, well, I think an old school movie we should do. Okay. Do you remember the movie, The Boy Who Cried Werewolf? The boy who called, yeah. Victoria Justice. Yeah, I watch it every Halloween. Not surprised. Huh? Yeah. Broncos, Modern Life, and Angry Beavers? I don't know any of those. Oh, wait, no. I thought you said something else. I thought you said Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Because I know you're not that much. Oh, I love those, but no. Um... Because I know Monty is not that much older than me, so I should know these shows. Oh, Rocco's was that Modern in Cat Dog? Oh, that was yeah. I love Rocco's Modern Life. I don't really remember Angry Beavers. So. Oh uh, yeah, I recognize the cover of Rocco's Modern Life, but I don't think I watched it that much. I think I was pretty young. Monty said Secret Society of Second Born Royals. What's that? Yeah, that was so good. What the heck? Okay, never... Daniel. Right. I've never even heard of that. Is that on Disney Plus or Netflix? Disney Plus. Okay. Said Let me go ahead and get on. I'm about to get on my honest account so I can see. Oh my gosh, they have gargoyles on here. I used to watch that show on um what was it called? It wasn't called it wasn't called Disney XD. It was like before it was Disney XD used to come on. I used to be so scared of that show. Of course, Twitches. But I don't know if we should watch Twitches right now because I feel like that's not the like y'all are giving me the Halloween mood like fall. I'm not watching Twitches because it's, I watched that for Halloween. Right. Um, and I'm not watching Halloween Town because I watched that during Halloween. Even though I freaking love Halloween too. I don't know why Jada's just in that corner being quiet. <laughs> Did she mute us? I think she's on the phone. Oh. I don't know. Jump in. That's a, I don't know. I'm not in the mood for jumping. I'm not in the mood for jumping at all. <laughs> Dang, why is Disney Plus not loading? Disney Plus. Jocelyn, did you just say something to me? Ah, help me. What um, did you say? Yeah, I, like, I said, why are you over there being quiet? Oh, I'm on the phone with my friend. I'll be oh. back. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> why is this not loading? Is it because I'm on the stream yard? Maybe I should mute myself. I hate Chicken Little. Hanan, who's the cast? Like, you recognize somebody in it or something? Let me go, let me go look this up. You hate Chicken Little? Yes, I hate Chicken Little. Why? With the passion Why? of Maureen. It's just like, you ever had those movies that like? Okay, let me log in. I ain't never seen this show before. A day before in my life. This show just came out. Yes. That's why we don't know what it is, Jocelyn. Oh, okay. It literally just came out in twenty twenty. 
They just are random. And Miss Andy Mack is in it? Okay. Yeah. I'm not watching it. If the power go out, because it's raining. Oh, uh, good. I can't find the username that you sent me a long time ago, man. Send it again, please. Of course, it is. Target didn't have power. We so. The thing is, I want to put my camera on, but I'm laying down and my feet are up and I don't, y'all cannot see my feet. That's why the camera was up. <laughs> I'll kick, I'm kicking my feet in the air right now. I'll be back on camera in a second. Okay, y'all, we can watch. What if we watch Wild Child? What's that? I want to watch the movie that I was watching last night. Um, What's it called? Yours, Mine, and Ours. That movie is good. Anyways, I want to know, because you was already watching it. But I didn't finish. Um, gotta kick it up. I love gotta kick it up. Anyways, who votes for Wild Child? Who said, oh my gosh, yes. What were you saying, oh my gosh, yes, to? To Wild Child, because it's a good movie. With Emma Roberts. It's like a classic teen movie, Jocelyn. Okay. Who's voting? What what do y'all want to watch? It's not right, about what Mayana wants to watch. Even though we're probably gonna say no to everything, because <laughs> they don't said plenty of things they want to watch. Because we about to be we about to we not about to watch a movie until like two a.m. <laughs> and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna play the movie. Mm, I think I can do it. I might just watch it on my iPad. I wonder if I can like. Start it on my computer and then switch over to my iPad. Right, Monty, because what is Wild Child? Nobody's ever heard of Wild Child. No, y'all have heard of it. Like, stop playing with me. We're very much serious. You're very <laughs> much playing with me right now. Very much not. not oh, it does look like something. My, I mean, Monty, it looks like something you might like. Exactly. Like this spoiled rich bitch stuff? Yeah, you eat this stuff. And it has Alex Potiphar in it, Jocelyn. Alex Pettifer, please say oh, his I name don't correctly. Give a, I don't care what his Come correct. Name. Come correct it. when you're talking about my man. I don't, I don't, I never liked, I never liked Kyle Bills growing up, to be honest. Let me get my iPad out so I can watch. I'm sorry, but I hate cowbells. I don't think I like cowbells either. <gasps> Monty, why? <laughs> why would you come for him like this? That was so disrespectful. I love Alex Pettyford, bro. I fan cast him in my Wattpad book that I wrote a long time ago. It was him yeah. and Ariana Grande as the main characters. <laughs> I fan cast him in like, not fan cast, but in my mind, I fan cast him in romance books. He is so fun. Huh? Yeah, you right, you right. Oh yeah, you right, you right. <laughs> Hello. Why are you looking like that? Because I was like, what are you doing? I had to get my eyes off. Help, not Tyler Posey's looking for a job. Oh my gosh, y'all are so mean. Tyler Posey got his job. He be your only fan. Yeah, he got his only fans. He popping. If you would have told me in high school that I would see Tyler Posey's nudes as an you adult, seen them? Yeah. How? I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of uh, Tyler Posey's body parts that I would have preferred not to see. How'd you see them? Twitter. Uh oh. I actually don't know what Alex. Whatever that man last name is, is up to right now. I don't think he's had a job. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't think I am number four, maybe. Maybe I am number four, or um. Oh no, that's way too old. He definitely he was in Magic Mike after that. Oh, I forgot about him being in Magic Mike. I actually forgot. And then he was in Endless Love and Beauty after 
and he was in this love. And then after 2014, you just never seen that man again. He's been in some flops. Leave him alone. What you're not going to do is talk about him. He has nine upcoming films. Per very much employee. <laughs> Very much. We got Patrick uh, Schwarzenegger in here. He's a good, I think. What do I know? From? Yeah, you can't find anything on Twitter. Oh, he was in Mox Moxie. Avalon, <laughs> hi. Who mentioned that? I know Mayana was happy to see that. Um. Yeah. See, I was, but I watched Avalon High region. Who said Link? <laughs> You're sick. Not Link. To be honest, just get on Twitter and see <laughs> Kylie posing news. Mm. And I'm actually pretty sure there's a whole Twitter account dedicated to posting his news from OnlyFans. I actually feel bad for that. Or you can just post. You can just tweet. Out. You can just um search Tyler for the OnlyFans. Actually, don't search that because you're not going to get anything on that. It's probably on Reddit. Anything's on there. Lucy Hill be flopping? Like, I don't know. I, last time I remember Lucy Hill is Pretty Little Liars and um, that Cinderella story movie, which I actually liked. I fucking hate that movie. I mean, it has nothing on Selena Gomez, but okay. It has nothing on Hillary Duffs. Okay, okay, Lottie. Yeah, Hillary Duff Duff too. Okay, I don't like Selena Gomez as a person. Her old music does hit and the Stars Dance era. What's that the name of her album? Whatever album that was that has Stars Dance on it. That album ate and albums before that. And her acting, I cannot wait for the Hulu show she's about to be in. She What's eats as an actress. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, hold on. It's coming out this month, actually. No, she, is, she is a good actress. She can't sing. That's the only thing. Like, that's the only thing about Selena Gomez is that she can't sing. She makes some good she made some good songs back in the day. Yeah, she makes bops, but she can't sing. Like you can make a bop, but she and not be able to sing. It's like called, she cannot sing. It's called Only Murderers in the Building, and it comes out August 31st. And it's a series. It's about three strangers who share an obsession with true crime suddenly find themselves caught in one. Oh, cool. That sounds like um, that sounds like the Southern Book Club's Guide. Yeah. And it actually is funny because they have two old men in it, and then Selena's like random young ass. And mm -hmm. in that show, she gives Alex vibes. Like, the way she acts, like, the way I've seen from the trailer, she gives Alex vibes. What the heck? It's saying incorrect password, man. Did you type it? Oh, Hold on, let me make sure I type. Try to capitalize the I. Okay. Yeah, that works. Time to click on my profile. The last thing I watched on here was Hamilton. Miss Hamilton. The way I totally got up for looking for a movie because y'all. Right, know. Monty. She was sitting here trying to kick me out. I said, no, oh, ma'am. Yeah. The Selena and Hillary Center are the only ones I will acknowledge. Yeah. You read that so fast. <laughs> what? You read that literally so fast. Right, Monty. You got to pay for your own accounts, girl. Girl. This is the only account I leech off of. Please. That's true. They can leech on my stuff, To too. be honest, I be needing it because I paid $7 for it, and I'm pretty sure nobody watches it. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody uses Disney+. Plus. I only use it to watch Marvel stuff. Mm -hmm. I only used it this one time to watch Hamilton and then to watch movies that Mayana wanted to watch together. Yeah. Remember? We watched the Christmas, no, Halloween movies. Which I don't even know the name of. Hocus Pocus. I don't know. Maleficent. 
Maleficent, but we also watched Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus. We watched Hocus, we watched Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus. And then we made Chloe, I made Chloe, you, and Tahir watch, um, dog, what, the, what is it called? We watched that, Phantom. that hotel. Phantom, that. Phantom of the Megaplex. The Phantom of the Megaplex. Yeah. I gotta what do you mean? What are you watching, Gabriella? Aren't you gonna watch too? Right. And I gotta watch you make you watch Don't Look Under the Bed. Hmm. They don't have yeah. Any yeah. What are we watching? They need a they need a decom section. To be honest. Oh, we can. We can watch Honey on Shrunk the Kids. Gabriella, it takes you a whole movie to do your skincare? Right. And if you, to be honest, if you start now, you'll be done by the time we pick the movie because we're taking forever. So, not to mention you can't, you can do both. What are we watching, Sock? You're going to have to click out them ads quick as fuck, Kenya. Yeah. Also, we're all going to be typing in the chat. Hey, what do you have? <laughs> what streaming service do you have? We can try to find something on it. Yeah. We can watch the Brandy and Whitney Cinderella. That is very true. True. I haven't seen that in a while. That in Life Size used to be my movies growing up. I used to have them on um, VCR. My aunt had um, Cinderella. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they only have Life Size 2 on here. Every time I see Life Size 2, I think about how Gabby and Nikki's parents paid for their song to be in that movie. Because the girls were slapping. I think about how bad it was. Yeah, I never watched it. Well, maybe we should do Netflix so Kenya can be on there. I'm not even going to be able to do Netflix party because I'm going to be on my iPad. Because how am I going to be on my computer if I'm on this live stream? Unless we're going to pause this. Wait, what are you, huh? What do you mean? You can How are we going to do Oh, we're going to mute ourselves and then go. Yeah. To what if somebody comes in? We're just going to be sitting here looking at the camera. I could just type. I can literally just, I'm a, well, I'll probably like turn the cameras off and probably put in the chat like we're watching a movie on Netflix party. And then put the link. Yeah. No, can you? We're going to watch it on Netflix because we're going to be typing. Because then you won't be able to talk to us, can you? Right. We'll be typing in the chat and you're just going to be sitting there like where y'all at? Um, Plus, we take it forever to pick a movie, anyways. Anyways, my Netflix vote is still on Wild Child. I guess I don't if care we, what we watch on Netflix. If we only do Netflix, then we can we can just like anything. No, we're not watching Twilight. The song for Last Us Two is Loki. Uh, a low key bop. Is it the Nikki and Gabby song, Monty? Or that's another? Because I know Nikki and Gabby's song is in there. We can watch Planet 51. I have not seen The Sleepover. The thing is, after this movie, I'm probably going to go to bed because I got work tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I just saw the cover to Sleepover and it wasn't really giving. You've never seen Sleepover? This Netflix film? Or is this another one? Hold on. It's showing me a Netflix original. That's what it's showing me. Right. Wait, Kenya, what are you talking about? No, not wait. Yeah, can you? Because you said the sleepover, and this Netflix film is not something I would want to watch. <laughs> Wild Child is up there though. Um, yeah, I don't care. Y'all can pick. I don't care actually. With Alexa there. Oh, they have what a girl wants. They have. I bet that I watched half of this whole movie. Who watched Julie and the Phantoms? Because I didn't watch that, but I remember it had the people by the throat. So. It had me by the throat, but I'm not sad about it being not getting a season two because I would be dumb if I thought that a Netflix show was going to get another a renewed for another season. <laughs> Literally, if a show is, 
honestly, I don't really get excited for the next season unless I see that the show is getting a new season. Then I get excited. And I need to see them start filming for it because I'm not about to be like the people who like the society. Where they got told it was getting renewed and then it wasn't. Okay, so y'all like it. For some reason, yeah. I felt like Wendy Williams when I said that. <laughs> I, said, I said, clap if you've seen Julie and the Phantoms. Okay, if you clap. <laughs> 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 Help! I hope my foot wasn't just on camera when I went to do that. Girl, you okay? You at your dang feet? No, I don't want to talk about it. We can watch Super Bad. No, I don't feel like watching that. Oh, well, uh, why is it taking so long to pick a movie? Because everybody has to agree on one thing, and can't nobody agree. Well, Sleepover wasn't even on Netflix. I looked it up, and it yeah. wasn't there. Sleepover is not on Netflix anymore. I guess we can watch Legally Blind since I've never seen that. So uh, I just watched. I just rewatched Legally Blind like last month or the month before. Oh, they got losers on here. That's not a movie I'm trying to watch, but y'all, I just need to remind myself to watch. It. You know, it's a good movie. Life as we know it. When they have to take care of that baby together. Fire. I just seen that, and uh, we can watch the Kissing Booth, y'all. Hell no, we're not watching that. We can watch Midnight Sun with Bella Thorne. I just watched Penelope Gabriella. Why, Monty? I'm waiting for you to suggest something. Right, Monty, what you got to say? Because <laughs> I'm going to suggest Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. My kids just watched that. Oh, I'm they? back at the sound of Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. How are we watching this? We're on Netflix. Nobody really agreed with it yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can watch Gunpowder see. Milkshake. I've been meaning to watch that. What? Gunpowder Milkshake. What is that? Mm. What the hell is that? It's like um assassin movie with women. I don't know. Yeah, Monty said I don't use Netflix. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, okay. in a minute we gonna be watching Twilight. It's about a library that sells weapons. Mm. That's not what it's about. <laughs> but that's what they said it's about. That that is not what I got from the trailer. It's a it's about this girl who. She doesn't know her mom, and like something ends up happening to where these bad men are after her. So then she ends up going to the library, and the women there are just really good with weapons. Yeah, if we're halfway through, Gabby, you're going to be done by the time we pick. Right, because we take it forever to pick, to be honest. I'm trying my best. I'm really on here looking. Like I'm really, I'm really here scrolling. I didn't know Talking Tom had a movie. Okay, Talking Tom. The way I'm terrified of Talking Tom. <laughs> they made us terrified of Talking Tom, and they said the government was in him. I didn't hear that one. The one I heard was that there was this creepy man who um, was using him as a cover so he could watch kids, and even if you. Oh uh, yeah. Him, to see you. <laughs> I think that's what I heard too, and I just and made up what I just said. <laughs> I was like the government. <laughs> I mean, it's always the government, so we can watch the Spider Chronicles written by Miss Holly Black. At this point, I'd rather just watch Wild Child. Can we watch to all the boys I've loved before three? I never saw it. The, why did you pick the most recent movie? Because <laughs> I never, cause I, cause I already seen one and I think two as well. Okay, okay, I get that. But I was like, why did you randomly just say three? I can't watch what happened to Monday because I already seen it. It's not to me, it's not the kind of movie you can watch more than once. Right, I have no idea why Talking Tom needs a movie, <laughs> but I saw it on here. Okay, thank you. Somebody saying yes to Wild Child. 
Okay, okay, fine. Okay, well, somebody start, well, Mayana, start the Netflix party and put the link in the chat so we can all click on it. Now. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. Here we go. My computer almost moves so fast. What's that noise? I'm Hello? on Netflix. Why did Netflix sound like that? Because you know how when there's a movie that like the movie plays sounds? Oh, okay. I'm sure to watch the Tyler Perry movie. We are not watching no <laughs> Why? Because the way everybody, everybody's on here is going to be on here. Terrified. Okay, Monty. Enjoy okay. your reading. Get some reading done. Can y'all click on that? Okay, y'all. Can y'all all, get, wait, does, do all of y'all have Netflix to do the party? I know I should be getting some reading done, but anyway. Sam, I think I'm going to try to read some while I watch the movie. I can't do that. Pardon the interruption. The title isn't currently available in your country. Tyler got this VPN on. Right, I was like, huh? I was like, why would it say that? <clears throat> we got two people in here. Okay. Is the link working for y'all? What do we agree on? Wild Child. Wild Child. Okay, no, iconic movie. Okay. Thank you, Jada. Because y'all still here like, I never seen that before. I just said I never seen it. I know. I just want to make you sound mean. <laughs> I ain't like, damn. Didn't know that was a crime. I'm laying up in the bed now because my back was hurting. <laughs> Where you at, Kenya? Right. We waiting on. Who we waiting on? Why only two people in here? Oh, there's yeah. somebody in here. They just don't have their name. Yeah. Okay, who is that without their name? When y'all get on there, don't forget to press the red TP at the top uh, so we can, you can see the chat. Oh, okay, Kenya. I don't know why I keep saying your name. Oh, so you know I'm talking to you. All right, somebody else joined per... What's y'all names on there? Right, like who are y'all? I want to know who's talking to me when they talk. I'm a burger. Okay, oh, that's Jada. Burger. Okay. So who's the girl? Who's the Snow White looking girl? Yeah, we're watching Wild Child. There's the link right there for the teleparty. But don't forget to press the red thing at the top so you can join the chat. We haven't started yet, by the way. 
Yeah, we haven't started. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for y'all. I think I'm gonna wait like five more minutes. Oh, okay, you're the you're the girl. Okay, got you. Okay, yeah. I love how you just went me. And I was like, what? What's my my thing is Iron Man. I don't really want that to be my icon. I'm gonna be the popcorn. How you update your nickname and there's still no nickname? Oh, it says or nickname. Y'all put your name so I can know when you talk, if it's you. Alex, are you joining? Okay, yeah. Who's the bear? Because they didn't update their name. Maybe it's Alex? Or Kenya. Because we're waiting on Alex and Kenya. Oh, yeah. Who's the bear, y'all? Oh, Alex is making food. All right. This is in a second. Okay, yeah. So Kenya must be the bear then. Okay, so now I think. <clears throat> if you fall asleep, that's okay, because I'm probably going to go to sleep after the movie. Someone left. No, why did the bear leave? Help bear. Gabriella, why did you say who is that? They're right here in the chat. Gabriella going, who is Hamo? And then Hamo going, me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenya said she's in. Right. But Kenya which one's she's, Kenya? She says she's in, but I don't see anyone. Like, I didn't see anyone join. Yeah, right. Kenya, what are you? Are you the bear? <laughs> 
the me ascending me. The only thing about this 24 hour live stream, does that mean you're actually gonna wake up early in my honor? With this 24 hour live stream, does that mean you're actually gonna wake up early? Like before 2 p.m.? No. Why? I'm gonna stay up all night. And then hopefully I'll wake up. I mean, the live show isn't over until five, so. Mm. Or you say that because you want me to wake up early enough so you can be in the, the chat. No, I'll probably, well, actually, no, it'll be over by the time I get back from work. No, because I'm probably going to read before work tomorrow. Yeah, Jada can right, up me in the chat. Okay, Hanan is in here. What did you say? I said, yeah. you, if, say if you wake up before me, you can keep the people in the chat entertained. Okay. Oh, dang. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Aww. All right, so it's everybody in that wants to be in. Right, because I still don't see um, Kenya in here. We're going to start the movie without Ken you, girl. Kenya, are you in? Yeah, Monty can keep the chat entertained for everybody who's not watching. Okay, yeah, per. I think he meant in the morning. Oh, in the morning. Okay. Because I'm like, what if I wake up and nobody's here? That would be insane. Well, I mean, it kind of would make sense. I mean, it would make sense. I'm just going to be saying, I never, I didn't think about that when I said the 24 hours. Well, then you could tweet out, okay, I'm going to wait now, and then people will come back. Oh, yeah, 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 that is true. Yeah. I'm just going to be sitting here on my phone until people join. Maybe I'll read a book. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here and chill like this. It's going to say zero watching. Right. <laughs> Kenya, girl, hurry up and respond. Let's start the movie because I don't know where Kenya is. I'll, I'll start at 35. No, imagine I do wake up and people are still watching. They probably, if you fall asleep with their laptop on, then they're probably just going to fall asleep with their laptop on too. Yeah. Don't mean they're actively watching. I'll probably just like, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove my, like, like remove myself from the screen. Mm -hmm. So like, like how you're removed and then mute myself. And then when I wake up, I'll just come back. No, because <laughs> if I woke up and 10,000 people were wa watching, I'll be like, damn, how many subscribers did I gain from that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to be like, where these people come from or nothing. The fact that we chose a Netflix movie for Kenya and her ass then disappeared. Right. I click on it, take me straight to the movie, not tell a party. After you click on it, Kenya, you should have like in your top where the um, browser is, it should be like a red TP. You have to click on that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, Afterward. Yeah. So after you click the link, click the TP next to your browser. Yeah, in Google Chrome. Okay, per Kenya's finally in. I see her name. Okay, okay. Starting the movie. Damn, she clicked that plus up. I didn't click on it. I 
click anything.
Okay, so the movie's over. I don't know if anybody who who wasn't in the um Netflix party is still on here. But oh my gosh, I'm so mad that the we didn't get like an end of the movie kiss. Like, why was Alex only in like four scenes? Why did he go to her game? Why was he only why was he only in like four scenes? Anyways, the soundtrack to that movie was a banger, okay? No, not Alex S. Jace. No. He needed to be he needed to be a romance boy. That's what he should have. I think he tried to venture off and like do some other stuff. No, he should have stuck to being a romance boy. Good night. Right, like, girl, I think we missed a whole ending. Like, I swear there was an ending kiss, and then I could have sworn they, like, the friend group was, like, at her house at the end of the movie or something. Like, did I imagine, like, a whole, like, party at the end? Like, actually, there's a lot of things. Now, it is a teen movie, and it's one of my favorite movies, so I still think of the movie very highly. But there are a lot of things. Also, Everyone's gone. Jocelyn went to bed and Jada's in her room. Should I turn my light back on? I guess. I'll like, I'll leave it like here. I don't know if that's any better though. Or maybe I'm just tripping. But there are some things in this movie that like, okay, so we never, we never got anything with her ex-best friend and her old boyfriend. Like, um, I feel like she should have cussed them out or like her old boyfriend should have seen how fine her new boyfriend is or something like that. Like some good scene. And I swear there was a pool scene. I swear. Sorry, power. I mean, the lightning. I swear there was a pool scene, bro. That one kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. I know y'all heard that. Man, that man is beautiful. Do y'all still want to do sprints? I'm going to go tell Jada we're back on if she wants to join in that. I'm trying not to flash y'all.
I didn't quit last time. It got shut down. But yeah, because you're playing, you're playing music. Anyways. I had to I had to go pee while I was up. But yeah, he was from um he was from Fly 29 Down. And then if anybody remembers, he was also in Now You See It, which was a Disney Channel movie with Allison Mashaka and Homeboy from Fill of the Future. And it was like they went to like a school of like mag magicians and stuff like that. It's a really, really old decon, I'm not gonna lie. What you oh the guy I, at first I thought we was talking about Alex, but yeah Corbin Blue was in it. At first I thought we was talking about Alex uh Piper whatever his last name is. I was supposed to be like what, but yeah he really doesn't be acting for real. So nobody answered my sprint question. Like it. Sure. And I also want to put that, yes, I am number four. But I don't think they were talking about Alex. I think they were talking about the guy who was in something else. Ugh, I guess we, I don't know. So I do need to get into this book. Yeah. I really have everything comes out, to be honest. Let me set my iPad up so I can watch while I'm on the live stream. I wish we could do like a. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun if we could do like a Netflix party for um, HBO Max. I think because everything premieres at LA time. Like, everything, like, once a show comes out, like, everything comes out that time. Like, I probably comes on at three. Everything. I usually don't watch Gossip. I think I'll probably watch iCarly first. Let me check and see if that's on there already. Maybe he's tired of looking at you. 
he's mad at me. What? Because he'll say, I thought it was supposed to be cousins. I said, can you be quiet? If he was lucky, I can get you to be lucky. That's right, right? Just got a notification for something coming out. Gossip Girl in one hour. I get like three notifications. Because I use TV Showtime. So it, it tells you um when a show is coming out an hour before. And I've just been getting notifications all day thinking it's about to be my Tinder boyfriend. I know it's the last episode. Like, okay, this is not like y'all are not Riverdale. Like, y'all are not giving us twenty-two episodes a season. You, you don't deserve a break. Hi, L. But like, how are you gonna give us six episodes and then take a break? You don't. What have you done to deserve that? Please let me know. Like, at least Riverdale gives you like twenty-two episodes. Riverdale is the only show I'm using because it's the only show I know that like, um airs like on tv like you know it airs every every wednesday i knew i'm not thinking on tumblr too because i knew it you know what yeah there's only 12 episodes all together like you don't deserve a break at all Let me make sure I'm logged into Tumblr first and I'll research it up because I don't need y'all seeing my Tumblr searches. Also, there is a deleted scene that the girl who played like, who was her best friend at was sleeping with her boyfriend. Um, there were some um, clips of her, like them, some unseen clips. Dang, I was stuttering. We're talking about a movie we just watched. Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because you've never seen her sister again. Like, Okay, I guess I gotta look up Alex because I'm not seeing nothing. I'm not seeing nothing under Wild Child. After the credits? Hold on, let me go on. Let me go on Netflix. Y'all gonna have to look that up on y'all own time. Oh, 
Oh, bro, I turned the movie off too fast. Because it is in the credits, but it's like in the credits. Oh, you got her a Kiss at the end though, but he definitely wasn't in. Oh, he was so fun. Yes, I am streaming for 24 hours. We're nine hours in. He's married. Why would you tell me that? Well, now I have to end it off. Honestly, I'm I'm up. I'm I have insomnia, so I'm up all night anyway. So this really, to me, is like I'll be up and I was gonna be up tonight anyways. Clearly, now I have to. Oh my god! Now I have to look at his Instagram. I wonder what the live stream looks like when I'm like looking up something. F boy, I'm in one hour. I have so many, I have so many shows to watch. Cause you did do it. I, yeah, I do anything. So the stair. Not even off. pick it up. Huh. A text. My live feed. Okay. What live feed? I'm at Discord. It's live feed. Oh. Now have apps that are like now so weird. Huh? See, I'm like 13, so all the apps comes 12. And now I use them. Y'all have to look at his Instagram. Really? How do I do this thing? Hold on. Oh. Okay, so Like, oh my gosh, this man is married. Is this? Don't tell me she's pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, it's a white woman. 
with no eyebrows. Because they're blonde, man. This is so. This is so sick. I can't. No, literally, like, I didn't think I could get him, but the fact that I can't. So I need me a celebrity boyfriend so bad. Somebody tell me, how do I get a celebrity boyfriend? Well, y'all don't know either. Thank you. I always lose. I never win. I only lose. <sighs> I asked her. She knew him because they had like he lives in like he lived in Michigan. He grew up in Michigan. My ex boyfriend went to school with him, and he like hated him. Um. Yes, yeah, she is. My ex boyfriend went to school with him and he hated him. That's why I need to find a way to become friends with him because I want to make my ex boyfriend mad. Um, he's done nothing to me. Well, because I break my heart, but you know. Um, she has, now she does have some lovely friends, but I don't want her to think I'm using her because that's just, that's just sick, you know? But um, she does have some celebrity friends and they are very fine. How do I get up on him? But I, I'm trying to date Nick Robinson. That's what I'm trying. I'll be liking his pictures on Instagram. You know. He liked one of my pictures, though. I had went voting. I think it was 2018. I went to vote, and I posted a picture, and I tagged him in it, and he liked my picture. So, yeah. We did. We did have a little thing for a little bit, you know. What I learned from my coworker friend is that celebrities have... I, I might get sued for telling y'all this. I don't know. I might get sued. Hold on. We're nine hours deep into the live stream. It really doesn't matter. Um, so what I learned is that celebrities will actually have um Ray and Girl, I'm about to download it now. And I might just I might just what if I bought Tinder? Um what if I bought Tinder and just put my location in LA? Boy, if my fan falls one more time, anyways, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what she told me. She says that a lot of um, she told me that her boy, her boyfriend has a a fake girlfriend. So he, like, if you search him up, he's dating a model because she's not, she's not famous and, like, she doesn't want to go public with their relationship. She doesn't, you don't have to be famous, but she's just not ready to go public with their relationship. And he is famous. And sometimes you need to keep that, like, um, image of, like, having a girlfriend. I don't know why or being in a relationship. So he's fake dating a model. Now, that is the best fake dating trope. But sad thing is, she is my friend. So I can't root for the fake dating trope if she's not. But um, you need a pass. you know i know gabriella you could probably get on there like
Wait, is this a place you can go to or a dating site? I'm very co confused. Because you said to get on, Rhea, but then you said you need a pass to get in. Oh, you need someone to give it to you. Oh. Um, Gabrielle is putting me onto this dating site that celebs use. But you need a pass to get in. Like, that's sick. I'm about to... You have to have an interesting career. I just work at Target. Thank you, Monty. Thank you, because now I'm plotting and scheming. How am I going to get on the website when you need a pass to get in? I don't know. Yeah, it's notoriously hard to break into. Keep up with oh. what if I get on and I want like a cute celebrity like I want Nick Robinson like somebody yes thank you thank you you do have all the tea now I, I will say thank you because and I can keep a secret, child. So if I get a celebrity boyfriend, y'all will not know until I be posted up on his Instagram. I love Dylan Manette for me, too. But does he have a girlfriend? Cause last time I was last time I checked, he was dating a girl who um he has a girlfriend. That's okay. What's she gonna do with me? I don't know. So here's the thing. I moved to LA. Yeah, he definitely has a girlfriend. So here's the thing. I moved to L.A. We somehow run into each other at a party. He thinks I'm so funny and beautiful, but he has a girlfriend. We decide to become friends. Then she mysteriously cheats on him or dies. I really don't care which one. And he's so heartbroken. I am there to help him get over it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you really can't. Demi Lovato's on there, Channing Tatum, Drew Barrymore. Uh, this has to be a lie. Joe Jonas is on there. Kiki Palmer. I also like Pete Davidson for me.
Yeah, somebody did. Somebody did expose that Ben Affleck was on there, and I just read an article that said that members are not allowed to name drop who they seen on the app. So that girl, don't tell me that girl really risked her TikTok going up to getting kicked off the app. Um, yeah, so yeah, he she mysteriously dies, like you know, or comes she's missing, you know. I also would like the the cheating one sounds a bit more like he doesn't need time to get over it because when your girl when your ex when your girlfriend dies, you need time to get over that and like blah, blah, blah. But if she cheats on him, he probably like, dang, fuck that girl. And then he moves on. So I think I would like to go with the cheating because the dying just seems a bit, it'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, and, and it's giving a bit of a Lifetime movie. And I don't really think that I would like to go to jail for a man. Like, he's not that cute. But cheating, we can make that happen. She probably already cheated on a man. All I need to do is find the evidence. Oh, this one is May 2021. And this one, Matthew Perry, I don't care. Ben Affleck, I don't care. Demi Lovato, don't care. Channing Tatum, don't care. Lizzo, don't care. Drew Barrymore, don't care. All these people are old. Well, besides Kiki Palmer. Somebody, wait, this one's, I think this one is celebs who have used it because Joe Jonas is literally married. And this one says during his dating days, I mean, during his single days. And this man hasn't been single for like years now. The thing is, I haven't, I've seen enough Lifetime movies for my entire lifetime to just last me for years. Like, there's like three, there's like 15 different Lifetime movies for every single plot they have. And I've seen almost all of them. There are videos of someone swiping through the dating app. Isn't it against the rules? Like, you're breaking the rules and possibly risking your account because you want to make a video? I mean, yeah, I get that it's like Tinder, but Joe Jonas has been dating Sophie for a minute. Like, they're married now. And I think when this article was written, she had just announced she was pregnant. I guess I I would rather get my bag. I would rather get my bag, but I guess people care about clout more. But if you think about it, where is the girl who exposed Ben Affleck? Who who's thinking about her right now? Besides how stupid she is, like who really follows her and is like, wow, this girl makes great content. At least if you were dating, and then Ben Affleck is dating J Lo, right? So now you done lost him to a celebrity. Like you could have been like Ben Affleck's girlfriend. And now you're the girl who exposed Ben Affleck was on the dating site. That's what I'm saying. I do think because I have a following, I do have a better chance. But... Exactly. Whoops, wrong comment. Exactly. And now she's from the back. I don't even know who she is. I can't tell you. If I came across one of her videos on TikTok, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. Why is that every time I click on a celebrity, every time I go to a celebrity's profile, Monty already has either followed them or liked their picture? That is very true. That is very true. But every celebrity, like, Monty's already in there. I feel like Monty could have a list of celebrities for me. 
I would like to date Charles Belton, but he is a bit over my age range. Um, yeah, but like, what do I say? Like, hey, I saw you in this movie and I thought you were great. Actually, that one doesn't sound too bad. Let me go watch. Let me go. I'm about to go DM Nick Robinson. Like, when's your next movie? He deleted all his posts. Oh, that's a wrong Nick. I don't know this man. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to DM Nick Robinson. Like, when is your next movie? You're right. You're right. You're right. I should. I should. Um, I will DM Austin Butler because he is a cheater, I've learned. But once I date him, I'm in the celebrity scene. So then all the other celebrities will see how cute I am, how great of a girlfriend I am, and want to date me. Or I already get a following, and then guys are in my DMs. That's why I'm going to DM them from the messages on their profile. I don't think they have those. They do. Nick Robinson has his. Okay, Austin's very, he's not relevant, but he is going to be in the Elvis movie. He's going to play Elvis. So by the time that comes out, he's going to be reveling in. One thing about Austin Butler is he becomes relevant like every five years or like every like three to five years. So have a chance. Oh, yes, I will be finding the assistance and the enemy. Oh my gosh, you guys should have seen me when I used to try to date football players until I learned that's a mistake. You don't want to date a football player. So now I was like, I'm going to date a baseball player, like something. You don't want to date any man that does sports. If you're going to date, I think, and if you're going to delay, date celebrities, like sports is not who you want to be in. But it's really easy because all you have to do is like follow them and like three of their pictures. I'm about to try that on like regular celebrities. Lily is not relevant. Like, nobody cares about her. What does she do besides become be a nepotism baby? No, they didn't get a they didn't get a season three because it, it does have two seasons. They didn't get a season three. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna DM like Logan Lemon. Well, because he has a girlfriend. But, like, I'm not gonna DM like Dylan or O'Brien or anything like. I could DM Tyler Posey because I feel like he's desperate and he's dated Bella Thorne. And I personally believe that I look and smell better than Bella Thorne. Exactly. Like, okay, yeah, your dad is Johnny Depp, but what else do you bring to the table other than being pretty and being like aesthetically pleasing? Like, he has a partner. What? I guess I don't keep up with him that much. Hold on. Well, I'm not gonna lie. He can't keep a he can't keep a nothing. Like he cannot keep a relationship, so I'm just going to wait for it to end. Okay, now you're being vague. Go for someone a bit more desperate. Okay, give me a list of who you think would be desperate. Evan Mock? No, he's definitely on the rise right now. Like, Gossip Girl? No. Do you know how many girls are probably in his DMs? I need to go for something, someone who's not in a, like, a anything popular right now. With that OnlyFans girl, first of all, I think Tyler Post is a bit too uh, horny for me, I think. So, I, I don't know. 
Lee Evan, I don't think his acting is that bad. Like once they gave him some more lines, it got a bit better. Oh, I almost fell up my chair. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like a side character, like Charles Melton would have been good. If he wasn't already, um, he's already like on the rise. Like he does stuff outside of Riverdale, so he would have been good, especially because he was just he was just in an episode of American Horror Story, and he also was American Horror Story Hotel. And now that he's in American Horror Stories, um, Ryan Ryan Murphy is gonna keep him in that American Horror Story. Like he's gonna put him back in American Horror Stories because I believe that Ryan Murphy is, like, using American Horror Stories to test out who, who he'll put on, like, the official show. So I can't go for Charles Melton. That's a bit too ambitious. I need to DM some Viners. Um, What's his name? I was going to DM what's his name, younger brother, but he just got a whole arrest. Nash Greer, his brother. His brother is so cute. I think his brother might be too young, though. For me. Let me think. Let me think. I need to date one of the the Viners. I should DM Jack Harlow, but he on the ride. I want Jack. I want Jack Harlow so bad. You're right. You're right. Or I can go after some TikTokers. You know, they won't get me an end, but. I could go out there, not be plotting, because somebody could come and just watch this live stream and be like, mm -mm. But I could, like, imagine I do end up, like, imagine I do end up um, dating a celebrity and somebody watches this 10 hour, well, 24 hour live stream and they catch this moment and then they expose me. Or one of y'all exposed me. That would be so insane. That's okay with me. I know I'm fine. That is, that don't got nothing to do with me. Um, the thing is, is I feel like they don't like black women. That's also sometimes I be having to forget to factor that in. Like, do they? Oh, Monty, I know you would. I know Monty, you would sell me out for a chicken nugget. For I know for a fact, I could. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and my whole clip is just gonna be on Twitter for no reason, and I truly believe it. I 100% I believe that. It's okay, Gabriella, because when I am famous, I'm going to get you into those movies. Because one thing about me is if I eat, everybody eats, okay? You know what? And I believe it. I believe it. The fact that Monty typed that in so fast, I said my statement looked up and Monty's I 100% will expose you was already up there. So that told me everything I needed to know. So are we all going to watch the Gospel Girl episode at the same time or like what are we doing? 
That is so sweet, Gabriella. That is so sweet. That's a that's possibly the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Monty, you should take notes. It's supposed to rain for like two more hours and then I think it's done. Does HBO Max have teleparty? I've never tried. Hold on, I'm just gonna try like something random. And then hello, am I here? Am I still here? The power like almost went out. I need to watch Winks. Who's that? Cause I think he I seen him before and I think I thought he was cute. Did y'all see my power go in and out? I don't really do blondes though. That's that's the thing. Exactly. Let's go see actually. Let's go see if they have it on um IMDb. IMDb is my best friend. Like I don't think y'all know like when I swipe down to like search for things, IMDb is always in the top because I use it as if it's my best friend. That's how I know like so many actors from like other things. Okay, so nobody's been casted yet besides the two main girls. I'll be back though. I'm about to put this in my watch list and I will be back. Anyways, let me go check and see if I can do a teleparty. Okay, so you totally can. Um, I definitely, I definitely will be that one girl who like, I would be the shadows between us, but better. I'm not gonna lie. Like the girl who has to get into the kingdom and kill the prince, that would be me for sure. Like, and I believe you, Gabriella. Like, anyway, so we can. So um, do you guys want to do a teleparty for Gossip Girl? If my power doesn't go out. I need to find the, um, of course you're here for the teleparty lounge. And we need your humor. We need your humor.
Okay, hopefully, dude, this rain. I'm hungry. I'm about to heat up this sandwich. I had this sandwich like two days ago from Wendy's. Y'all think I should heat it up? Would I like get it from that? I guess we'll find out after because I'm too hungry. I'm signing up for um Raya. Yeah, I left it out. Let me see. Hold on. It's a whole ha like it's a whole sandwich, guys. Not like two days. Like, I had it the night, not like two days. Like, I had it, like, the night before last night. Okay, thank you. Yeah, actually... Actually, since Monday night. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyways, y'all, I just finished signing up for real. Like, let's manifest that I get accepted and I'll give me a celebrity boyfriend. Um, the occasion is my birthday. It's not my birthday. My birthday is not for another 12 days. I really could not do that math. Like, my God. Like, literally. God damn. Yeah, my birthday's not for another 12 days. But, um, I did a 24-hour live stream last year. It got taken down, though, because I got copyrighted. So I'm doing it to finish and make up for the one I did last year because I never had time to. I am not a Leo. I am a Virgo. I am a Virgo Leo cusp. I don't know if people believe in those. Like, a lot of people don't. But, yeah. And my power keeps going in and out. I feel like maybe I should not eat it. Oh, the episode's out. Okay, do you guys want to watch the episode? I mean, it's fine. Do you guys want to watch the episode? Or we could do some reading sprints. Because we haven't done any reading sprints since 8. Every time I ask for reading sprints, the, the chat gets quiet. Your own again boyfriend. On again boyfriend and Gemini in the same sentence makes perfectly good sense to me. Like, perfect. Okay, I'm going to get the episode up and running. I should have stayed on the website when I was there, not going to lie. Plus, I should get it started because it took us like 15 minutes. I just realized, I think Ken fell asleep on a movie that we watched. But it took us like 15 minutes to get um, everybody situated for the movie that we watched. And the end episode to this better be crazy. 
not kidding. You probably should have made some coffee, Monty. I just want to test something out and see if it'll start playing. Y'all, I gotta go heat this sandwich up. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I want to see if I can get this because I don't think this episode to play. Okay, I think I can get the episode to play. No, it's a Baconator. Right. Where do you work? No, I'm not going to make my sandwich now.
Let's see what's open on. Well, I don't want to make anyone drive in the rain. Seven Eleven is open. I could make cookies. That sounds so good. I could make some waffles. There's waffles downstairs. I think, I actually don't know. I could make some noodles. That's what I'll probably do because I'm very much hungry. I haven't had a real meal. No, I cause I ate my leftovers. So I have I'm just I just so hungry. I eat so much. Anyways, I'm gonna get on Tinder while we wait for Monty and his coffee. Like how long does it take to make a damn coffee? Okay. What? So we just been sitting here? No, I'm not going to make them now. I think I'll wait till the episode is over or when I get bored in the episode, I'll make it. Join the, um, join, rejoin the, the teleparty because it says you left. Men are so ugly. I'll send the, the um link again.
actually, I don't know how to do that. So. Okay, we'll start the episode in two minutes. Okay, we're going to start the episode now. Okay, never mind, because... The episode is just not, like, working. Like, it's not... I don't know, I don't think Teleparty works well with HBO Max. I guess I'll turn on. I'm going to watch nine or two and up. They have suburb suburb on here. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. I love this show. I'll make my noodles too.
Dude, I'm so sad because someone ate all the noodles. This is so sick. I ate all my snacks. I don't want to call and uh DoorDash because it's late. Right, like who? Like what the hell? And I knew those little snacks from from what you call it was not gonna do anything for me. Yeah, because the P stat is really not that serious. Like, it's not even that. I thought they don't take the SATs anymore. No, that's the ACTs. My bad, my bad. Literally all of my shows, I'm going to be watching these shows like all night. Okay, I'm watching the episode now. No, because Obi in this chest. Laura, who are these people? She heard you ask Valencia to stop coming. I pay Valencia. She just gets to spend that time with her kids. 
to drop teach and I prefer time away from the kids. If I were you, I'd get dressed. Your mother's going to be here in an hour. What is it just going to Friday? He just be walking around the house naked? Consider me the au pair you never knew you needed. You can go cry on my shoulder in secret anytime. No, because all be walking around the house naked is really sending me. Show the text on the screen. No, no, no. I got Max that came out and I'm not interested in her real today. You were right about that anyway. Even an author act tends across the board. Hey, that was from a nice story. Can we play 
he's just going to test out for one. I spent all night working on a new system. Oh, there are prompts. Hard copies, color-coded, and water. The first thing you'll see is a schedule. I've got posts weekdays and nights, and uh, you have spotted and weekends. What's my plans? She knows you don't have plans. You're in charge of combing through our DMs and anything we're tagged in. We've also been thinking of ways to expand our playbook, you know, like with new recurring features. The original GG had a sort of teen gawker stalker map called Spotted, but I don't like those optics. So I'm thinking of uh, themed posts like WTF for fashion fails of the week, blind spotted when we want to focus on someone new. Uh, what else? Let's see. I want to keep. I really wish they would focus on somebody else other than Zoya and Julian. Not just these kids accountable for their actions, but also their... Does she know she stopped talking? I do. Nick Lott is inviting me to stay for dinner after my mentor session tonight. Say yes. I mean, not only is he cute and single, but you can dig for all the dirt on Zoya and Julian's dead mom for your flashback host. That is sick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that teacher, like, okay, the teacher, the Kate, okay, she's sick. But the other, the other lady, she's sick. Of course. I don't like him in that way. Right, like, the papers definitely got them caught. Imagine some, one of them flies out, then what? Love that, but try arching your back a little more. Okay, yes. This harsh light is hard for a passive portrait, but try to squint like you're on a yacht and you just took off your shades, not like Gail Force wants to just keep mystery voice into your eyes on you now. I'm sorry, Lou. I just keep stressing out about what my dad said. And you're about to be Chanel show crash like Gigi Hadid. I just I shouldn't have left. I don't I don't trust these hospital goons to call me if something goes downhill. I I'm so so sad about this. You are the first person I'll call in an emergency. I promise you needed a break. Sit. She's not even wearing her school uniform. You want to impress your dad? Then stay dedicated. A dozen stories in a slideshow every day. I'm just going to check it in. I'm here for you, mate. Thanks. Come on. I'll do the story, I promise. I just, I need to talk first about Audrey. Girl needs to set an attention with some crystals and stats. About how we take all this to the next level. I want to show my dad that I'm serious, that my brand can be real and lucrative career. Do you know how long I waited for this? For you to go from content to creator, icon to iconoclast? I don't know about that. The trends you create, they're now, but if you want a lifelong career, we need to remove you from the concept of time. Forget influence, you need importance, which takes more than daily displays of good taste. A great Rihanna banger is of its moment. Fenty is forever. So I need to launch my own line. God, no, you're barely ready to launch a zine. Ultimately, yes, but first you need to test the waters, prove the depths you can swim in, which means collab. I'll make some calls. Keep tonight open. It's one of those for me. Finally caught you. If you want me to chase again, just let me know. That the line you use in all the pools. So that's what this is about? The fact that I occasionally sleep with a swimmer or two? All this coming from a 17-year-old for whom ringside at the next takes on a whole other meaning. That's not the same. You're right. You're different than them. You aren't a conquest. You're a fellow conquistador. Consider me colonized and move on. I'm not gonna fuck you. And if I see you cozy up to another student, I'll make sure that they don't. Yes, and please make sure to give my mother her drip before flirting with the EMT that looks like Oscar Isaac. She stands no chance. Do not put me on hold. I, I swear to God, if you put me on hold right now. Hello? Help. Uh, what? Can I help you? I just wanted to say I hope your mom's feeling really better. And if you mean anything, it won't be for me. So, I can't imagine how you feel right now, but um, sometimes when you're feeling overwhelmed, it helps to take a deep breath. And Imagine watching your supposed boyfriend have better chemistry with your sister. That calms me down every time. It's working for me too. Yes, I am still here. So maybe it's so the kicking ass that I needed to start thinking about the bigger picture, not just how I look at it. I want to invest in my future. Did you just say invest in future? When we were dating, I couldn't even get you to decide on the restaurant like an hour in advance. I'm going. 
things. So I can do whatever Don't I tell me we're going to get a love triangle between Julian and Zoya because they haven't even developed Zoya's relationship with Obi right now. And I'm not going to lie. I could ship with Zobi and Julian so quickly because they're not really doing anything with Zoya and Obi. I'm just new Julian's genius master. Genius. Big word for an AM. It's not. He's just trying to make me feel better. I'm sure whatever it is, it's amazing. And I can't wait to hear all about it. But, um, first, when do I get to meet your mom? Helen is in town? Yeah, uh, she is. Yeah, she just got in this morning. The gossip girl is all over it. I don't know. She didn't even, like, tell me that she was coming. She's just, I don't know. She's here to check on the development in the Navy Yard. She's going to have dinner with Aki's dad, and then she's out. So, I don't even think I'm going to see her. Oh, do you want to come over after our ritual session with uh, Miss Keller? That way I don't have to watch my dad's pathetic flirt music. Ah, man, would yeah, but it's just ball trials today. So Why is Obi doing her like this? Maybe we can hang out tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Let's go on. You're upset he didn't tell you his name's in town. Things have just been so off since the Sunday thing. And we haven't discussed that. We'll discuss anything. Well, when it comes to Helena, that's not personal. That's about him. He's your golden boy, so as such, he's totally terrified of her. Take it from me. The Obi we know may have no trouble standing up for what he believes in, but when it comes to her, he just freezes. When we first started dating, I had to track her down and introduce myself, because he was too nervous. That's not exactly why I operate. Yes, it is. You're the most confrontational person I know. Zoya, please don't make Zoya... Uh... Not the teacher being creepy. I was wondering if you might grant me a small favor. If I can? Your secret project. I think I might have been too hasty when I said it was for me. I've been seeing all the great work you've been doing. Wondering if I could maybe help in some way. All good. Thanks. Well, I haven't said that access. I know where these kids go when they're not here, and unlike the rest of you, I go there too. How can I be your spy? you could start small. Flag and report any copycat posts and profiles. There are hundreds of them. Don't do anything. There's no huge tip I think you might be interested in, too. I'm, like, praying that Gossip Girl posts about somebody that's not... my friend Zoya. She wanted to meet you. Hope you don't mind. Hi. I'm uh, sorry to ambush you. I just thought Obi would probably take forever to do this himself, and I know you're away for a couple of days, so. You know my son? Yeah, pretty well, I'd say. Uh, I'm his girlfriend, Zoya. What? For me, it says this episode is just an hour. My son's girlfriend is Judith. Not Zobi got a stand account. He didn't tell me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. No, at least it's fine. I shouldn't have come. This this was a mistake. It isn't. I feel terrible. We could have lunch. Oh, his mom is really sweet. Oh, you can join our dinner. Was it Menzies? I'm sure you know Akeno and his girlfriend. If it's there, still together. Yeah, we all go to school together. I thought your trip was a surprise. Germans don't do surprises. So tonight? I, I can't, but thank you. Um, it's, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Um, 
so I I really like Zoe's jacket though. We sell something similar to Target at Target. I was thinking of getting one. agree with you Monty. like audrey i don't really care about features at all like they can go all of them but audrey is working my last nerve So in love with her dad. I wasn't aware this was a break your dad to work event. Well, this is all about collaboration, right? It's what he does for a living, so I value his opinion. The L'Oreal, Glossier, and Goop reps are at the bar for an exclusive free drink. Then they'll move to the seating area when the restaurant is crashed. How many reps did you get in a few hours? Do you not know how important your daughter is? Where's our future Pulitzer winner? Snuck off to make a call. It's for the best. I already got through twice the material I had planned. You just work one. Wish I had that. It made law school way easier. Did you take after her mom there? Try carbon copy. Kate is sick. I don't mean to pry. I love talking about Marion. Keeps me from forgetting. How did you two meet? We went to school together. She was 87. She was so separated us. We never really lost touch. I didn't realize you'd known each other that long. Most of my life, until the day she died. Uh, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> no, I don't mind. You're really easy to talk to. Maybe we can go to dinner sometime. Just us. Talk some more. I'm not sure that dress goes with sloppy joes. Uh, Obi invited me to go to a fancy dinner to meet his mom. Can I go? And I already covered a lot of ground. Yes, you can. But only if I can get a picture with you first. Dad. Please? No. There's one. Uh -huh. So. Like, of course he's German. They always gotta be like, a white person always gotta be something. They can't ever just be white. They gotta be like, I'm German. Like, shut up. Sorry, they had a scrimmage. Oh, God. Yes, it's fine. It's a good show. Do you know the temperature in my mother's room? It is 67 degrees. That might be the proper temperature for bedrooms according to the National Sleep Foundation. But for the hospital room and the woman with the leak in the food system, it's downright deplorable. How are you going to fix it? Go, turn it up. Go, turn it up. Oh, my God. It's the third nurse of the night. Oh, you. We're supposed to have dinner tonight with my dad. Maybe we should cancel. Spotted a lone wolf dropping by a hospital to pick up more than hope spirits. Take a seat, PSATs. The test students should be most worried about is one you can't study for. HMO, PPO, EPO. If you've cozied up to Max Wolf lately, I hope you have all your dogs on speed dial. Is this real? Alpha's revenge. I expect more. You can expect a lot less until you clear this up. Hooking up is the last thing on my mind. I better handle it before I have to present my medical records to Evans County, which means... Max is so fine in this sweater, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would, but I don't think I'm going to get her to eat. You have to. We're getting complaints, and not just staff patients, too. She can come back tomorrow during the visiting hours. And you want her to be assailed by the sight of lilies? What are you, sadists? Yeah, I'll take her. 
She gotta stop making these jokes before somebody uh, overhears her. He's good. Not them speaking German. Did she just kiss him on the lips? No, his mom is so nice. I'm Jody. Audrey is working my last goddamn there. Like, Kiki is still in the hospital. So, Audrey's coming from there. I was sorry to hear what happened. I had no idea that your mother was struggling so. Even though your papers were reported in great detail about the failure of the company almost daily, <laughs> it may overpaid us, but I don't believe in preventing journalists from doing their jobs. However, I'm personally. Me too. Well, you need to worry, Miss Fox. I know you're new here, but you'll soon see that we're all very close. I mean, Heather and I have known each other since before our sons were born. Jody and I were married for a decade, so none of us have got any secrets here. The settlement made sure of that. Plus, all the wiretapping. <laughs> <laughs> We ask you post at least two tutorials a day at specific times based on our analytics, which we would shoot in advance as we're respectful of your soul schedule. My brand is all about authenticity. I don't do pre-shoots. I upload the moment we post. An honest and free spirit like yourself might benefit more from our company. Yo, Monty! all about what's natural. We do some light retouching, teeth whitening, flyaways. Nothing you wouldn't want. What are your priorities? Well, a big one is I want to partner with that caters to women of color as much as it does white women. That's you serve your audience best with a more established brand, one that already has a proven track record in that department, like Revlon. You'd have to be seen using only our products, the best in the industry, so no plus there. And we're still new. Someone like us could take you to the next level. Our top influencer is 34 million followers. If you let Alta shake up your image, we can remake you into something actually profitable. Something? Looks like Julian must be taking that priest out again. She's from Buffalo. I've never been. What's that like? Yes, please regale us with the history of its chief export, chicken wings. Actually, Buffalo's a pretty interesting place, historically. Home of Grover Cleveland, Mark Twain, and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, they, they host readings at his childhood home every year on his birthday. I've never missed one. But if you want to talk Buffalo Pride, the town really came together during the Vietnam. It was. Well, I own the bills for one season. It was the worst investment I ever had. Still, it got you and Otto to make much needed renovations at that stadium. We've done so much business together. Who can remember? My dad and I used to go to that stadium all the Tell me, how did Jakarta Tower hold up until the last earthquake? Solid as a rock. I never thought we'd ever get that damn thing finished with Hamish and Jake and Eliza at each other's throats the whole time. Perhaps it was. From his early wives. I know who they are. I read about them. And you a lot. And it's all true. You know, they don't really give one wit about me. All they care about is who I'll put in charge when I die. Except for my boy here. This boy, he calls me on my birthday. He texts just to say hello. I never have to worry about poisoning my sherry with him. An occupational hazard on a right-wing propaganda machine bent on destabilizing a global democracy. Am I right? Well said. I like a girl with an opinion. You 
say opinion, but this girl says counterfactual. What other opinions do you have, girl? Have you given more thought about relocating the net corp to the Navy Yard? Come back to her you here. There have been protests at that development all week. So may I? Really? Have there been? Do tell. Audrey. Zoya's right. The city has limited land. Everyone wants a piece. It's bound to make some people unhappy. Unhappy? You're demolishing a homeless shelter and increasing the homeless population for what? Condos with poor doors? Obi knows more about this than I do. He protests all the time. Obi? The city condemned the shelter. It was always going to be destroyed. Yeah, sure, but why not build a new one? It's nearly 11 in Sabo. If I don't call your father now, I'll lose him all day. Please. Can't you really move I guess the hospital hasn't called, but I'm just gonna check in really quick. Okay. You told me about those protests. You said what she's doing is wrong. It is wrong, so we won't bring her. So when is it gonna be an appropriate time to tell her what you really think? Dessert? Or never? Fuck. No, this dinner is getting so awkward. Oh, you mean fact check? Tell Gossip Girl that this is a lie. You know that this is harassment, right? Oh, you mean like stalking me in the bathhouse? Following me into the showers at school? Showing up in my house unannounced? I mean, who's the victim? Just stop lying or I will destroy you. Get the fuck off of me! What is with this sudden bout of morality? You wanted this. You made it happen. I'm just playing along. You know what? I don't care. Let everyone think that I have an STI. I would rather fuck no one than fuck you. No, he about to smash this boy's teacher at 24. How does that even happen? No, Zoya is so bold. I would have minded my business, child. Like, oh, God, that's not what I meant. It's true. Uh, no, but you're a writer, not just a teacher. That's what you want to do, right? I mainly wanted to be famous. Like Cormac McCarthy. Like anyone. Oh, God, I don't think I've ever said this out loud when i was younger i had this thing where i just wanted to be the best of anything i was terrified of being worthy maybe a best actress best album a golden swimming no matter what i tried though uh acting i had eight lines in the high school sound of music and i forgot six so okay, I'm gonna find this something to eat because I'm gonna, gonna pass it. Like, not gonna follow me on Spotify.
I was muted. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I just woke up. I've never been up this early before. Oh my gosh, what time is it? I can hear myself. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I heard What's my voice stop. Um, it's like 10 a.m., but I just like love waking up at like 12. So. I literally woke up at 3 today. 3 yeah. p.m.? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like right. You go to sleep so late. Like, what the hell? Yeah. You go to sleep at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah. I went to bed at 7. Where do you live? I literally, if I don't sleep, okay, if I don't sleep before 12, then, um, then like my body is like, oh, well, bitch, you can't sleep. But I can't <laughs> sleep at 12 because if I go to sleep at 12, I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night. It's too early. 12 is too early for me. Like my body just refuses to go to sleep yeah, before I, like 2 a.m. I get tired. Like when I get home from work or around 10. And then I can't go to sleep that early because then I'll be up at like 2 a.m. Mm. So Wait, but when do you start work? You obviously work like night shifts, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I start so. work around, around 4.30 or 5 or sometimes 6. Oh, okay. That's right. So it's kind of like it works with your it works with your dysfunctional sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you can get away with change, it. I was going to change my shift to – like earlier because I want to be like a DBO, which is like you have your own specific area. Cause right now I just work in whatever area. But if I was a okay. DBO, I would be able to take I was gonna take men's and shoes, but sometimes like on Sundays, people are there at six AM. I'm literally going to bed at that time. Yeah. I remember when I worked at TK Maxx, um, they put me on like they put me on three six AM shifts in a row and I was ready to quit. Oh my god. I was like, no no no. Yeah. definitely not like and the place was an hour away from where i lived as well so i was waking up at 5 a.m to oh work a three-hour shift at a fucking tk maxx like see ya that is terrible because like i put in my schedule that i can't be up before 10 a.m well not i can't be there before 10 a.m yeah sensible but yeah don't switch to the morning i reckon um you have a good setup i know and i was going to because my coworker. My coworker bestie, she works around that time, so we never see each other unless she has a closing shift. Uh, okay. But I'm like, girl, I can't, I can't wake no. up early for you. It's too much of a commitment. Like, love you, but like, I'm not. Don't love you enough to wake up early. Right, and then yeah, he was like, oh my gosh, you get every other weekend off. Okay, well, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, so you have to work every weekend? Yeah. Oh, okay, but do you get double like in Australia? Um, you get like double pay if you work on a Sunday. Do you have that in America? No. Oh, what? Scam. Yeah. Who's giving up their weekends for a retail job then? What the fuck? At least the incentive over there is like, oh, you get double pay on Sundays and you get pay and a half on Saturdays. And public holidays is double pay as well. I'm like you double. Scared. Your hourly rate. You're getting scammed. Like, what the hell? Working on a weekend? We're definitely not. Scammed. Like, you get nothing for working on a weekend. Oh, my God. That's, like, I would quit. <laughs> I would not survive in America. Know. I'd be like, first of all, the no health care buy on its own. But, like, <laughs> what are these rates? And, like, the minimum wage? I feel like America, you guys get scammed. No, literally. Now, okay, so at working with working at Target, at least, we do get some benefits. Like, I actually have to look into it, but I know Target said they're going to start paying our college tuition. They're going to start paying our college tuition, but there is some, like, like, they're only doing, like, 40 schools or something like that. So I have to look into it, but they are oh, okay. college tuition for people. And then That's so good. Take advantage of that if you can. I am. And then um, we also have, like, we get bonus checks, like, every now and then, like, Last year we had two bonus checks, and so far this year we have. Wait, this year I don't know if we have bonus checks in Australia. Yeah, our bonus checks Maybe. depends. Like in February, we got a six hundred dollars bonus checks, but it was taxed. So they I, tax your bonus. Yeah, so I only got back around four hundred dollars. I literally got four hundred and ninety-five dollars back. Out of what? 
Six or if you don't want to say. Oh my god, I would be like, see you later, Target. Like, what the fuck? I know they're such dude. We're scammers. You are getting scammed so bad. I'm so mad now that I because <laughs> that's like, move I'm, to Australia. I have to. Well, I don't Girl, know. Move to Australia. I'm terrified of spiders. Like, if I see a spider, I will move out. I mean, fair enough. There's a lot of there's a lot of spiders in Australia, and like. The non-poisonous ones are really big as well. Oh, my God. Like, the poisonous ones, the ones that kill you are, like, this big. And then the ones that are, like, harmless are, like, this big. Oh, like, I would kill myself. I, I would <laughs> kill myself. Like, I seen this movie yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, disgusting. About, I seen this movie about giant spiders when I was younger. I cannot tell you the name of the movie. It was just about giant spiders that kill people. So now when I see spiders, like, no matter how small it is, in my mind is, like, a giant spider. Death. Yeah, I think I have a phobia of spiders, but because, like, over here, every time I see a spider, I freak out, and they're like, oh, it's not poisonous. But I'm like, I've spent my whole life thinking that spiders are going to kill me, so. Yeah. I have the phobia now. It's too strong. And it's like, that's insane, because you have to live there. Like, I can live, like, thinking, like, oh, this, like, I know the spider isn't poisonous, but it's like, I'm just so terrified of them. Yeah. But I think that's valid. Spiders and snakes, scorpions, shit like that, I think is, like, a valid fear. Yeah. But Wait, like, I want to put this on my story. Okay, let me turn my light on. Okay, okay. I put my waffles down. Oh, is that what you're eating? Yeah. It looks really good. Oh, wait. It's not terrible, but it's a little hard. I cooked it too much, I think. Do a face. <laughs> Okay, cute. Okay, so do you want to do sprints? We can. Okay. This, okay, can I just say, this is the most iconic thing I've ever had the privilege of being a part of. <laughs> like, 24 hours live, like. I did one. That's okay, a feat. I did, I'm turning my light back off because the light is too bright. Okay, so I did one last year, but. Um, it only lasted 12 hours because I played a song for everyone and I got copy strike. So you can't find it anywhere. And like, it's, so I'm made, I did not make that mistake this time. Oh my God. Imagine doing a 24 hour live and you get copy strike for a fucking song. I would be so salty. No, literally it's like people can't even go back and watch it. That's actually like, that's so upsetting. It's like I had, it was so fun too. Like I actually had more people, like people were joining like, um, like night, like all night and stuff like that. I didn't really reach out to a lot of people this time though, because it was just so like, I planned it last week. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like a short note. Well, I mean, I feel like you could find some impulsive people to like join last minute. If you're like, hey, I'm doing a 24-hour live, come on. I know, but, like, I don't know. The people who have nothing to do. Yeah, because, like, last year was easy because it was quarantine, so everyone, like, nobody was, you know, at work or anything like that, but now everyone has jobs, and I purposely picked a day where, like, so, like, so I can stay up all night, and I can still sleep all day, and I, I go to work Friday, so I'll be fine. Okay. So you have like recovery time. Yeah. Necessary. Yeah, cause who knows how long I'll stay up and who knows how long I'll sleep. I'll probably, depending on how late I'll stay up, I'll probably sleep through like the rest of the live stream depending on when I go to bed. Wait, so like stop the live or you're gonna sleep on live? I'm gonna stop it. So like- oh, I was gonna be like, damn. So you know the how commitment. you're like the, um, the, the backstage and like nobody could see you? I think I'll just do that. And, like, so that way it doesn't end or anything like that. I'll just be, like, backstage and I'll go to sleep. I'm going to turn my camera away because even though no one can see me, I'm still going to have that fear. The FBI through yeah. the... Are you one of those people? Yeah. These glasses are broken. Fucking hell. My one pair of glasses and I broke them because I sat on them. And now oh they, don't even, they don't even fit on my face properly. I have to show you mine. Are they, like, reading glasses or are they, like, blue light? They're like actual glasses, like, like I can't see. 
Really? You're a glasses wearer? Yeah. Okay. These are my glasses. This is why you don't know that I'm a glasses wearer. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I watch movies, I literally like... Bitch, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I th Okay, so if you... Like, I think, like, four years ago, I broke my glasses and... We just never, like, everyone in my house has to wear glasses except my sister. And we never made our new appointments. And then my mom was like, you have to do it. And I was like, me? Yeah, going to the eye doctor by myself? No. Yeah. but she wanted responsible. To she wanted me to book it for everyone. And then <laughs> I book it. I finally was like, okay, I want to learn how to drive this year. So I book it in the beginning of July. And then my freaking, um, they don't accept our insurance. So I couldn't get the um, company. Even I'm so confused by how insurance works for you guys. Me too. For me, you just rock up and you're like, here's my little green card that <laughs> gets me everything. And then they're like, cool, you don't have to pay. And I'm like, yay. I, I, <laughs> don't know how, I don't know how it works either. Oh, my God. Wait, but don't you know your prescription? So maybe you could just, like, order another pair and, like, not have no, to go in. I don't. The company. Myra. I know. What the, the fuck? You never told me my prescription. You know what? Your prescription's probably like way worse now because you spent all this time like not wearing them. So your yeah. eyes have like deteriorated more. When I watch, like, I put my glasses on only when I'm watching movies like in the living room because I can't see to save my life and I'm not going to struggle like in my own house at least. So I get headaches if the movie is too long because I could, it's from my glasses, like, I need a new prescription. So you get you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Yeah. yeah. Why don't I go and get some glasses? What the fuck is wrong with you? I know. I'm going to after our vacation because it's too soon now. But after our vacation, I'm going to because I need definitely to, I, do. I feel like I'm gonna live a whole new life. I have not had glasses in like four years. Get your life together. Oh, where are you um, going on vacation? We're just oh. going to Florida. Hi, Jody. Oh, thank you. Jody's here. Oh, yeah. I dyed my hair blonde. Like, I just did it a couple days ago? Week? Time is... I don't understand anymore. Honestly? I don't know if it suits me, though. I feel like maybe I'm not a blonde person. I like it. But I like when anyone goes blonde. Like, honestly. Yeah, but this shade, like, I don't know about how I feel about this shade. Like, maybe it's a little bit... Yeah, Jody used to be a blonde, and then she went brunette as I became blonde. Yeah. I like when people do blonde and black. Like, those are my two favorite Oh, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone who has black hair or blonde hair, yep. I'm like, I love it. Yep, yep. Honestly, I think you can go blonder. Like, I think so, too. But then I'm like, would it be a mistake? Like, would I regret it? Yeah, because I know, like, bleach and, like, stuff like that. That's why I wear wigs. Get a wig. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just cut all this off because it's annoying as fuck and it like I have hair all over my house. Oh, and it's just a, a wig off. will not do anything but... Shed? Yeah. I have hair <laughs> everywhere. I literally have hair like on my blanket. Like when I'm going to sleep, I just, I'm pulling hair. Maybe if I get like a bunch of different kinds of wigs, I never have to like change my hair again. I can that's just like... Exactly. That's kind of amazing. That's Full exactly eyes. Amazing. Jody. Don't know about that. I don't yes, know if I would Jody. suit platinum blonde. I agree, Jody. Should I? Don't tempt me because I am the easiest person to convince to do something. I better wake up next week and it's just full. Life. <laughs> Maybe when I go back to Melbourne, I'm gonna like let let this have its time to shine. Yeah, for your your second summer. For my second summer, I'm no, I'm so excited. It'll be your second summer, like hot girl look. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure this fan is pointed directly at me because I'm sweating. Yeah, oh. it's actually really hot in Italy right now. It's getting to like the disgusting level of the summer. Yeah. It was like stormy. I was hot. And the Storming and hot. Yeah. And the power kept going in and out. Man, fuck that. <laughs> I know. Wait, so when are you going to Florida? Um, we're going the 22nd, we're going from the 22nd to the 27th, we're going for my birth, well, okay. It's, oh, it's, it's soon. Yeah, 
It's for me and my brother's birthday. My brother's birthday was Tuesday, and then my birthday is two is a a week from no, it's twelve days from today. You just confused me. <laughs> Wait, your brother's birthday's first, and then it's yours. Yeah. And you're spending both of your like birthdays in Florida. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like a double celebration. Yeah. Weekend. We always oh, we ever since he was born, we've shared our birthdays together. But it was always my idea, so now it's like a tradition thing. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Um, it's like ten a.m. for me now, Jody. Wait. So what time is it for you, Jody? England is one hour behind, so it would be nine a.m. for her. Okay. We always get confused because I'm like, I don't know if I'm the hour ahead or if they are, but I think it's them. No me so is australia on a different time australia is on a different day i'm pretty sure or no they're nighttime it's nighttime for them but like nighttime today so like the 12th mm -hmm. august 12th but nighttime pretty sure wait that doesn't make sense august they're in the future wait okay never mind no i said it doesn't make sense i'm like it's nighttime but it's technically morning it's just like it's just a.m so i was getting confused with that yeah, now they're like p.m. They're like probably five p.m. ish or something. Six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, Ew! What are you doing up at five a.m., Jody? Yeah. A little bit disgusting, but okay. The only time I'm up at five a.m. is if I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Honestly, oh. you're like a medical mystery. Like, how has she stayed alive for this long? Like. The sleep deprivation hasn't killed her already. I don't know. And, like, don't let me be talking to a guy from Tinder who happens to work night shift. I will stay up all night for that man. That I don't know. We well, already do stay up all night. Yeah. Your schedules work well. You can only date people that work night shift. I know. Oh, no. You can't date people that work night shift. Because then they're always working while you're awake. Well, if they can text, if they can text on the job, then you're like, my That's now ex-boyfriend i would stay up all night with him he would have to he would be going to work like no he would be leaving work at 6 a.m so i would be talking like all night but the thing is it's like i want a good morning text like i want to wake up and see a text from like 10 hours ago saying like good morning or something like i hate yeah texting like having to wait until like 9 p.m to like text people like that's so annoying yeah true the good morning text is top tier I know. I always get the good morning text at like 12. Because Mateo works. So yeah. he goes to work at like regular time. And he'll message at like 9 and be like, good morning. And I don't reply. So then he'll message again at 10 and be like, good morning, question mark. No, nah. that's literally so cute. Waits until 11 and be like, good morning now. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> until I reply and he's like, okay. Honestly, it's <laughs> I think everyone else, we were watching Gossip Girl. So I think everyone else is watching. Finishing a little gossip girl. And oh, is this Netflix party? It's not. Oh, we did. We did Netflix party a movie though. You did miss that. Fuck! I just installed the like the extension to do that yeah. yesterday because I was like, let me finally jump on this bandwagon. Oh my gosh! Ten now years late, that, as always. Now that I know that I'm gonna force you to watch so many things. Oh. I just started watching. I'm trying to like go through a list of like really famous TV shows and movies that like everyone has seen except me. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay. watching Friends right now. I'm up to like season eight. What? Fr oh, not the worst show ever. Okay. Can I just say that is so true? Like, okay. I started watching it and the first season I was like, okay, cute. Like I kind of get the hype. And then all of the characters started being so fucking annoying. And like so unlikable, especially Rachel. Rachel is an awful person. Oh my she's gosh. Like, like, everyone loves her. Like, why? Everyone loves her and why? Like, she is the worst. She's like so selfish. She's actually such a bad friend. She's a bad roommate. She's like sabotaging everyone. Her and Ross's relationship is like the worst. And it's like all of them are just like kind of shitty. Yeah. And so I'm like, I don't really understand the hype for Friends anymore, but now I'm, like, determined to finish it just so I can be, like, I've watched Friends. Yeah. Tick it off. Yeah. I and then I might watch something else. 
I think you should watch The Office. Okay, the first season, there are some problematic things in there. <laughs> it's a little bit questionable. But once you get, like, used to Michael, because he's, like, the boss, and he's the one who says the problematic stuff. I've you- seen The Office, but I've only seen, like, five seasons. Isn't that all the seasons they have? No, don't they have, like, ten seasons? No. no. Oh, what? They might have they might have six or seven. Mm. Oh, seen the op- so you let me talk about the office and you've already watched it? Yeah, I interrupt you. <laughs> you were like on a tangent and I was like <laughs> Okay. Um the office seasons. Um how many are there? I'm looking up I had to put my water bottle on. Okay. Nine. Oh, so there are like yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I knew it. I knew there was like ten seasons. They have nine. Oh, someone just said in the chat. It's not even messier. It's just bad. Is that The Office? The late seasons of The Office? I don't know. What like, is Monty like, referring to? Are you talking about The Office or Gossip Girl? I think he's talking about The Office. I've never seen Gossip Girl either. That's on my list. I have to watch it. Oh my gosh! Yes, you have to watch Gossip Girl. Yeah. I am rewatching 90210 right now, and it's just, I love I never watched that. I never got on that. I understand, like, it's very, like, a lot of people didn't watch it, especially because it came out around the time of Gossip Girl. Okay, so we just talked about Gossip Girl. Um, oh, okay. It's, because I still have to finish the episode. I still have, like, 30 minutes left. But anyways, um, yeah, Monty, don't watch The Office. I don't want to watch. <laughs> don't can't watch anything that I like because I gave up. It was like it was cute in like it took a bit to get into. Yeah. And then it was cute. And then I was like, okay, I'm bored already. Like I like the joke. Well, not the jokes, but I like the character dynamics. Yeah. Have the dysfunctional seen- office space. Yeah. I was like, yeah, vibe this. But then I also have a problem with like whatever I'm watching. Sorry for cutting you off. But I have a problem for like whatever I'm watching, I want to be in that thing. So like when I'm watching the office, I'm like, I want to work in the office. No, I started watching the office and then I got my first job in an office and I was working with all these like actual like I was working with people who seemed like they were characters in a TV show. Like oh everyone God. was quirky like the and I was like I'm actually living that TV show right now. Okay. And then that, watching it and living it, I was like, no, nah. <laughs> I had to stop. Okay. So that's too much. That explains it. That explains it. Yeah. That is I insane. Was like, I'm not going to live this situation at work and then come home and like deal with more dysfunctional people. Like, I clearly need to move to Australia. Yeah. Move to Australia. People don't give a fuck over here. Cause like working at, have you ever seen Superstore? Superstore. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's basically that? it's basically a sitcom like The Office, but they work in like a store. So like they work in like a oh. Target, Walmart kind of store. And so with working at Target, at some points it is like watching Superstore, except our drama isn't as like entertaining. Oh, is okay. Looking at it, it gives me like the Good Place vibes from the poster. Yeah. Or like Jane the Virgin, like really dramatic, right? Yeah. Kind of love that. But I don't think this is available where I live. You said you said it's not? Hmm? What'd you say? It's not available where I live, I don't think. I've never seen it. Also, Australia, okay, when I came to Italy, it was like I'd been blessed because the Netflix changed and I had access to all these cool things. And now knowing that I'm going to go back and go back to, like, the dingy Australian Netflix where they hate everyone, I'm like, they charge you more and they give you less. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to scam that. Like, and then I feel like imagine America but, like, ten times worse. Because <laughs> I definitely feel like that's what we're getting over here. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, they have a lot of, like, Australian TV shows, Mm -hmm. which there's some iconic ones, like Kath and Kim, but there's a lot of, like, real trash. Like, Australia doesn't come out with a lot of good TV. 
I've or never movies. seen an Australian TV show. I've only seen British. British. Yeah, show- because it's like no one cares about Australia's film industry. Sadly. That is sad. Nothing is funded. Yeah, it's really sad. Monty, you don't watch 30 minute shows? What the heck? Well, that actually doesn't surprise me. Because it's not enough. I feel like it's not enough drama in a 30 minute show for Monty. Oh, okay. So you like the longer form. I'm more on like the 20 minutes. So I can like watch it while I cook or like watch mm-hmm. it while I do something. And I can like get through a bunch of episodes and feel like I'm yeah. watching more. I like. Anything like I'll watch a 30 minute show, or but the thing is, it has to be like in the mood. So, like, if I want like a quick show, then obviously, yeah, like the 30 minute ones. I don't know because, like, okay, I'm watching, I'm watching, uh, I don't know if the attention span, yeah, I'm watching now two one right now, and I'm like, and then it's like the they're always 22 episodes, and it's like I cannot sit through 22 episodes, like, yeah. Netflix has me hooked on like a quick, like. Eight to ten, eight to thirteen. Oh, okay. The eight, like the eight episode miniseries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like I can, I can't sit through twenty two episodes for an hour for a season. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on. I've been watching nine hundred two and zero for a week, and I've only been on episode. I'm only on season two, like episode like nine. If what I'm, is nine hundred two one zero? Huh? What is it? Is I'm thinking I'm getting it confused between like the OC. All of those shows blend together in my yeah, head, yeah, like yeah. 90210, The OC. Okay, so 90210 had, okay, it was, it was a show kind of, it was called Beverly Hills 90210, and that ran in the 90s. So then when that ended, they started a newer generation, kind of like with Gossip Girl, except. Ah, uh, okay. No, yeah, kind of basically like with Gossip Girl, but it's just, it's just rebranded as 90210. So they have like right. some kids who went there, like some of the, some of the, originals come to the show and it's basically just like drama i mean it's pretty much the same as like, i've never seen the oc oc but i'm guessing they're you know they all pretty much are the same thing i watched like one episode of the oc and i was like when i was really young though mm-hmm. and i was like this is what america is <laughs> and like that's what my entire like perception of americans was like that they um, were like people from the oc i can imagine like watching an American show, like a teen drama, and being like, "Yeah, this is what America's like." Especially with like the representation, like the the lack of representation for people of color and like queer people. I guess yeah. people would be like, "Yeah, this is what America is like," because it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, especially with what they decide to like put on a pedestal and like promote. Yeah. Till the cows come home, it's all the same kind of. It's always like, I feel like. A lot of um, like high school movies, like the teen mm-hmm. movies, are like they take place in like Colorado, like a random like what's yeah. like a random Colorado con- country? Yeah. yeah, Colorado, like a random state in like the middle where it's just full of like really basic like suburban people. Yeah, like suburban white people that are like maybe they're Christian and like maybe there's like no queer people. Yeah. They probably hate crowned a few people. Yeah, and it's full of like Jalen and Braylon and Braxlins and like yeah. Yeah. That's the vibe I get. Well, and also the high schools, like I remember when I was in primary school watching um because we, we call it primary school, not elementary school. But I remember watching um American like middle schools and high schools and being like jealous and then kind of thinking that high school was gonna be like that. And then when I found out it wasn't, I was like mad jealous. I was like, what the imagine, fuck? Imagine being from America and being in middle school, watching high school movies, being like, yeah, that's what high school's gonna be like. And then you're like, <laughs> it's yeah, and yeah it's at like, least at least I could console myself with like, oh, it's a different country. So yeah, you guys are just like set up to fail. Like, like false hope. Like, going to high school and being like, where's the you know, the clicks, like we never yeah. had Yeah. Where's I the mean, Regina George? Can yeah. I become her? I mean, like the high school musicals make, I mean, not high school musicals, my bad. Wrong. <laughs> but, uh, high school movies, like they make it seem like they had clicks. And I wish they did because at least I would have had friends. Like I would have been like, you know. And like the frat parties. Oh, not frat. You don't have frats in high school. Yeah. So, not like the house school. parties with but the red solo cups. frat parties in high school. Uh huh. 
Yeah, like you can like they just sneak into like frat parties. Oh my god. Wait, but your drinking age is so much higher as well, isn't it? So it's like you yeah. can't even have fun until 21. What the fuck? That is true, but everyone, like, people can find alcohol really easy. I was, personally for me, I'm not, like, an alcohol, like, I don't drink alcohol. I'm not like an alcohol person. But in my family, I mean, either. They, they kind of don't care. They kind of, they don't, yeah, they basically encourage it. So, like, I was drinking by the age of 17. So, like, for yeah, me, that was like my me. limits and, like, all of that stuff. But, like, I'm telling you, especially if you live in, like, I want to say, like, you know, New York, Florida, L.A., they definitely have fake IDs and no, like, oh, are, yeah. yeah, yeah. They have that in Australia too, and the, the legal age is 18. So you've got like 16 year olds and 17 year olds at the club, like, yeah. and it's like getting dude, drugged by 30 year old men. It's like really a sad scene. And it's like, I'm like, wait two more years. I know. It's like, dude, 18 is already so young. What most people do here, since I live in Michigan, which is the canada is 30 minutes away from me so what most people do is they'll once they turn like i think the drinking age is 19 so once they turn 19 they'll just go to canada fair or just turn 18 and like backpack through europe and just get like smashed every weekend yeah no because you know what um i feel like i burnt myself out with drinking and partying by the time i turned 21 like i turned 21 and i was like i'm kind of over it now like i <laughs> did like when I could start, because everyone starts drinking really young in Australia. Like no one waits till they're eighteen, obviously, to like start partying and drinking. Um. So by the time I was eighteen, I started going to like the clubs and stuff, and I just like spent two years being a massive rat and like going out all the fucking time. And then I was like twenty one. I'm over it now. I was like now I'm ready to like be a grandma and like stay at home and like i'm over it my party days are already behind me oh my god okay so gabriella said that like in the suburbs people definitely do i don't i have never been to a party a day before in my life like if, unless it was like a birthday party i've literally never been to a party really yeah i mean you know what they're not all they cracked up to be like i've been to a few house parties in high school and I don't know like they're obviously nothing like what it looks like on the movies like they're not plus like they're not blasting like pumping music and everyone's like jumping around and getting fucking crazy people mm -hmm. just get drunk and like if it's a trash party like with trashy people there maybe a fight will break out or like someone will there was one that I went to where someone kissed someone's girlfriend and then they got into this massive fight and then punched they were, at, they were at someone else's house for a birthday party and they punched a hole through the people's wall. As I get, like, imagine being a guest at someone's house, getting drunk and, like, punching a hole in someone's house. Imagine. I would die of embarrassment. Imagine, like, that being your house. I know. Well, the dad freaked the fuck out and, like, started trying to fight the kid that did it. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, everyone needs to leave. <laughs> like, before his dad like becomes a felon for like assaulting a minor Which like I, it was real ugly and like i don't know it's just like it's just like bogan's like getting drunk and like in someone's backyard and it's like not that cool yeah oh my gosh leaks what the heck yeah yeah that's how it is in australia Oh my god, it's Tanika. I didn't even recognize her. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> 14 is a bit young. I didn't start drinking at 14. Gabriella's funny. <laughs> yeah, Australia's a little bit trash. But it's fun. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to shut my door. I'm going to read out some of these. I can't highlight anything, can I? No. Everyone knows that booktubers are the real party animals on YouTube. Definitely. I want, I want <laughs> booktube to be more open on, like, the things that they do. Yeah. I feel like some people are really wild. Yeah. And I want to be nosy. Yeah. Like, I feel like some people have really juicy lives. And then they're like... They just like promote grandma vibes on the right. channel and it's like i know you're a freak underneath 
Exactly. Like, yeah. They're, they're sitting here and they're like talking about all these books and all this stuff. And it's like, I know that once this camera turns off, you yes. are in the club until 5 a.m. Yes. Like, I'm like, let me in on it. Okay, exactly. not hard drugs, but. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, I feel like um, it's always the people that you least expect. It, yeah, well. I think so. I agree. Not me, like though. the nerdy, shy little bookish girl, and she's like doing coke at the club. Oh my staying God. up really late. Oh Imagine a book she was showing a house party and a reading vlog. That would be me. I would do that. You really should. I should. Oh, yeah, I am a booktuber. Should I put my... I can't change my name, can I? I don't know. Oh, yes, I can. Yeah. This is my channel. I don't really post that consistently, though. At first it was because I was working a lot and now it's because I'm like, I'm just like getting distracted by my life. I mean, I would too if I lived in Italy. We were just, actually we were just talking about Italy because, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, we are talking about dating and <laughs> um, we were talking about like Italian guys and how like people, people leave black women to believe that Italian men love black women. And I feel like that is not, true i feel like it's the same as any other country it's like they just go after anyone no italian guys go after anyone anyone and everyone uh, okay lily if i go to italy and i try to flirt with an italian guy and i get hate crimes <laughs> i'm literally gonna be like lily lily c reads hate crime me <laughs> directly my fault i don't know okay you know what i'm not vouching for anything i have no idea all i know is that the italian men are dogs like a lot of them. Oh, that, trust me, that makes total sense. Dude, me coming here was like the biggest eye-opening shock because in Australia, like you have people catcalling like never. Like it happens, but like not as often as like, I'm guessing it would happen in America or like, especially over here. And like people are way more subtle about it as well. Like, um if people are staring at you and you make eye contact with them in Australia, they look away straight away and like mm -hmm. pretend they weren't looking here. You'll like, there'll be like some dirty 60 year old man, like staring you up and down, like, like literally being so obvious. And then if you make eye contact with them, they don't look away. They like keep thirsting. Over, like it's really, it's really confronting. And I'm like, ah, stop looking at me, please. That literally sounds like America. I'm not even kidding. One day I was folding shirts and I was using this. We have this thing where like you lay the shirt on top of it and you like um you flip one side and you flip oh the I know other. that thing yeah yeah you, you like fold your shirt. so I was using it because it helped me fold yeah so I was using it because it helps me fold faster and like I feel like something's looking at me so I look up and this man is just staring at me and I'm like and he says something he says something and I was like oh I don't know like it was like a weird question I was like oh I don't mm. know. And like I like look away because I think he's gonna walk away, but he's just standing there. Oh, I hate that. It's like, dude, go away. Italy and New York, I feel like are the, maybe the same. I haven't been to New York. Um, I only went to America once as a kid. I was ten, so I was definitely not getting catcalled back then, oh, especially because I looked like I'm a little boy. Surprised. I'm actually surprised you weren't because men here do not. I told this guy I was sixteen, and he was like, "Oh, that's okay." Yeah, it's like, ew, fuck off. Like, back to the nursing home. Like, who let you out? Leave me alone. Literally, I was, and it's like, they have no, what's the word I'm looking for? Shame, I guess? No shame. Yeah, like, I was working at a smoothie shop, and this guy, like, was unbuttoning his shirt, and I'm, like, taking his order, and I'm, like. Ew, no. I Be like, sir, no shirt, no service. Get the yes, fuck out. Like, wait, I don't want to see your hairy chest. Button it up. Ew, and like, okay, the amount of like greasy Italian men who like <laughs> they have their unbuttoned shirt and their like gold chain and their hairy chest and their slicked hair, and they're like, <laughs> it's really an experience. Oh, one I out of ten. Imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, it's not cute, but I was shocked. I was actually shocked at like the harassment over here versus Australia. Every the more you talk about Australia, the more I'm like. Maybe I can live there. 
No, it's like, this is the sad thing about Australia is that it's so far away from everything. Um, it's like really isolating, but it's really good. Like it's a really good quality of life living there, like actually mm -hmm. living in the city. It's super shit to visit. Like don't visit Australia for a holiday. It's boring as fuck, in my opinion. But like living there is sick. You get like the country takes care of you a lot. And like the the people are more like chill, I feel. Like people like especially with the shit like the cat calling and stuff, people are way more keep to keep it to themselves. And they're not so obvious about it because it's really like it's really not as much of a thing. Like I came here and um my boyfriend straight away was like, I need to get you a pepper spray because it's nothing like Australia over here. If you go out by yourself, like you will get harassed for sure and like maybe attacked and I was like oh okay like yeah. in Australia I walk around by myself all the time oh my and gosh like, that sounds like we literally have to do the buddy system one of my co-workers just told me that she has to um she has to switch her shift um so she can get off at like nine because she um around Christmas time we get off at around 12 a.m and she can't do that because she doesn't like walking into her house alone because yeah, like walking to the car by yourself. Like I hear that all the time, and I'm like, this is so fucking sad. Yeah. Like I think people still do that in Australia, depending on where you work and where you're living, like the area maybe. Yeah. But like, I remember at Christmas time when the midnight shifts were coming up. There's not really a, an issue walking to your car. Yeah, it's not. It's um, not really. Well, maybe I never experienced it. Yeah, we don't really have, we don't have those problems, but there have been some times when, like, drunk people will be, like, lingering around. There was mm -hmm. this one time these boys were telling everyone to have a nice day, and, like, nobody was, like, we were ready to go home. We were, like, shut up. Like, okay, <laughs> have a nice fine. day. Shut they up. Were just, they were just, like, sitting there, like, have a nice day. Hope you had a good day. Shut the hell up. Yeah, like, what Tanika's saying, there's assholes, but it's not too bad. Like, it's really... Yeah, I've been followed around the city a couple times as well. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, it's really annoying. It's like, dude, kind of just, like, fuck off. But what I've noticed is, like, it happens no, like nowhere near as often as it does here. Like, you walk out here and, like, guaranteed you're getting followed, stalked, catcalled, harassed, guaranteed. It's just so weird. There it's kind of like it can happen. It's just so weird to me, like, oh my gosh, a man put his sweat right. Ew. <laughs> You're, what? I was with my mum recently and a guy cat called me. My mum called him out and he said, don't worry, you're my new mother-in-law. Oh, I just understood that. Men are, and it's like, it's men disgusting. are so creepy. Like, what makes you think, hey, okay, okay, despite men who, like, follow men around for, like, you know, human trafficking and all that stuff, like, okay, we already know that's creepy. But, like, there yeah. are men who follow women around just because they want their numbers. And it's like, okay, say you do follow me around and, like, you do catch me, or not catch me, but, like, I stop and you, like, ask my number. What makes you think I'm going to say yes? Yeah. Oh, hey, Katarina. Um, Hi, dude, I literally, okay, one time Mateo's, like, when I first met Mateo, he was living with other Italian people, like other people who'd come on working holiday visas. And one of them was this guy who was like half Italian, half Albanian. And he was like the most disgusting, like chauvinistic pig I've ever met. And he annoyed me so much every time we had to hang out with him because he lived, he was one of Mateo's roommates. Um, and like, He's the kind of guy who, like, I would come over and Matteo would cook for me before we go out and then he'd be like, Lily, aren't you going to clean these dishes up? And I was like, no, what the fuck? Like, aren't you going to clean your dirty-ass house? Like, I'm a guest. And, like, also I just started dating Matteo and, like, I've been here, like, three times. Like, don't fucking tell me to clean your house. Why would I clean dishes pig? that I didn't make? Yeah. I was like, I know he cooked for me, but, like, he cooked for himself as well. And you also ate this shit as well. So, like, why don't you clean up, dickhead? Yeah. And then we were out in public. Like, we were going out to brunch or something. And this motherfucker cat called some random girl who was sitting on a bench by herself. 
while we were all walking in a group pass. And I was like, absolutely not. Like, I made a scene. I went off on him. And I was like, I'm not going to fucking be the one who walks past with the cat caller. Like, absolutely not. You are not about to look at me and be like, she's a pick me. Absolutely. Yeah, I was like, I am definitely not a fucking pick me. And like, definitely not. That happened. I was so shocked. I wanted to hit him. I was like, no way. No way. First of all, what what we have should have learned from Black Lives Matters is that police don't do anything. Like, yeah. I think you, like, I would not call the police for anything unless, like, someone else told me. But if I'm dying, just let me die. Because <laughs> they're probably going to arrest me anyways. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, either I'm going to, like, get attacked by this, um, what do you call it, an assailant? Is that the right word to use? I don't know. I'm going to get attacked by this perpetrator or I'm going to call the police and get attacked by the police and end up, like, I'm going to get killed by someone. It's either this guy or the cop or in jail. Imagine. I couldn't imagine, like, calling the police, like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm being attacked right now. I'm being harassed. I mean, if you think about it, they already don't do anything. Like, they can't, like, um, they can't, like, if someone like if you think someone's stalking you, they can't really do anything unless they put a threat to you. So it's like okay, so I'm. You it's like you're me. useless though. Yeah. What am I calling you for if you can't even do anything? You're just gonna show up and like find the first person of color and be like, "There's the assailant, get them!" And like, exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's like mm. exactly, and okay. it's like it's like you like I said, you can't do they can't do anything unless you've already been attacked. So you can't do anything unless I'm like dead. <laughs> it's like I have to wait until. I get attacked before I can get help for it. Like, can't I call you to prevent it from happening? And then imagine you're like defending yourself and then you still- They show up and they're like, I think that's happened. That's been caught on tape a few times. Like someone yeah. defending themselves and yeah. the police show up and they just immediately shoot the person that's like doing self-defense. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw, I saw like, um, like a viral thing of that happening last year. Yeah, I th yeah. I've seen one too, like um, earlier this year. Honestly, it's happened like so many ha instances have happened in like this short amount of time that I can't remember remember if it's last year or this year. Yeah, and it's then, really fucked. I've seen so many videos of like people in like stores being yelled at by like random people, and the police will be called. They're like, "I'll call the police." If, if I'm in a store and somebody's harassing me and they're telling me they're gonna call the police, I'm going home. Yeah. Like, what am I going to stay there if you can call the police? Like, I'm going home. I'm going to use my white privilege and, like, beat them anyway. I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. If someone's fucking yelling at me in a store like a Karen, I, bitch, I'm going to throw hands. I don't give a fuck. I will actually hit them. Yeah. And it's like, oh, my gosh. Imagine and then when they show up, I'll be like, oh, no, damsel in distress. I'm like. Yeah. Just start crying. Would, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've seen people, like. I would go to jail for that. Like, I'd be like, it's worth it. I think I seen this video on TikTok where this girl was like rob. She was she was robbing the store, and then the worker there, like, was just standing like, oh my gosh, like stop it, stop it, and like they were calling for help, and nobody was coming in for help. And then the person who was robbing the store attacked the girl. Well, she didn't attack her. She was like, she took like a perfume or something, and the girl like took the perfume back, and I was like. You do not get paid enough for this. Like, yeah, like, okay, when you're, like, a service worker and someone's doing that shit, you do not get paid enough to deal with that. Like, If someone put a gun to my head and said, open the cash register. Oh, I'm opening the cash register yeah. and giving them everything. I'm exactly. giving them the key to the place. I'll be like, this job is not worth my life. Yeah. Like, see you later. Because if I died, they would replace me in a heartbeat and not exactly. even care. Exactly. Like, and then and like they would so use me for sympathy points for their fucking business. Right. And it's like, well. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Amber. Like, if someone hits me, I am hitting back. Yeah. I don't care. I have never been into a fight before, <laughs> and I just don't think – like, obviously, if someone hits me, I'm hitting the back. But I just – I don't think I've – I cannot. Use those white tears to your advantage. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Against all the Karens. I will out Karen. The yeah, Karen. actually – um, when I worked at, I worked at a store, I worked in a mall. When they said, when they, when I worked in a the mall, they literally said, like, do not accuse anyone of stealing. Like, don't interact with them if you think they're stealing. They're just like, let them go. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's like half this product gets damaged anyway and gets written off anyway. So it's like. Yeah. And at Target, all I have to do, like, since I work at the fitting rooms, all I have to do is, like, if I find, like, a tag, I just write down, like, the time, the date. You know, I take it up to the front and put it in, like, this bin. But that's it. But more so at Target, they don't, they know you're stealing and they don't really, like, catch you or anything until you've raked up enough for them to put you in jail, basically. Oh, okay. So, like, all in one go? Like, if I go into Target and I steal, like, $1,000 worth of shit all in one go, then I can go to jail. But if I come in and steal $1,000 over the course of, like, three days, can they do something? Yeah. So, what they'll do is they'll wait. So, I think the, I think the, the number is 500 So, what they'll do is, so if you steal 500 worth of things, they will, like, charge you. Right. And, like, put, put you in jail? Ouch. Yeah, jail. Yeah, well, jail. Say you come in, so you go in like Tuesday and you steal something for like two hundred dollars, and then you go in like five months later and steal like three hundred dollars. They're gonna catch you and just really okay. Yeah. Damn, I would just try to charge them in the first place. Be like, if you're gonna come in and steal. Actually, I don't even give a fuck. I'd be like, it depends on the play. If it's a massive corporation, I don't give a fuck. Like, steal the stuff. I don't care. But if it's like a mom and pop, mom mom and pop, what did I just say? Mom and pop? You know, they're like, if it's like a little small business or like a family owned business and you steal from them, like, you're an asshole. Like, go to jail. Oh my gosh, yes. I seen this TikTok and it was like a small business and the guy owned it and he caught these girls stealing. And I was like, yeah, get them, get them. But yeah. If I see a random video of like somebody stealing, from like a big corporation i'm like yeah still steal, steal, walmart steal. i'm like steal bitch get it like grab more exactly i'll hold the camera like i'll cover the cameras for you yeah it's i agree it's very clever wait wrong thing it's very clever but then it's very cruel because they basically they said oh we're just gonna make sure you can go to jail like we don't we don't care we're gonna yeah make sure you can go. yeah klepto phase <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear more. This woman, I tell you, she has lived so many lives. Bitch. Oh, you know, there's like that whole Tumblr community of people who, um, oh my God, what is it called? The lifting community. And they hide behind it because it sounds like a weightlifting community, but it's like the lifting is in shoplifting. Yeah. Oh my God. That was a whole thing I remember seeing like lifters on Tumblr were like showing off their hauls from things that they saw. Oh my God. People steal from Target and Walmart. All <laughs> First of all, it's so easy to steal from it. My my Target doesn't have self checkout, but like I mean, they've gotten better over the system. But when they first got self checkout, it was so easy to steal from them because all you have to do is just scan the item. Some people are smart enough to because they have a camera. Some people are smart enough to like scan the item and like hide the item they want behind it. Oh yeah, it's it's just Classic. very. It's just very easy, but now they have, like, workers watching and stuff like that. But I feel like it's very easy. And then at my Target, we don't even have self-checkout. So all you have to do is just go to the fitting room, take the tag off. You can leave the tag in the fitting room because we're not supposed to check it. Like, we're, I'm loving I'm telling y'all, y'all tips. We're yeah, she's to like, how to steal from Target. Welcome to the stream. We check the fitting room, like, every hour. So um, as long, like, and we have the book. Well, at least at my Target, we have the book open. So you locally could see the last time someone checked it. And then just go in there, rip the tag off, um, hide it. Like, people hide it. Some people just leave it there. Some people hide it. Um, and then just leave. And, like, but, and also, even if you do steal it and, like, they do find it while you're in the store, they have to take the packets up. So, it's, like, they don't do anything once you find the tag. Like, they don't look for the people around the store or anything like that. Oh, they just take it up and, like, someone. Yeah, we just take it up to this bin up front. And then they just count the tags. And if we've had too many people stealing our hours do get deducted, but I mean, personally, for me, I don't really want to be there anyway. So, wait, what do you mean your hours get deducted? So if someone they, steals, yeah, if, if if we have too many people stealing, our hours will get deducted because we're not doing our job by pre- preventing people from stealing. So, yeah, bitch, we don't get we don't get double pay on Sundays. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Although, granted, I think there's less stealing happening that I've seen. Like, because I worked in one department store and there wasn't a lot of stealing. And, like, when there was suspected people stealing, like, they would, um, they had everyone in the store, like, stalking them. Mm -hmm. And then they would kind of, like, corner them 
sometimes the managers would be like, what's in your pocket? And try to like scare them into like showing it. But then they call security and they're like, sometimes they'll like lock the store until the security comes and takes the person out. And they go to like the security cameras. That is so crazy. Like Sometimes they're more full on. That is so crazy because you can't do that here. Like you can't accuse anyone of stealing. It's They can sue for that. Oh, wow. And like, well, at least I know in the mall. Everyone, okay, when I think of America, I just think of people suing everyone. Yeah. Like you breathe and someone's like sued. Yeah. Lawsuit. Yeah. My mom has sued people like I think five times in my lifetime. Huh? 